So, Joe Root starting with a slip. Uh, gully. Short extra cover, mid on, mid off. Uh, square leg, uh, short mid wicket. And they seem to have worked out a ploy, Sylvester. So they've got a fielder um, three quarters of the way on the deep backward square leg boundary. And a fielder down on fine leg. So what I think if I know works. He's going to maybe try and see if he can be able to just, you know, not, this is not going to be a bluff. He's going to bowl a short ball mm. um, to Casey Carty. And they seem to have worked out some method in terms of the line that they're going to bowl to Casey Carty. Wokes comes in down to bowl to Carty. Second delivery is nice and straight. Um, straight bat, moving in line. I just would like to see him just punch them down the ground, Sylvester. A little bit more effort to get it there. Just punch it a little bit more harder, especially to the left of mid on. This is just his second delivery. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, he would have batted for some, face some 52 balls. Um, something I want to see is a mutation of the strike. Something I don't think that we saw happening. Uh, yeah, he would bat it for 54 minutes. And face like 39 balls. This is his 42nd ball that he's faced so far in the innings. Not out 8. 39 balls faced. Batted for 54 minutes with one boundary. And... Casey himself is in a good position now to be able to try and see if he can motor on and get a good score, which is important. Made his debut for the Leeward Islands in 2016 versus Trinidad and Tobago. Um, 33 first-class matches, 1,494 runs with two centuries and 11 half centuries, an average of 25.75. He'll put that behind him, half volley, and really should be leaning into that, Sylvester. The head and shoulders coming forward and punching that down the ground. Hit it straight back to Wokes, and Wokes attempted to have a score. He had to score out of the way. Mm. Score remains on 48 for two. <coughs> Wokes is into his ninth over. From the media center in here, we're in the number 19. Not for 22. Wokes goes past the umpire. Is in now to bowl to Carty. Carty is coming nice and straight. And just contented to maybe just have a look. But more in having a look, you got to also think about looking to get a single, get some runs. Half volley's got to be put away. And one thing that the England batters demonstrated to the West Indian bowlers is that any time they were offline, yeah, whether it was a half volley or they were wide, it was put away quite easily. Lovely morning here in Antigua and Barbuda. The West Indies flag, the nation of Antigua and Barbuda flag and the England flag flying away. And the north of us, Casey Carty, respects another good delivery. So England start with a maiden. And from the overnight score, CWI Presidents 11, they remain on 48 for two. Carty's eight, and Thomas will now face his first delivery. He's faced some 22 deliveries, but he'll face his first delivery for day three. Yeah, um, watching the field setting and uh, the field placement uh, from the England in the first over, if you, if you come in, and, and, and look at the field placement, you think it's an off-spinner bowling. He has an exact feel, just like an off-spinner. A deep backwards square one just forward by the umpire. Uh, the deep um, 45 and a short mid-wicket mid-on. You know, so <coughs> he had four men on the offside. A slip, a uh, point, a uh, extra cover and a, and a mid-off. That's what he had. Um, Wokes. Here is Thomas punching his first delivery. Um, up to cover. A lot of pressure on Devon Thomas. The expectations you are reckon? high. You reckon? Well, I think he he wants to make a statement. I think mm. this is, is, is easily speaking to him. You know, he feels like this is a, a turnaround for him, you know. And he reckons that he might have erred in the Barbados game. He felt that he really should have batted Barbados out of the game, get a big one. But he's put that behind him. And he has a chance now to be able to cement himself and get a place into the test team because the West Indies test team anybody can get into that team 48 for two Thomas is one Carty's eight a good score here and could really put some pressure Sylvester on the middle order he's quite capable yes indeed and um, I mean with his stature in terms of how long he have been around and you know he have been in the West Indies set up for a number of years already and in, in that sense, a player like Devon Thomas, he has to be about performances. Stands up straight, so easy on the eyes when you look at, at Devon Thomas. 
He has so much time to play the ball. He's got so much shots. I don't think Sylvester has really seen anybody got Devon Thomas out when he's on the go. Maybe you can count how many, how many, how many times, but um, most of the times uh, he just... Um, I, I, for a number of years, um, I consider him as one of the, the top, you know, batters, top five batters in the, in the West Indies. But at the end of the day, you have to perform and, you know, get the, the, big, the big scores. That's outside the line of the off stump. You know, he's given out like before. So, Ollie Robinson strike. Devon Thomas crawling across. Missed an in-swinger. Bratwick took a long time. And in the end, I thought that might have been maybe missing outside the line of the off-stump Silver. So let's look at it again on the screen right here. Thomas, in the meantime, walks back to the pavilion. Mm. Um, what do you think, Sylvester? Well, if he, that, that looks uh, adjacent, if he doesn't get any bat. But bat onto it, you yeah. think? He has to get bat on it. Yes, he, he has to get bat on it. If he doesn't get bat, he's okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Cricket West Indies President's Eleven lose their first wicket i don't think the stride was big enough from devon thomas no, i don't know how you feel it wasn't he, 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 he caught he, 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 he got, he got, got caught, on the caught on the crease yeah yeah. yeah yeah the stride for that delivery needed to get out there because had he as had the stride been um more positive when he got out onto the front foot um Bratwet, who took so long mm. um sylvester would have had to consider whether it was being missing off stump or not you would think caught right on the crease and i think a good decision by gregory batwood when we look back at it yeah indeed when i look at it um i i i, I thought you've been an umpire yeah i thought batwood was thinking about if he had gotten a bat on it you know we don't have any drs yes yeah, yes so he, he wanted to make and sure as directly said once he didn't get back let's look at it again yeah. um he got, he got caught on the movement he got caught that one caught it is there yeah no no foot uh, movements trapped Chapter good decision eight. by Gregory Bartwett. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, we, we're hard on the umpires. And but sometimes, I, I mean, to be honest, sometimes you have to be in some of the decisions that we have seen for in the recent past. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't fault people for, uh, for, for saying and, uh, you know, and really um, saying what they say about the umpire sometimes. Serious. Mm. So, the Cricket West Indies presidents who have loved Thomas for one, and Ollie Robinson is going to come in now to bowl to. Raymond Reefer and Raymond Reefer's played one test match for the West Indies versus New Zealand. And Sylvester, sometimes I, 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 I wonder if we really should not have been investing in, in a Raymond Reefer in, in some form, shape or the other in the longer version of the game. Because every time he's come at the regional level, he's in, in whatever format, whether it's mm. T20, 50 over Liste or even you know, for the cricket, he's just consistent. He doesn't give away his wicket. He's got a big heart. And he keeps fighting. He mightn't be the extravagant player, but he's effective in his role, both bowling and batting. And he almost got into the first test team with his performances from the first two rounds. Yeah, I watched his I watched his innings, uh, both innings and I, I thought he, he you know, he batted really, really slow, honestly. Uh, he got some he got some some reward in terms of going to performance in. But in, in terms of the dominance and uh, for for uh, for uh, I'm looking at the experienced players, Spence. Um, if uh, if you're a young player who just came on the scene and so forth, do I understand that you have to take uh, a bit more time? But these players have been around for quite a while now, and you know the way in which they're exhibiting uh, scoring ones. I, I I believe that they they need to be more dominant, more in control. But um, as an all rounder, you can you can fault him, Sylvester. Um, well, all rounder, he's batting at I, I, he's batting at number three for Barbados, and um. Which, which, I, I'm which, kinda which, surprised. which, which is kind of a worrying sign, right? Yeah, I am kind of surprised that he, um, Alex Atenez, is not is not batting before him I, in this I, game. I, 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 I'm also concerned about that too, Sylvester. Mm. So, England starting with two maidens plus a wicket. The wicket of Devon Thomas, LBW. Um, very early to Ollie Robinson. Cricket West Indies President is 11.48 for three. Raymond Reefer has, has come out today. First class... <laughs> Batting, 3,135 runs, high score over 108, um, with 16 half centuries to go with that. And you have to complement 183 wickets and come in from a, a rich cricketing history in Barbados. The Reefers, 48 for three. England boosting up their slip cordon. They now have two slips, a gully, a cover, mid-off, mid short mid-wicket, and they're still bluffing. Um, to Casey Carty with the deep backward square down the onside goes Wokes and Folks comes across mm. stylishly and picks that one away 
as Sylvester was talking about the field placing, the, there's something in particular. And I, th I think one of the, the, the issues that I sort of picked up yesterday, even when Casey Carty, Sylvester was facing Leach, is his back picking up rather than coming straight down. It was almost coming like into a C. Mm -hmm. It looked like he wanted to sweep, but it just wasn't coming. Just maybe that because slight adjustment maybe can be made. Here is Carty just opening the face of the bat and staring that down to the vacant third man for his second boundary. The first scoring shot for the President's 11 team. 50 comes up for the Cricket West Indies President's 11. Carty um, quickly shots up to 12 and the score goes up to 52 for 3. Yeah, um, Springs, to be honest, when I look around in the Caribbean, um, I prefer to see, um, especially, as I said, the guys that have been around for a number of years, they, they are to be more dominant. If you cannot be more unsure that you are more dominant in our first-class um, format, the 4 format, the, it is, there's no way that you're going to come to the international level, you know, and, and exhibit those kind of, um, that class that is required at this, this end. We're going to have players that are, um, giving us like you know that that 40 that that that, that 50 now and then but we, we we need players that can score score big big centuries on a consistent basis i i gave you a breakdown in fact i should send those stats to you sylvester um that's something i'm going to work on and, and get it what you wanted the printed or the hard copy <laughs> i'm going to send those stats to you it's from the regional competition for so far, so you, you, you'll understand and you're making some strong points because sometimes we have to bring up those stats. Um, Sylvester here is works, you know, working away at the stumps. I want to see Casey Carter get a bigger stride out, um, Sylvester. I don't want him to get caught on the crease. You know, you've got to get forward. You lead with your head and your shoulders and get that front foot out in, in there, especially with the new role being changed now. If you're caught anywhere close on the crease, then, you know, you could be napping. Get that stride out. There's no devil in this pitch, so you can afford to get onto your front foot confidently. Lead head and shoulders. Carty's 12. And that one was in ducking to him there. And he just got a little tickle just around the corner just for a moment. Mm. Wolf thought that he had gone to. The end of another over here. Um, Carty goes up to 13, and the score goes up to 53. 53 for 3. And. The President's Eleven have lost the wicket of Devon Thomas in the second over of the day to Ali Robinson. So, in terms of, of Reefer, Reefer, do you think he, Raymond Reefer, do you think he has that X factor to, to bat in a, a West Indies uh, top six? Uh, well, based uh, on who we were picking, Sylvester, you do a better job. So you think he has an X factor to, to, to bat in our top I, six? I, 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 I'll be honest with you, Sylvester. Like I, like I said, I think he's got a little bit more heart and, 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 and some of those other guys, and he's not going to give his wicket away. Um, in terms of his bowling, Sylvester, that's just the only thing, really, that, you know, sometimes you have to, if you're a left-hand fast bowler, you've got to be able to bring the ball both ways. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you consistently can't come with just that one version. Here is Carty looking to just whip this pass to square leg feeder. He's not been able to score. <coughs> just the depth of the crease there, and he would have been able to just flick that one away um, past the square leg. Uh, he remains on 13, and the score is 53 for 3. 53 for 3. Carty. Folks in Anguilla and St. Martin, I know his dad would be glued to the television and to the Zoom, making sure that he pays attention. Good morning, Basil Morgan. Carty again is back and across. When he gets there, he has a nice straight back looking up at the V. Big white side screen in front of him. For Carty, England has one slip. A backward point, a cover, mid on, mid off, short mid wicket, and a more or less a, a square leg, but the square leg is not close by the umpire. It's just more like a little bit backward, and the feeder down on the backward square. They must have known something that we don't know here. Ollie Robinson comes in out to bow to Casey Carty. Casey Carty is looking to to undrive doesn't get right out there just needs to lead with the head and the shoulders and get it punch it down the ground this is the feel i'm talking about if you if you come into the ground and if it's an off spinner off, off spinner <laughs> so they have a off off spinners feel for for casey carty they started out so i guess they they did some um analytical um footage on him 
and 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 then see probably they they picked out something that 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 we don't. Oh. Here goes Robinson in out the boat to Casey Catty. Casey Catty is back on the cross in the field from backward point, darting in very quickly. And the score remains on 53 for three. 53 for three. Catty's 13 from 54. Reefer has just come in. He just faced two deliveries. He lost Devon Thomas early this morning. LBW to Ollie Robinson for one. He, feet never got moving. He never got out. And once he didn't get an inside edge onto that, it was curtains for him. So good morning to the folks in Jamaica, in Belize, in Bahamas, wherever you're looking at this important stream. Carty waits for Robinson. He's back on the cross and defending nicely. I want to see a little bit more Sylvester and Mali. Rotation of the strike. Uh, I, I, I know we want the back, but got to be able to look to get singles. Got to put a little pressure. Because right now, England is uh, just clawing in, clawing in. And sometimes the rotation of the strike helps. Um, you know, you throw off the bowlers. You sometimes know, I think Especially the left helps. and right combination. Rotating the strike always helps Prince. <laughs> Not unless it's uh, Mali and yourself batting. That no, I won't be that good. Ah. <laughs> if I'm batting with Mali, he has to get all the strike. Yes, and so that's uh, what I'm uh, saying. Uh, even, even, even if it's one, I want to try to get two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over completed here. 53 for three um, on this lovely early morning here. Um, Ollie Robinson. Um, Working away, eight overs, four maidens, nine runs, one wicket, and Chris Wokes, ten overs, three maidens, twenty-seven runs, no wicket. Um, so good morning to Dino Baker and Stevel Rodney and Joshua Grant and Jason Peters, all those guys in Montserrat. They've been pretty busy. So Andy White getting themselves organized, playing some cricket over there. There's also cricket taking place in Nevis as we speak. Um, a lot of players from St Kitts going over, St Martin also, and Gwilla. Um, Terry Adams uh, organizing um, some activities there locally. So some of the youngsters getting an opportunity to run out. There's also cricket in Antiguan Barbuda. Um, Sylvester looking to try to get into the semi-finals of the ABCA 40 over competition. But here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground, Wokes will be looking to dismiss Raymond Reefer, the left hander. He's around the wicket to bowl to Reefer, who leaves alone a delivery which is outside the line of the off stump. It dies on the keeper. Um, folks, and we were looking at the tinge of green. The, the, you could see the green coming to Sylvester, and I'm still trying to work out why they took the grass off. I need oh, to yeah. find. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I need know, to find Kadim. Yeah, I asked him a I question, know, and Travis. I know you and Kadim. You and Kadim are good friends. Well, yesterday when I was so going, he was waving to me, saying he's not seen me for the year. So uh, we have to go around and have a conversation with him. Back and across comes. Raymond Reefer. You know, when you bat for that, that ex extended period of time, um, Sylvester, there, there, there has to be a, an aggression point where you just decide, listen, I'm going to push the middle on and the middle off. So if I get to the pitch of a ball, I can hit that to uh, move a middle on middle off. Ease some pressure off. Right now, England are just clawing in on, on, on the West Indian batters. And they need to be able to just exhale and get that pressure off. Reefer is not. Works around the wicket. Goes past and pie, Nigel Duguid is in now to bow to Reefer. And Reefer with a nice straight bat, playing it up to mid off. And the throw not being good, back to folks. And England captain Joe Root had to back up. I was reading through some on my timeline, Sylvester, some of the, you know, the English press. They don't give this bowling attack a chance against the West Indies. And I was like, wow, pretty interesting comments. <laughs> Here comes Wokes. Is it now to bow to Reefer? Reefer is back on the cross and coming quietly forward. Big stride, head well over. Balance playing the ball from right under his eyes. Good morning, Henderson Springer. Folks in Barbados. Of course, the English, they're going to have a gripe in terms of um, leaving out um, the two most experienced. But the last time they came to the Caribbean, they weren't effective either. And that's why they, the they maybe feel... The two experienced bowlers? Yeah, and, well, they, they, and, and, based, and based on the, on the mm. tracks, you know. They, they, you know England looking to move on, um, Sylvester, whether we like it or not. Back on the cross. Um, even if we look, you know, we see what's happening. Strass is making some, some real serious changes. And they don't want to be caught with their pants down. 
by the time these two guys walk away and they maybe don't have anybody else but it's been happening for a while it, it, they, they really haven't played together much for the past um, couple of years so the transition has been taking place for quite a whether for in from injury or yes. you, you decided to, uh, to play uh, uh, management player management, management. Yeah, yes so it, it's not surprising the only i guess surprising thing is that none of them is here on on this tour you know um probably um, after the series in australia but the wickets down here are much different than australia's right? yeah, it, it, it's, it's certainly yeah mm. so end of another over um, made no over um to chris works we face still or not score is 53 for three Carty and Reefer meets in mid pitch to have a discussion. Reefer wearing his West Indies helmet and Carty wearing his Leeward Islands Hurricanes helmet. Loss of wickets so far for the CWI President's 11. We had Solanzo, one for 34, two for 44. A naughty shot. I'm sorry I wasn't on commentary, but I was here to see it um, from Shane Mosley. And Sylvester was telling me how nice he was using his feet. Yeah, I saw him. I, I, I had to. I had to leave. So Marley was on, on commentary. I never really saw it when saw when he got out. But I heard it was a nasty shot. As, it's as like a myth, you know. Once mm. you're left arm spinner, Winston Reed. You know that Sylvester. You were captain. Mm. But he's so a left. So you come and you and you and you and you bowl something, you know what's happening. A left hand, a left handed batsman should be. Should more be com compatible. The word is against, should against the well. Mali is a left hander. I think <laughs> so he was more comfortable <laughs> with, 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 with the, the leg spinner coming back into them. <laughs> Yeah, but Shane Mosley, you, you could tell that that was on the card because he got dropped the over before. Mm. Um, so he really should have learned from that. Carty is trying to force one and almost got an inside edge onto his stump. He's got to be a lot more tighter. He's got to stand up on his toes and punch that. Um, yeah, more or less just collapsing. But as a batsman here, I mean, Carty, in the way in which they, they set the field, you have to understand that they are trying to bowl a lot, a lot more straighter. They have analyzed that, you know, some of the boys are keeping low. And if you bowl as straight as possible, it, it, will, it will be more beneficial for them. So he has to understand and look to play the ball more up into the V instead of trying to hit it too square on the offside. Robinson into both to Cathy, gets a short ball. No ball here. That was a big extra effort. But he took his eyes off of it. Didn't he need to try and go too hard at it? Just roll the wrist over and just get it down. And somebody bowling that, that, that fast, you just want to just use the pace. That fast spins, I, th I thought he played the, the right shot. He should have hit it on the, on the building down there. Yeah. <laughs> got to keep his eyes on it to hit yeah. it on the building. Because <laughs> he missed it completely, which means yeah, that he, he, he didn't look at it long he, enough. Yeah, he didn't look at it. He, sw he swung before the ball yeah. reach. <laughs> got to mm. keep his eyes on it, which he's doing right now. Mm. Leaves alone, and that ball dying again to folks. Mali, you, uh, Sylvester, you ever thought about keeping? Yeah. You know, when I started out, um, uh, my coach, Taddy Arendel, I, I used to catch, he said I used to catch really, really good. You know, so he wanted to try, try me with the keeping. For the pace bowlers, you know, that was good because I was back. But when I went up there, I was, I was basically running. <laughs> I was moving my head and uh, no, I, I, don't talk. I never thought about keeping. I never liked keeping. That's not my, that's not my forte. Robinson to Carty, down the onside, could take by folks. He had to dive around, got out there, mm. and took that quite if it was all, If it was all, all pace, pace yeah, you'll be all right. Be brilliant keeper. <laughs> <laughs> 54 for 3, if you're wondering what's happening on Platinum FM 97.9, and West Indies YouTube channel is the Apex warm-up game for the Richards Bottom. Trophy, three test matches, Antigua Barbuda, Barbados and Grenada. Spice out of Grenada. Mali has challenged me and says, listen, I think we need to go to Grenada. 54 for three. Robinson comes in to bow to Cathy. Cathy is just there. Urgency, a little bit more intent. He can just get and punch that down. Yeah, I think he's looking to play too much on the offside. Yeah, ball as a ball in straight. You have to look to... I think maybe you see Reefer coming down, probably Reefer is going to tell him now to look to play the ball a bit a lot straighter. You know. Got to keep moving, keep looking up that V. It's going to be very, very, very important. A slip, a backward point to cover, mid on, mid off, short mid wicket, square leg, deep backward square, and a fine leg. Carty is trying to push that, but can't beat the cover. He's getting a little frustrated. He just needs to relax, just get on that stride. Very, very important. Get that left foot out to the pitch of that ball. 
and find that gap. Another maiden over, and the CWI President's 11, they remain on 54 for 3, they trail by 412 runs. Yeah, you see the difference in, in um, Carty and, and, and Lees, when Lees were batting, they were they're similar innings, you know, he batted a lot of deliveries, but, you know, if he missed out on a, on a bad ball or whatever, he, 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 he showed composure, he, he had the, the mindset to, you know, the important thing is that you, you bat and bat as long as possible, and unlike, you know, Casey Carty, he's showing frustration, he, it seems, it, it, it's not going to be surprising if he tries to do something, you know, to, to maybe to... To release, to, to, to release yeah. the tension. Yeah, I mean he has to exercise. But this is a, this is um basically test cricket a longer version. You have to apply the the, the the patience that is required. Yes, you want to score, but if it's not happening, you have to keep going. You also have to learn and look and <coughs> study approach yesterday from Johnny Bester, who also struggled. Mm. Here is Raymond Reefer playing at a uh, loose shot, pitched up to him, and he knew that. Wait for a little while in terms of what is going to be happening. 54 for 3. We've got Overton who has started this morning. Chris Overton from the media center in. Ball in his second delivery. Left alone by Reefer. Hmm. So England captain Joe Root ringing the changes here. And a lovely morning here in Antiguan Barbudo. With a real stiff breeze coming across the ground. Very important period of play here for the CWI President's Eleven. Wherever you're listening to us, we're glad that you've tuned in. And we want to thank you for your comments and your feedback. Around the wicket comes over time to bowl to Reefer. And Reefer is just quietly just coming forward. The England feelers are closing in like bees, trying <laughs> to put the pressure back on the CWI President's Eleven team. You think they might want to bat again, Sylvester? I believe so. Yeah, they want to get a another knock, another crack at it. They don't want to be feeling for two days, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reefer is just turning this one, but can't beat the. Jack Leach there, short mid wicket, who is very, 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 very close. For and, Reefer. I, and I think one, that is one of the things that um, this President 11, you know, should be thinking about as well, you know, but as long as possible, and allow them to stay in the field, to, to you know, to wear them down. <laughs> you know, that was uh, some, some of our mindset when we played against the touring team. We try to bat as long as possible, because we know, first thing they want to, when, when the touring team come and play against uh, President 11 or, uh, you know, a side game. First thing, they want to bat first. They want to bat for maybe a day, day and a half. And then they, they, they try to out you so they can bat again. <laughs> so always the objective. Mm. Another delivery from Overton left by Reefer. The score remains on 54 for three. The pressure is mounting. You can't bat all day and don't score. So you, you need to get some runs. Got to get moving. England clawing in here on Reefer. Overton in now to bowl to Reefer. Reefer is defending a uh, good delivery. And another maiden over again. Score remains on 54 for 3. 36 overs bowl so far in this play. Carty is 13. Reefer is not. We've lost Devon Thomas, LBW, to Ali Robinson for 1. So he didn't trouble uh, the scorers. Mm. They accept them that they just had to write that he was LBW. I wonder what's happening. We're live here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground, home of Cricket West Indies. Say good morning to Thomas Kentish in Dominica. Action taking place lightly. I met Thomas Kentish when you were at the Sagafi Sobers tournament a few years ago. He's a, he's a regular. He's well known in that competition every year. They, they, oh, lovely shot. Here is Carty getting on top of delivery <coughs> and steering it past backward point. Will he get a boundary? He does now. It hits the ropes now. Lovely shot by Carty. Stayed on top of it. Didn't try to overhit it. Just opened the face of the bat. Uh, lovely shot. He goes up to 17. 
and the score goes up to 58 to 3 so that might give him some confidence mm. um, Casey Carty CWI President's 11 they trail by 408 runs Thomas Kentish is one of the Phoenix Thomas and all those guys in the Ministry of Sports headed by Trevor Schillingford they work very 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 hard in Dominica mm. with the limited resources that they have but they're committed to their cause Robinson in now to bow to Kati. Kati gets a short delivery, helps it around down to Finex. Should have done better with that, Sylvester. Um, by his own standards, he gets a single in the end, goes up to 18. This goes, goes up to 59 for three. So many unsung cricket coaches all around the region. Elvis Howard. Got a couple of coaches in Guyana, in Trinidad and Tobago also. We have a few more coming out. We started um, a level, the, the Cricket West Indies level 2 last night. We're doing um, virtually. So last day was the first session and a, and a lot of um, present players. Here's a tickle here by Raymond Reefer. Goes down to the boundary for four. Folks was, folks was diving away, but he couldn't get there. And so boundary... Uh, Reefer is off the mark. And we have Rob, uh, Robinson like he's wounded. He goes up to 63 for three. So yeah. He, he Robinson hold, hold comes back. Up. So after all, they might have to call in either brother Anderson because it seems like <laughs> Ali Robinson and back, he holds his back and walking gingerly coming off. Well, maybe just a precautionary measure. Um, just to just make sure that maybe feel a little stiffness in the back. Mm. He's painting out his back. Uh, if Fizier comes out, <coughs> maybe he's going to ask him how he feels. These days, he's just like he says, it's just a little tickle. Mm, a, little, um, so a, they, a little pinch. Yeah. So they're going to have a look at him. And mm. with all the technology available now, Sil Sylvester, you know, it's going to be key. So Ollie Robinson goes off after 9.3 overs, 1 for 19. And he was able to trap Devon Thomas um, leg before this morning. The CWI President's 11, they're 63 for 3, and someone will end this over. Who is it? Is it works? No, number 25, was that? Mahmoud? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so Zach, Zaki Mahmoud. And he's also been on the radar too. He, he's got some pace, Mahmoud. Mm. So... He's been one in the reserves there for a little while. No mark with today yet. Mm. When Ali when, when Ali Robinson started yesterday, you know, he bowled, he was bowled, his line was very inconsistent and one of his hallmark really, you know, is that consistent line with bunks, with a bit of bunks and movements. And you know, I was wondering if he was, you know, hundred percent. Because, you know, bowlers like him and, and um and walks, those guys can come and hit their chops in terms of hitting the line and length. Um, consistently but when I saw him you know I was kind of concerned um, I know probably now he had he, he was feeling you know a, a little pinch or something Mahmoud around the wicket to bow to <laughs> Reefer Reefer stands up and punches that but can't beat the cover two slips uh, mm -hmm. so you reckon if if, if um, Robinson can't make it you reckon they will send for no brother yeah, Anderson yeah, they've already got their mindset if you if you listen to England they're not going to bring them out here on the carbon tour. So if there's an injury, who is going to come? They well, have a replacement? They, I think they work with about six seamers. So oh, they have, they, yeah, they, yeah. They have um, COVID reserves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they, they have, they've already made their mind up um, in terms of what they're going to do. Yes. Mm. That one sort of played reefer rather than reefer playing it. He, like, he wanted to leave alone. It's got to be a little bit more tighter, I think. Gonna have to make sure they can complete that. Mahmoud will just maybe complete these three deliveries. 63 for three. One thing we have seen um, throughout with Reefer, for especially for the past two games for, for, for Barbados, is the fact that he he doesn't really concern himself with just be just batting. He he, he likes he, he likes to be out there. He, in terms of scoring runs, That's a good he name. seems like he, he, he doesn't, wants to score. Yeah. He, he, he prefers to stay and bat and runs will come. <laughs> that's, the, that's the way that he, he showed in the past two uh, games. He bat, batted very, very long and he, he got some runs in the end. 
So, so occupational crease is not a problem for him. So 37 overs ball, 63 for three. Sylvester Joseph will take a altitude water break or pillars natural energy break. And in comes Mally Richards. And the only time I'll be batting with Mally Richards would be in the in the commentary booth. <laughs> Good morning, Mark. Good morning, good morning. Good morning to the listeners as well. And if you're watching on the YouTube stream, good morning to you uh, from a sunny CCG. Uh, it's been a good good morning uh, for the England cricket team, getting that early wicket, Devon Thomas. He was looking to, 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 to really uh, uh, have a substantial performance here in front of uh, the selectors and really uh, hammer home his name. Uh, for for a place in, in, in the West Indies squad, but it wasn't to be. And uh, here's England. Uh, we've got Casey Carty and Raymond Reefer battling away, but so are England. And uh, just, just picking off uh, wickets uh, every now and again. Overton is going to bowl to Casey Carty. Comes in out of bowl to Carty. Carty's missed out on that. Just needed a little leg glance to just tickle that away. And folks came across and down the leg side and picked up that delivery. Score remains on 63 for three. England, two slips, a gully, cover, mid on, mid off, short mid wicket, deep backward square leg, and a fine leg. That's the feel for Casey Carty, and as Sylvester keeps saying all the time, it's almost like an off spinner's feel. They know something that we don't know about. Mm. They have to put a bug into the room. Bang on target again is overturned. And Casey Carty is just contented to just more or less defend. But uh, I was listening to the conversation about Broad and Anderson between you and Sylvester as well. And I think, to be honest, it's pretty easy for uh, Strauss and the selectors to leave both Broad and Anderson out in, in West Indian conditions. I think it will be a true test when, when their home summer starts. Yeah. Whether we, we, you know, if they're selected or not, we'll see really where, where England are going, the direction. Here is Carty driving square for four. Lovely shot. And another boundary to Carty, second for the morning. And the score shots up to 67 for three. 67 for three. And Carty quickly goes up to 22 in a very quick time. But just last night, I was thinking as well, you know, um, you mentioned about the English media not really being that confident in this bowling lineup. And I was thinking possibly uh, along the same lines, you know, you take almost 1,200 wickets out of any attack. It's going to have an effect. You know, 600 a nod for, for, for Anderson and over 500 for Broad. Over turning out the boat to Kati Kati, driving Kapi Leach at cover. The score remains in 67 for three. If you're wondering what's happening on the Cricket West Indies YouTube stream channel, it's the Apex warm-up game. It's the CWI President's Eleven against England. This is day three. England 466 for six declared. A century from Johnny Bairstow. Casey Carty was in the field and he would have had a look at that innings. And if he can just replicate that, that would be brilliant for the West Indies team. Gets a short delivery. It's onto him. He was not in position. Didn't pivot enough. Well, there, he's got to get into his squeeze. There, right foot got to get back. And that sort of caught him in no man's land, really. But he got a single in the end. Score goes up to 68 for three. Carty goes up to 23. And at this level, that footwork just has to be a little bit sharper, you know. Uh, it's just a step up. These guys, uh, uh, it looks uh, uh, pretty tame at times. But you saw on that, on that delivery overturn, just bending his back and and really trying to test uh, Casey Carty, but he just managed to, to swivel on it, but didn't really have that firm base. Here is Reefer just turning this into the short mid good area. Can't score. Uh, over comes to an end. The score is 68 for three. 68 for three. Overton just grooving into his own lineup. Eight overs, two maidens, 16 runs, no wicket. And the... England team pegging away here at the CWI President's 11 team. Carty 23 from 71 deliveries, Reefer 4 from 19. And, and if you think about it as well, you know, just to go back to England, uh, Strauss has been appointed uh, uh, director on an interim basis. So there'll be someone else 
coming in and who knows what you know that person's plans may be he may just think hey we're not quite ready to move on from a broader runs and they may be right back in the fold so you never know but i think on this tour it'll come down to, to to the combination that england goes with you know whether they'll be conservative or whether they'll really try to be attacking whether we'll see my mood and, and wood and and fisher and the like in in the same uh uh, uh 11. Mahmoud into Kati. Kati just turns this into the leg side area. The feeler from Sharp Midwick, it comes in. The deep back of the feeler came in for a while. But he can't stop the single. Kati goes to 24. The score goes to 69 for three. Reefer on four comes into strike. This is the 39th over being bowled here. And the Barney Army, they're coming in in their hundreds. Mm -hmm. And I mean, <coughs> Sylvester stated that. Uh, Ali Robinson going off. That's not a good sign, really, for England. He would have played. He would be someone that they would be looking to to play a major role in terms of providing that control uh, uh, in these conditions. I'm holding to ball to reefer. Bang on target again. The bounce will not have, It's not bounced over the stump too consistently this morning at all, Mali. It's, it's definitely just, flattened out. Uh, yeah. Um, they won. Uh, it was okay, and then as the game has just worn, gone along, it's just gotten better and better in terms of uh, just flattening out the conditions for, for batting. But at the same time, it's not that easy to time the ball. You know, we've seen a few batters struggle to time the deliveries. Uh, Casey Carty, uh, when, he, when, he, when he looks to use the pace of the bowler as opposed to trying to hit it, uh, we've seen him time the ball a lot better. Another length delivery there from Mahmoud. And I think on these tracks here, you you have to get into the, the right position. Mm, mm. You know, and that base has to be solid. Solid. Solid foundation, you know, from which to, to, to launch. Um, we see uh, Raymond Reefer here with quite an open stance, isn't it? Quite an open stance. Uh, around the wicket, Sakib Mahmoud, around the wicket to him. And he's, he's, he's obviously very aware of uh, keeping that front pad. Uh, out of the way, especially with the line of attack, like Sylvester said, uh, of this England line of bowling, particularly straight to these CWI batters. And that did square him up a little bit there because he's playing around his, his pad there, mindful of what Mali was talking about there, the right foot. And because of that, you know, the, the, the bat tend to, to turn a little bit. But he's still there. Yeah, he survived, you know, and I. <laughs> um, Watching him in the first two games as well, you know, he's, he's just a battler. He's a battler all around. You know, he brings that aspect to, to, to any team and he, he's well up for a fight and he's going to be there and he's, he's going to try and put his hand up here and put in a performance because I think he also feels that maybe he should have played a few more international games and, and he wants to put in performances and prove, uh, and prove people wrong. Mahmoud in out the boat to Sort of reminded me, Mali, of... You know, Carlos Bratwit. I don't know if you remember when Carlos Bratwit started his test career. Yeah, about two, three half centuries. And then all of a sudden he just, you know, no, nobody really took him seriously. But at the time when Carlos Bratwit came, it was a critical period of time. It's the same thing with Raymond Reefer. Um, you know, it's like we, we convert Mally Richards rather than from a red ball into a white ball player. But Carlos Bratwit during his period of time was almost destined to be an all-rounder, especially at all the, formats. At yeah, mm. you know, but we just turned him into, after he became a hero in the T20, we said, oh, well, you know, this is where you're going to be. Mahmoud in out the ball to Reefer. Reefer comes quietly forward, technically sound. And one thing about Reefer is he's, he's conscious about his game, his head positioning. You could see him and looking at his, his positioning. He's on four from 24, Skip. Carty 24 from 72. Skip would know about this. That, it's that L shape, uh, you know, that head. Uh, pretty much pointing uh, towards the direction of, of that bowler and, 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 uh, and being over the ball pretty much at all times. Well, the and base is important because mm. if you're too straight up, then you, you're not balanced at the crease. You, know, you, you get your... And it's almost like walking, Mali. Mm. If you come on your toe, then your, feet, your, then your knees are locked. If you come on your heel, then you're, you're more balanced. And it's the head, you know. It's the head the, that the, guides the head everything. Gets, Wherever the no, head goes, yes. the body follows. A lot, a lot of people, you know, talk about the feet, but uh, it's, it's the head that has to be going forward. And then the and that's, feet the, that's where it takes the lead. Yep. In terms of it's going to push you there. Yep. It is the heaviest part of your body, so you'll understand what's happening. Carty. 
just coming across nicely. Even Mali and Sylvester, even the, the running between the wickets. You know, you know, if Mali, you know, both of us are batting, it is important that, you know, especially if you're playing in, in grounds where the noise is massive, you have to be looking at your partner. You know, it, it can be no yes wait, and that's what we were talking yesterday about communication. Um, you know, how are we going to deal with this today? You know, the England's, uh, English are chirping X, Y, Z. You, you, you have to establish that, that, that communication line. That's where he said as well that the basics of the game should transfer from team to team regardless of who your teammates are. Yes. You know, uh, whether I've played with Sylvester for 10 years or not, and then I've, or I've just uh, uh, playing with him for the first time, loud communication that transfers from team to team. And you, you have know? to be looking at each other. Yes. Yeah, where, where, where you, can't, you can't hit a ball and take off exactly. when your partner is not responding. But where it goes to another level is that familiarity Indeed. where you can communicate without that, uh, that uh, loud communication. Yes. Kati mm, is whipping this one different things, beautifully. Yeah. And you know, all these are little fundamental things mm -hmm. that have to be taught from an, from an early age. The cricketing aspect and the knowledge of, of, of what you expect. Game awareness. Um, how do you deal with a game awareness? Because different situations call for different things. Sometimes we lapse, you know, on, on certain situations and just take things for granted. And because of how you operate mediocrity, then you just continue with that. And the basics have to, have to uh, uh, become even more important in a game such as this. When, when, when you're in a team, when you're not quite familiar uh, with, with all the players, you know, you, you haven't played uh, that much cricket together. That's where the basics uh, become even more important. 70 for 3, Reef for the left hander gets a delivery from Overton. Can't score. So good morning to Inga Leibard. And even Carlos Truss, who's on line. Kennedy Rollins in the United States will be listening. And a monarch in St. Kitts, Clement Monarch Agara, will be viewing this very closely. I know for sure the folks in St. Martin and Gwilla, Richie Singer and company, Nathan Edwards, they want Casey Carty to get some runs. He's 25. He needs from 75, so he needs 75 more to get 100. Maybe a big one. Here is a ball pitched up, and Reefer knows that he should have put that half volley away. He's disgusted with himself, knowing when he saw that, just leaned into it. He's talking to himself and saying, how can Overton get away with that? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Overton, uh, you, you know, he's, he, he, he's actually got a twin brother in Jamie Overton. Uh, they used to play together at Somerset. Now Jamie's moved to Surrey. And uh, Jamie's actually the quicker I would say out of the out two. Of the, out of the two? Yeah, for sure. But on target again. But Craig, just a little bit more accurate. and um, But J both carry that aggression as well. Yeah, I probably thought that Jamie, I think Jamie was uh, selected, maybe England Lions, and almost selected for the senior team, but had a few issues as well, disciplinary. But uh, still, still very much in the selector's thoughts, I think. Another over comes to an end. Count run rate is 1.75. Carty 25. Reef for 4. 40 overs bold. And CWI President's 11. There's 70 for 3. And sooner rather than later, we just might see um, Jack Leach coming into yeah. the, the conversation. And, and, and the thing is, and, and Sylvester said it, you know, you, you've got to make these bowlers work. You're also... Uh, um, yeah, you want to put in good performances, but you, want, you also want to try and help uh, the, the, the senior team and uh, you, you do that by, by making these bowlers really work and putting them uh, letting them spend hours out in the field just like you did here is a bang on delivery from Mahmoud to Casey Carty it's going to have to be very very careful um, there's got to be a lot more tighter because as Sylvester said they're bowling him a lot more straighter yeah, Mahmoud is in to his second I'd, Second I'd, over. I'd sap that energy, you know. You, you want to sap that energy from these bowlers uh, from a West Indian perspective. So they, they're not quite as fresh going into that uh, first test. But what I have noticed is that uh, Stokes has a bowled. Uh, we haven't seen Matthew Wood at all. So is that a sign of, of uh, things to come in terms of those two being penciled in already in, in that eleven? Like a 
turn into the leg side area by Carty picking up his 26 run off 77 deliveries. Stokes for sure. It's just whether he bowls, isn't it? Well, he's going to bowl in the Caribbean for sure. Yeah, and he but he's had team. his injury issues yeah, as well. Once he's fit. So you'll have to be mad. Yeah, once fit. He's going to fire back. Bowling figures so far for England. Ollie Robinson, who's gone off the field. 9.3 overs, 4 maidens, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Chris Wokes, 11 overs, 4 maidens, 27 runs, no wickets. Craig Overton, 9 overs, 2 maidens, 17 runs, no wickets. And Jack Leach, who we've not seen yet for the day. 9 overs, 6 maidens, 5 runs, 1 wicket. Mahmood, who's into his second over. Um, bongs away around the wicket to bowl to Reefer. Is into bowl to Reefer. Reefer is mm. playing a naughty shot, and it is so low that he, <laughs> he even fell down and all. Um, he couldn't and reach wide, it. and wide, and wide, as Mali would say. Just, just one of those to just let go through to Ben Fox. And Ben Fox has had quite a bit of work to do uh, uh, behind his stumps. He hasn't. The bowlers haven't been quite as accurate as you'd, you'd expect uh, from these English bowlers, but. Um, He's been moving his feet. He's had quite a few tumbles on the leg side. Uh, he's getting a, a thorough workout himself behind the stumps. 71 for three. Reface four. Waits for Mahmoud. Comes in out to bowl to him. And he could be in trouble, but I think it's because he's coming around the wicket. That was in ducking, coming back. But I think he was doing too much there. And he misjudged completely the <laughs> length there. That's an interesting one. I want to see that replay. It's going down. Mm. I think the angle where he delivered it from, I might be wrong. But it's quite a slingy action in my mood, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I was close. I mean, the umpires have, 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 have been pretty in, good. In a, he's been in a bit, and he's in a better position. Better than, than us. us. We're not directly, We're not directly behind. behind. Yeah. It's maybe just doing a little too much, and the height probably being an issue as well. Mahmoud. Comes into ball to Reefer, he's into ball to Reefer, bang on target again. Reefer is, as because he's so, the, the action, he's not coming from, from over here. Over the top, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's quite the, a slingy, slingy, low arm. I uh, don't want to say malinga like. Not, not quite, quite as low. there, but it's just or almost Fidel, there. Not quite as low as that, as, but as that. that's quite slingy. And he does get that little movement, though. He's getting the ball to mm. induct. Induct very quickly. And he's hitting the deck. Um, tremendously hard. That's what that's what he's known for. So he it's amazing to see how close Ben Fokes is actually behind his stumps. Well, he has to based mm. on the ball being dying on yeah, him, and so he's yeah. already has assessed that situation. And, and that's the thing about these uh, international players; they assess and and, and uh, the conditions really early and make the adjustments necessary. Here comes Mamoudi. Comes in out to bowl to Rifa, into bowl to Rifa, Rifa slashing that wide delivery down to the boundary for four. That came off the bat sweet. You would enjoy that cricket shot any day. 75 for three. Reefer goes to eight. What a shot. 41 overs bowled. And Denmo, there's a, a lady who <laughs> sent Pillars Natural, Vanessa and Kelsic. She sent that for you. It's an energy bar. I actually had mine. It was very so, good. Um, very good. I'm a fan of that blueberry, blaster of blueberry flavor. That's a good one. So pillars not this jokes. is locally made in Antigua and Barbuda. And if you're looking for it, it's got a telephone number in it, so you can give Vanessa a call. Pillars Natural. It's an energy bar. I haven't had mines yet. So, you know, then more Mali has had his, so too is Sylvester. And I'll come into team 75 for three. And trust me, during the test match, West Indies versus England, you can be best, rest assured that Vanessa will be there with her Pillars Natural energy bars. Here comes Jack Leach, Mali. Yeah, like you said. And the thing is, uh, uh, to make him work, just like Brian Charles, twirled away and twirled away for what? <laughs> almost 50 overs. <laughs> the aim from these, uh, for these uh, President 11 batters is to, to really make Jack Leach work for his wickets. We saw Shane Mosley uh, almost just uh, throw his wicket away uh, with that shot that he played yesterday. But... Uh, more of the same, really. Just, just have him work hard, and, and at the end of the day, uh, almost uh, uh, have his arms uh, in, in, in a nice bath on its own. Leach starts with a wide delivery, goes past Fox. Joe Wood is after it, but only to retrieve, and that'll be signaled four buys by umpire Nigel Duguid. Not a good start from Leach. So the score goes up to 79 for three. England, um, England starting with a slip, a short leg, 
a backward point, short extra cover, um, real real short extra cover, and a cover mid on mid off, short mid wicket, and a feeler inside on the 45. Left arm spinner Jack Leach Wayne, the number 77 comes into the boat to Carty, and Carty comes quietly forward. He, uh, uh, when he picks the bat up, um, Mali, mm. he, he ends up in a situation where he looks like he wants to sweep, and, and then he just changes his mind in terms of what's happening. He comes in out the boat, and he's back and just looking to turn that in the field under 45, um, coming around nicely. I saw, I we saw that a couple of times from Devon Thomas yesterday as well. Uh, with that line of attack over the wicket, uh, middle and leggish, uh, just shaping to sweep and just changing his mind at the last second. Casey okay, Cathy's 26, wait for Leach down the onside. That should be swept though. That's the difference. That's what we're talking about. You know, it's pitched. That one's pitched outside leg, and he, 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 it's either the conventional sweep or, or, or the lap. It's just missing out on some scoring opportunities there. There is uh, another delivery, bang on target. Um, can't score. 79 for three. Carty remains on 26. Here comes Jack Leach. He's going to come in now. The ball to Casey Carty. Casey Carty comes quietly forward, head well over the ball. And Leach completes his spell here so far. So he's now bowled 10 overs. Seven maidens, five runs, one wicket. Mali. Steady stuff. Just Jack steady Leach stuff. can't bowl seven <laughs> maidens here. Well, he has. That's <laughs> what he's done. He's bowled seven in ten. He's only gone for the five runs. I don't think he's been hit for a boundary, has he? Can't no. think of it. Can't think about it. Can't that. think of him being hit for a boundary. It's just been steady stuff. No real pressure being applied to him. Uh, he hasn't necessarily been fizzing the ball. He hasn't been spitting turning and bouncing, really causing many problems for the batters either, but uh, it's just steady stuff. And um, 55 dot balls join his spell. Mm. It's a high proportion. Yeah, look at his economy rate as well. It's yeah, under 0.5. 1, it's 0 .5, so. uh, something, uh, I don't know if we're looking at the same game, uh, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, I mean, it's still a long way to go. Casey Carty uh, looking pretty good though, uh, 26. Uh, just building into his innings quite nicely and, and just looking to bat for a long time. Mahmoud has just worked away and down to the final area. Leach comes off of that area, fires a return back into the keeper. In fact, I don't know, Mali, but when you look at Mahmoud, he has a sort of aggression like an Ali Khan from the United States know, of America. Yep, yep. And quite, a sim quite similar actions as well when you look at them. Uh, that slingy. Uh, nature, not necessarily uh, high release points, but uh, high pace though, good pace, decent pace. Um, conditions though, not really suiting uh, fast bowling here, but uh, he's still running in and, and, and giving quite good energy and looking to make a breakthrough. And making some adjustments for Casey Carty. He's going to bowl straight. I just think a little bit more closer. Attacking these pads here. Yeah, that's what they're going for. Mood in now to go to Kati. Kati stands up and punches that through the gap. He's going to get a couple of runs here if he wants. He's coming back quite easily for two. So good run in, good communication between Kati and Rifa. He goes to 28. The score goes up um, very quickly. He's played that shot in particular quite well, hasn't he? A little back foot punch. Almost, uh, I, I remember him picking up four actually. Uh, a lovely shot of uh, Ollie Robinson, I think it was, just yes. off that back foot, just uh, caressing it through that uh, backward point area. And you almost. don't have to try to overhit the ball. Exactly. You just have to just use the Especially on ball. this pitch. Uh, on this pitch. It's 28 Carty, waits for Mahmoud. Goes past Bratwet, in out the ball to him, and that squares him up, but he opens the face of the bat. Had kept his eyes on it and steers it down to the vacant third man. Root is after it, and when he gets there, he picks it up. In the traditional position, as you have been taught in the Joe Root Academy. And he hurls it back to folks. Carty goes to 30, score goes to 84 for three. Just beginning to, to, to find his rhythm, though, Casey Carty. But I want to see that right foot. Um, in terms of that rotation of strikes. Yes. Like you say, you know, he's just picking up the ones and twos here. Uh, and um, being quite proactive, you know, and that's what you want to see. He's moved on to 30 now in his face, the, what, the 85 deliveries, 86 deliveries. 
Well, Modi now to bow to Kati. Kati squeezing this one away, but can't feed the, beat the field at backward point. Just needs to relax. Just stay a little bit longer um, on it. Get that stride out. That left foot just a little bit. Um, just a little bit too straight. Just, just get in, lean into it and just, just push it. I know what you mean. He's just probably just bailing out of the shot just a little too early. Uh, hence why you're not getting that contact and that power. Uh, also that timing, you know, but uh, he's still there. He's, he's still looking, looking a pretty good young prospect here for, for, for the Windies going forward as well. He's one for the future for the West Indies. And uh, they have come from a, a winning World Cup team. And uh, the selectors have been talking to him. So too is Desmond Haynes and his panel. And he has a, a glorious future in front of him. Sometimes you have to look at your mindset. How bad do you want it? And these are opportunities that, has, that have to be seized as well. You're on 30 of 87 deliveries against England here in a, in a first-class warm-up match. And, uh, you know, this, if you take this opportunity and score a pretty big, big hundred, who knows what can happen in the, pretty near, in, in the near future, you know? He's 24 years of age, made his debut for the Leeward Islands in 2016. And has been talked about around the region. Another delivery. Another over complete. He's looking at the bottom of his bat. But he's still there on 30 from 88 deliveries. Rifa is 9 from 32. And the CWI President's 11 there. 84 for 3. 43 overs bold. And the current run rate is 1.95. And just to give some bowling figures. Just in case you've just tuned in to our stream. Just need to give you an update that Ollie Robinson for England is, is off the field. So you got to be able to make sure we check that out. We will bump over and find out if it's a worry. But he did indicate to the Fizzer that was just a little twinge, like he maybe felt something in the back. And they've had issues with him, actually, in his fitness. Yeah. Um. Ollie Robinson, 9.3 overs, 4 maidens, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Chris Wilkes, 11 overs, 4 maidens, 27 runs, no wickets. Craig Overton, 9 overs, 2 maidens, 17 runs, no wickets. Jack Leach, 10 overs, 7 maidens, 5 Runs one wicket and Mahmoud 3.3 overs, no maidens, 11 runs, no wickets. Here's Leach with a nice flighted delivery to Rifa, who's stroking it up to cover, can't score, a slip, a backward point to cover, mid off, mid on, short mid wicket, a short leg, uh, play on the 45, more or less, trying to maybe save that single, looking for that sweep shot. Leach in now the ball to Rifa is back and just turning it just past the short leg, to the right of the short leg. The score remains on 84 for 3. Rifa is 9. Count run rate 1.94, but that is not important as we speak. The importance of Cricket West Indies 11 is to score and battle all day, as Mali said. Keep the English out there for a long time. And uh, the leech is the left arm orthodox, ortho orthodox spinner. I, I think it's fair to say that the biggest impact that he's made in, on the international game has actually been with the bat. If you can think back to that test against I Ooh. Here is a quicker, faster delivery. Might have been the arm ball. Sort of hit um, Rifa a little bit high. Umpire Nigel Duguid, there was an appeal. And just more or less, it's just didn't to give support to Leach because Leach really didn't go up as if he was expecting something to happen. He's thinking about it. Jack Leach, we're in the number 77. Comes in out of ball to Raymond Reef and Reef is almost thought he'd gone to Leach, but the big straight bat, like the bat of Bridgestone, <laughs> capital of Barbados. Reef are just saying, not today, Leach. Leach comes in to ball to Reef and Reef is driving beautifully, picking up an easy single. Coming around there looks like Ben Stokes. Um, at mid off, can't stop the single. It was to his right, and Rifa goes up to 10, scores 85 for 3, 44 overs bowl. And we have the first water break of the morning. Uh, Mali Richards will give us his comments. I will give Den Moore like, a chance to get a Pillar's natural energy bar, get himself organized. I was actually asking you, you remember Jack Leach is 90 out against Ireland at large? Yes, yes. When, he, when, when basically he saved England he from, saved from England defeat. From defeat, yes, yes, yes. And yes. also his, uh, his <laughs> part in that partnership with, with Ben Stokes. Mm -hmm. When <laughs> Stokes played that, 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 that 
match winning innings. I think it was at Headingley. I'm not at sure. Headingley, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Uh, he's really made an impact more with with uh, with the ball in the international game. But, uh, almost a little bit of a repair job uh, going on here between. Uh, Raymond Reefer and Casey Carty losing that early wicket of Devon Thomas, uh, not adding to his overnight score of one. Uh, a lot of the local fans would have been very disappointed with that dis dismissal, you know, really looking forward to Devon getting stuck in and uh, possibly posting a big score. But like I said, a bit of a repair job here. Casey Carty looking pretty good on 30. Um, and uh, Raymond Reefer as well battling away. But so this England team, they won bowler down in Ollie Robinson. Uh, he went off the field. We haven't seen uh, Ben Stokes uh, bowling yet. But we have Wood who is marking out his run-up now. Oh. Yeah, and uh, oh no, it looks like Fisher actually. I saw him putting on the whites a bit earlier. So he'll possibly be coming into the attack at some point in the day as well. Young Fisher, my first time actually laying eyes on him uh, in the flesh. Uh, it's actually a bit of a prodigy. Um, Vernon actually making his list day debut uh, for Yorkshire at the age of 15. Wow, yeah, back in but he's had some injury issues and he, he, he actually made his first class debut at 17. So, quite interested to see him here in the flesh, see what pace uh, he's really letting this ball go at, and, uh, and just seeing what he, what, what he adds to this uh, bowling, bowling attack, considering. The, the, uh, the dropping of, of Stuart Broad and, and James Anderson. These guys also have a lot of pressure on them, these new guys coming in, hoping to fill that void. All right, so the President's 11, they trail by 181 runs. Just let me just give some bowling stats that. Um, um, sorry, 381. Sorry, that then went. to avoid the follow on, they need 181. So that's going to be key. So the bowling figure so far, Ollie Robinson was off injured, 9.3 overs, 4 maidens, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Chris Wokes, 11 overs, 4 maidens, 27 runs, no wicket. Craig Overton, 9 overs, 2 maidens, 17 runs, no wicket. Jack Leach, 11 overs, 7 maidens, 6 runs, 1 wicket. And Mahmood, 3.3 um, overs, no maidens, 11 runs, no wicket. Casey Carty is not out on 30 from 88 balls, 188, 18 minutes, 4 deliveries, um, 4 boundaries so far. Raymond Reefer not out on 10, 38 balls faced, 57 minutes. And the big wicket that CWI President 11 would have lost this morning. Thomas LBW to Ollie Robinson for one. And yesterday, Solanzo run out for 17. Mosley bowled for 20. And Sylvester Joseph has joined us. And we'll double change Sylvester. And then it will be the voice of Denmore Roberts. Watching and listening. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful coverage of the practice match between England and the West Indies Presidents Eleven in the Apex series. Uh, good to see you, Denmo. You're looking fresh, like you had a, a good a good rest last night. I hope you weren't with Kenny Benjamin. No, once I stay away from Kenny Benjamin, my rest will be well. Oh, It'll that's why good. you're looking so fresh. Yeah. No. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm just looking in uh, Sylvester and good morning to all our listeners and see how times have changed. We just saw uh, a bowler measuring his run up and uh, you, the groundsman bringing some paint to help him mark it. I remember the days when you had to hide to, to mark the ground <laughs> from the umpire. <laughs> you used to walk out with a little um, cola cork in your yeah, pocket yeah, yeah. And, 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 and put it down and, and try to stamp it in so the umpire doesn't see and those kind of things. But it's it, it's the way that the game has progressed. The Antiguans would be very disappointed. Devon Thomas not able to add to his overnight total. But that's the way cricket goes. Mm. And let me also just say thank you to Pillars Natural for the energy bar. Listen, if I eat this now, with the type of energy commentators already have, <laughs> <laughs> they might be, my producers might be calling me. The delivery of a new over works is... Coming from the northern end, played away by the left-handed reefer. I was a little surprised that Alec Athenes, the young batsman, didn't come earlier uh, and be given an opportunity. I was surprised to see reefer coming out at the fall of that Devon Thomas wicket. I, I thought that they, they might have given Alec Athenes, a young 
a middle order player. I actually think that he's an opener um, because when we saw him in his early part of the career, brief is playing defensively to a short of a length delivery and the off stump. When we saw him earlier in his career, he played as an opener in that World Cup that the West Indies won. But since then, for the Windward Islands and the now, we see him coming in as a middle order batsman. Yeah, I was really surprised. I mentioned it to, to Vernon, uh, but uh, Vernon is happy with Weaver. He Weaver was one of one his. He thinks that Weaver has so, so an X factor. <laughs> so, you know, I, I yeah, but but in in this in this in in this game, um, who are we trying to showcase? Are we trying to showcase Weaver, who has had opportunities even at the, at, at Test cricket, mm -hmm. or are we trying to see if we have um, somebody? who's young and upcoming, if, if they can, you know, stand up to the rigors of this kind of, um, of, of, of opposition. So it, it, it's probably how you look at it, how you think about it. Um, I, I feel Reef has, has been given uh, ample opportunity. And um, I, I don't know if we're trying to, you know, make him into a test player in, in, in this game. So uh, I would have preferred to have seen an Alec Athenes come at this stage. And, and, and yesterday, I, I heard when, when Springer was also um, calling out the statistics for the regional competition over the years. And, and with um, the opener there from Grenada, that, that is leading the charge. And Devon Smith. Devon Smith. We watch as we face driving to a delivery that is up to him. Ball well, left about in the air, but going straight to... Looks to be Stokes, who's standing at mid-off. There's no run. Uh, and, and Devon Smith still leading the charge. Uh, I, I, I ask the question, when does a senior player like Devon Smith um, step aside or move down to allow someone else to come through the, the ranks? So uh, even if he still has something to contribute to Winnow Dallas cricket, does he move down to a three or four and allow a new opening batsman to come in? Or does he stay at the top and... And, and make all the runs. Rifa is driving. The bowler getting his hand onto it. He's going to get a couple of runs. I don't think it will have what it takes to run into the boundary. Good work on the part of the English fielders. Just flicking it back and the batsmen are able to come through for two runs. Another over has come to an end. 45 overs gone. <coughs> West Indies, President's 11, 87 for three. Yeah, I think it's an important discussion. Um, come, I, I have the opinion that, you know, Alec Atinez, uh should have, you know, given the opportunity to, to come in a bit earlier. So showcase his skill. We are in the Caribbean. We're looking for, you know, a top of the batsman and uh, even middle of the batsman. But it seems to me like uh, Reefa is trying to reinvent himself into uh, a, a top of the batsman. But I was asking um, Springs if he believes that you know, Reefer can, can make a West Indies um, test team but in, in the top six. And he, he, he's convinced that he can. So yeah. I guess uh, what we have seen with Reefer, he also believes that he can, he can, he can make it um, in, the, in the top five, top six. In his recent performances as well, he has, he has a, a few good performances. They're coming through for a quick single and they will get it in the end. Carty <coughs> was just a little bit guilty there of ball watching. But Reefer was alert, calling him through. For the quick single as the ball had gone into the short backward square region. And so one more to the total. One more to Carty. That ball left the bat in the air slightly. But away from the short leg. Feel 88 for 3. And uh, whose job is it? I, I, I ask to identify and decide how we're going to do. We, we now have Reefer is driving and missing at the leech delivery upside line of the off stop. You wanted to put that one somewhere to the offside, didn't get his foot out to it, just um, standing on the crease and driving just with the line of the delivery, Raymond Reefer. Yeah. Uh, I'm of the opinion that um, in franchises, in franchise cricket, the, the people who are in charge of the, the franchises could also receive some instructions from selectors. I, 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 I don't know, you don't have to agree. I'm thinking that if, you, if you're looking for an opener and you feel that, like Athenes, we've seen an open before, you, you know, a, a message should, be, should come from the selectors to say, look, we want Alex Athenes to bat at the top of the innings for your franchise so that we can have a look at him as a potential open, opening 
batsman, etc., etc. I, I don't know if you would agree with statements like that. Well, I think so, in some in some instances, you 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 would you would make that um, suggestion, or uh, you know, you try to to allow for a player. It depends if you're coming from the higher level. You know, the selectors at the higher level they want to see him. or want to see a particular player. You know, uh, they're looking at a particular player, and if you can give him the opportunity, you know, for the betterment of West Indies cricket or even whichever team, you know, it's understandable. Um, I, I, I had a discussion with, um, with, with Kenny Benjamin um, some time ago and I was making the point and he didn't agree with me. The end of the over, 88 for 346 overs gone. I was making the point um, with him that I, I feel that, you know, somebody like a Devon Smith, who clearly, uh, I think the West Indies have gone past him. They've moved on from him. I don't expect to hear Desmond Haynes picking him anytime in the future as, as an opening batsman. Mm. I am. I was of the firm opinion that him coming and opening the batting for Windward Islands is counterproductive to what we, we're trying to do. Um, Kenny Benjamin was of the opinion that you know they need, you need some players to guide the others along. But I, I am saying that at the top of the innings, um, you know, making the bulk of the runs, how is he really guiding the other players? I, I don't know if you understand the point that I'm trying to make. How is that guiding? How 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 do I guide you? By, by, you know, still being the top batsman. Hmm. Down the leg side, and Carty again. Missing out on those opportunities. And this is what we didn't see from England. When England got those loose deliveries, uh, run scoring deliveries, they almost made the, the bowlers pay every time. We've seen quite a number of those yesterday and today to Casey Carty. And he's just missing those deliveries. I, I'm not sure. He's, he's playing a little bit late. Are those deliveries, those badly lined deliveries. Walks continues. Here we see in and Carty playing a little bit away from his body into the offside field. And you would think that um, 91 deliveries and Carty been there since um, yesterday, uh, just after tea. By now, he should be a little bit more confident about himself. What is it that is still stopping him at this stage? What would be stopping him at this stage from looking... As if he has gotten in. Well, um, to be honest, I'm um, seeing him throughout the season so far in both games. This is the way that he is uh, applying himself. Um, for what we have seen for from the West Indies' perspective in terms of the batting, we have um, the, our batsmen are lacking that that time in the middle. You know, um, we most of our games are finishing like in three, four days. <laughs> you know, so I think the application. What uh, uh, is is really encouraging from what I'm seeing with him, but as I I believe, you know, not not that I'm knocking the application, but no, I'm no. saying that he's been in since um, T yesterday. Yeah. When he gets those loose deliveries, by now he should be in enough to to put those away. But he's still um, almost playing them like a nervous uh, batsman who was just coming. And I I mean in total agreement with you. I mentioned that to to Springs this morning. Um, also, that gets I, a quick single and gets it easily. In the end, again, the ball going to Ben Stokes at that mid-off position. He was a little bit slow in moving off, and Katie, Casey Carty called through Reefer very quickly for that thing. Yeah, um, watching these guys, especially the English batsmen, I mean, they are more experienced in, in, every, in, every, in every aspect because most of these guys play 100 and are test, um, not test, but uh, first-class game. Right. Yeah, you know, but you see a different demeanor, even though... They're batting for long and they're not as scoring as fluently, but they're playing the shots. They may be finding, not finding the gap. But our players, you know, even if they're, they're out there, they're blocking, and it has to be a really, really, you know, bad delivery yeah. for them to, to, to score. Right. Um, the, the intent, the intent, I think, to score, um, need to, to lift. You have to, yeah, yeah, it's all well and good that you're batting long, mm -hmm. but if you're batting long and then you, you're, you're not making, making any runs, runs I mean, right. it's the same thing. The time that the, the other team has to bat, it, they're gonna make they're gonna make whatever because, because it's not you're much. still gonna have a small total. <laughs> yeah, so it's important that you're bat long, but you have to find a way, you know, to, to find show ways more to intent. score. Yeah. Right. Understood. And Carty and Reefer would be hoping that they can find ways to score. Reefer is on twelve, Carty on thirty one. Mm. This is Wokes changing his line of attack. He's around the wicket to Reefer. Reefer is driving beautiful shot through extra cover. He's gonna get some runs here. It's running pretty close to the boundary. As a matter of fact, it has enough. It goes into the boundary now. Well played by Reefer. 
and just what you 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 said just it has to be a bad delivery like mm. that one over pitched um for him to score about but score he did on that occasion and we for looking really good with that stroke yeah i mean and you know we can we can ask questions concerning the the, the, the number in which we for bats but when you look um when he given the opportunity for for barbados to bat yeah no i think he's number three or number four you know he's producing he hasn't really got a, a big hundred yet but he he bats with his captain um quick bat with and they put on very, some very good partnerships he, he got a, some some good scores as well so you know um giving the opportunity and he's proven here again that you know application is important he looks the part he he he, he and he's he's scoring so if he gets another if he get a big total here then uh the selectors may may be we may think this i may think that but at the end of the day um it, it's about performances it is about performances leach is going to start a new over to casey carty carty should get a run here he's playing this one into the square cover region and takes off and get a run this is what i i would love to see that carty and rifa do pick the ball into the gaps the, yeah. look to keep the scoreboard ticking over this will also upset Jack Leach's um, rhythm, yeah. having to bowl to you know left and right and combination. But w when he settles in and is bowling to just one of the bowlers uh, for an extended period of time, then he can can find himself a rhythm. So they they're going to have to look to to do that. If he's covering up to a delivery that angles back at him, no run. So he has there they, they are two slips in for Reef and there's also a man at short leg. So they have men around the bat. Leech. Bowling left arm over the wicket to Reefer. Again, Reefer is coming forward, playing defensively. Back along the pitch for Leech to field his own bowling. And there's no run. And to be honest, then more when you look at this England attack, there is no so to speak devil in the attack you know they haven't have a, a pretty a, a ordinary yeah. attack we haven't seen any anybody that looks as if you know they they're going to be blasting out mm. any team anytime soon and i heard springer earlier uh making the comment that english press they're not necessarily very confident in this bowling attack they think that it's it's, it's going to be a bowling attack that struggles and from the evidence that we've seen so far i i tend to agree with them i don't see any anything or anyone that um you know should really and truly trouble teams carty's playing defensively uh, to another leech delivery leech coming around the wicket to the right-handed carty and he comes over the wicket to the left-handed i hope that includes the west indies team it, it should it should include the west indies team um but you you never know you know that um <laughs> when west indies um, plays we are very inconsistent these days and so we're just hoping for consistency at the top level 95 for three after 48 overs well yeah i mean you know what i'm saying uh, the, 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 you haven't seen any well you haven't seen mark wood you know he is the most i think fast uh, the fastest bowler that this this squad has and um we haven't seen him really but, but, we, but we've seen um even though when we've seen him in in test match cricket he has the pace but he's not necessarily been knocking over mm. teams. Mm. He hasn't been very dominant in terms of um, his, his fast bowling, even though he's probably the fastest bowler we saw even in the Ashes, that England at times tended to, to go with um, Broad and, and Anderson. So, so even though Wood is, is there uh, and could be the X factor, I don't think that, um, you know, just from previous performances, that it, he should be somebody that we, we're overly concerned about. Because we have batted fast bowlers before, and um, if our if our, our our batsmen are able to stand up to to wood what, four or five overs per spell, we should be okay. Reefer is coming forward and just playing a short of a leg delivery into the offside field. Looks to be Robinson, that tall figure that is standing there. And there is no run. How is that? We will figure out who that fielder is there. Uh, Root is just making another adjustment to the field. I see him moving from slip. He's coming forward. Where, where is he going? Is he? He's having a chat with He's probably the, having a little Oops. word. 
Yeah, he's having a chat with Vox. With there, Vox. Guess, and then he's coming into that um, very straight, short, mid-off position almost um, for, for, for him. And um, Vox is just indicating to him, I really want the slip. So uh, I needed to put someone else there. And so they've made the adjustment. Root has come back to a first slip position. Interesting, interesting feel. There is no point, no gully. Just a, a slip, no no one, no third man. So, they, so they're looking to bowl him um, full and straight. And and you, you can see that they, they're going to try to get him to drive. Mm. Uh, he's getting one short of a length and just leaning forward and playing it defensively back along the pitch for Wooks to feed his own bowling. There's no run. Or they're probably thinking that if we put the men in, in that position, Sylvester Joseph, we're going to force him to try and invent a stroke. We're going to force him to try and play the ball, square of the wicket. And, uh, and, and, and so the trap is maybe not necessarily for the drive, but for other things. Mm. Just to mess with his psyche. This is Wokes. Runs in and bowls, and he's beating him outside the line of the off stump. And, and that is exactly what they, we're talking about. Just because that fielder has been put at that very short mid-off position in a catching position, he's now moving gingerly and he's he's adjust he's he's trying to adjust and play at those deliveries, not in the confident manner. We, mm. we saw that he was stepping forward and driving through the offside. Now that he's sort of staying on the back foot on his heels a little bit. Yeah, but what I'm saying too as a batsman in, in this particular field, you know, if the bowler he has to bowl straight. You're looking for any delivery that errs on the you know, outside the off stump. You know, you have to flash raise one slip, no gully, no no third man, no point. So if he errs in outside of the off stump, that is where you're that looking where to, you're, to, to, you're, to, 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 to score. score. Yeah. <laughs> and it can't be tentative, you have to be positive. So even if you get an edge, it will, it will you know, it will fly. So Flash, they say, yeah, you're going flash, to flash, yeah. flash hard, still some discussion about the field place thing let me tell you it it's the it's a slip if you're listening to us on the radio and there is a square cover extra cover then there's a short mid-off catching and there's a man at a widish mid-off as well this is walks outside and he's flashing this one hard backward of point and it runs into the boundary for four just as you said That's sylvester anything that is loose outside that should be the treatment that we should give of course of course and we have to look to score if he comes with this particular field nobody at golly even if they hit it in the air <laughs> you know they, there's no one there's the gap and he wants if he's bowling out there you got to look to be positive so Ruth, just um probably having looks as if he himself and ben stokes they're having a little discussion as to the field placement ben stokes is just pointing out that um probably the angle is too wide um he's still making the point to his captain root which is walking away we haven't seen any adjustment yet but just from the the mannerisms of ben stokes you think that he's also having the same uh, problem like you that there is no one square of the wicket this is walks in and reefer gets a delivery that is angled into him and works it into the short mid on region and there's no run 99 for three is the total one delivery to come in over number 49 so the west indies president's 11 still trail by 367 runs 367 runs so still a ways to go i and think if i think if reefer and carty you know can concentrate and stay focused for a long period they they can accumulate some runs because um, opportunities out there they are the English captain and the bowlers are trying um, a few things you know setting some 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 kind of feel but I don't think uh, the field placement you know can affect the the way um, you can score because uh, as you can see they're not being consistent in bowling the line and length that they are setting the field too so if you can uh, you know apply a, a bit a bit of patience and concentration your opportunity will come Certainly, because you would think that from the field placement that we saw last over, that Wokes would have pitched up a few mm. of, of those deliveries to try and tempt Reefer into that expansive drive. And he bowled pretty much all of them short of a length. <laughs> and, and so, um, and, 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 and one or two even angled in the opposite direction yeah, down the yeah, leg side. So, yeah. um, 
clear that he wasn't bowling to the field that his captain has set. Stokes, Stokes, Stokes is Stokes still is making still his point. Stokes, you know, Stokes can can under Stokes is a he's a he's a brilliant cricketer. You know, he thinks a lot. He, he knows what he wants as a bowler as well. Um, he, 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 I guess he doesn't get the logics of, of what they're trying. Yeah. <laughs> so he's still and he's still, still admitting the point. point. <laughs> still trying to make the point to uh, Captain Root. Mm. As Leach just looks around, he has a slip in place, a man at backward point, and he's now moving the man from short extra cover into uh, a second slip. So now he has two slips in. Man at backward point, he has cover, short extra cover, mid off, mid on. Man at short leg and a man at short fine leg. Cart is driving to uh, full pitch delivery outside the line of the off stump, driving it back along the pitch. Leach moves across, feels no run. 99 for 3, the total remains. Leach to Carty and Carty almost. Um, was looking to slap that one away mm. just lost his shape for uh, a short while Rifa calling him down just to probably get him back in the frame of mind to concentrate and this is what I like about Rifa you know you, you, you don't see much batsmen these days doing these these kind of things if you see your partner you know losing it a bit it's important that you just go down and, 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 and you know comfort him in some way trying to force this one away is Carty feel a tumbling there and mm. you know let him know position no one yeah let him know you know keep going keep fighting you know keep concentrating and stay positive whatever you know just a, a good positive a good word, word of advert yeah leech left arm around the wicket cart is driving back hard but straight back to the bowler who feels his own bowling no one so five back balls so far from leech one for eight and he's in his 14th over so the West Indian President 11 batsman unable to get him away and he bowls another dot ball to complete a maiden over for Leach. 99 for 3. The total remains. Carty is on 32. Reefer is on 21. Well, um, from what I'm seeing here you now in terms of the, the bowling attack uh, with Jack Leach especially, uh, I don't see Jack Leach being so effective. Uh, I think they can, he, 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 they can score a lot easier. He, Root is setting all sort of feel like you know the the, the ball is of such nature <laughs> also penetrative nature but I, I don't and actually I don't see that I don't, I don't see the, the the effect that he has on um on, on this this batting um I guess they can be a, a, a bit more positive he's not turning the ball you know he bowls consistent lines but he can he, you, you can score from him Somebody on social media is saying, let's just say Devon Thomas doesn't do so well this match like he did. He didn't make any runs. He says, I don't think that he'll bat again given the time. So being the second highest run scorer in the first two rounds of the matches, um, shouldn't he be straight in the test match? <laughs> Somebody is still um, arguing. The mm. point on the person is, is trying to say if, if um, you know, failing in this match uh, would affect his possibility of of being selected at, at some point start of a new over i don't uh, think so um, one one of the things that um may affect him if um you have one of these battles here maybe get a century you know get a big score in this in this game you know maybe that will you know affect him being selected for probably the well, if if there's a if, if there's need for another batsman in the test team because the test team has already been selected so if there's a need for another batsman in the test team in the yeah, going forward maybe for the second test third test and someone here scores a century it may affect him if he's going to get runs here this one is running down to third man into the boundary and it goes now for four runs it was an inadvertent stroke looks as if he was pulling out of that one the ball took the thick outside edge and with no one down at third man or even close by in the gully or any region the ball raced away downhill here at the Coolidge cricket ground and into that third man boundary for four four runs three for the hundred has come up for the west indies president's 11 103 for three Mm. and that is control shot I will give him the benefit of the doubt uh, he knows that there is no golly no third man and you know Fitcher 
Yeah, Fisher. He, he his length is a bit shorter, so um, he just guided it down there. Another one, same, same. Yeah, same Where? shot, same shot. <laughs> this time. So not as effective as the first one, just the single. Mm. So, Reefer. That's his style of running it down to to third man. Yeah, it looks it looks almost as if it's an inadvertent stroke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> that second one, seeing him do it again, that's probably deliberate mm. um, first one he was able to get a boundary this one um, just a single brings Casey Carty onto strike Carty is the on 32 off of 102 deliveries and he would be hoping for a lot more here is Fisher and Carty is driving up on the onside no run Fisher in his first over so the first time we've seen him here but it looks as if he's bowling within himself mm. looking to see if he's express express pace but the Seems pace to be bowling within himself the pace of these uh, english bowlers are uh, to be honest are they, they're no different than than the pace that we have seen from from our um bowlers in this match with to um, the ordinary in yeah. terms of pace yeah, yeah, with watch, Lewis. This is fisher I think Lewis Lewis has a, has more pace than a, a few of these bowlers. Right? Certainly, and he did bowl much quicker. We remember mm. that Yorker that knocked over Joe Root, almost took his boot off. It's very fast um, Yorker, and he's bowled a, a couple of other fast deliveries. Shaban Lewis in this encounter. So far, the English bowlers have not generated that much pace. I'm not sure if it's because the pitch is of an easy nature. Or, or this is just the pace that they have to offer. Fisher, one delivery to go in his first over. And Kat, he's getting one and he's pulling it out to deep square leg. Yeah. Fielder comes in off the boundary. That looks to be... Is that... Overton? Overton? Yeah. Yes, it looks to be Overton. And the batsmen are able to take a run 105 for three carty goes to 33 reefer is on 26 51 overs have been bowled. yeah and good partnership building here 56 50, 57 so far and these two guys to be honest they start to look like they're getting into their their, their flow they they score they're scoring a lot freer and they look they look more confident you know and it's good to see that these two youngsters are uh uh you know building and communicating and enjoying being out there w w together were you surprised that um raymond reefer went back to play for barbados and moving away from guyana this season uh, i was a bit surprised um probably he 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 got a deal because um maybe he told them he's not coming back unless he bats in the in the, in the top half <laughs> maybe and, and they grant him his his wish and he's he's using his opportunity well he has to use his opportunity <laughs> that's what you do when you're given opportunities mm. you use it carty's defending to a leech delivery on middle and leg and plays it into the offside field i thought when he when he was uh with the guy on a team that he looked good there he looked like he fitted in very well he did he did he fitted well that they even in the the CPL team, they, 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 they kept hold of him for a, a, a number of seasons. He, he fit right like a glove. Yes, he fit, he fit <laughs> right in. And, and uh, I think that he, that was um, definitely what we, were, we wanted to see in terms of the regional competition. Somebody from a, a different island going into a, a new country and fitting right in, mm. almost as if you belong there. Another defensive shot from Casey Carty. No run. So Leach continues to be mean. One for eight, and he's in his 15th over. And that that one wicket that he, he had yesterday of Mosley here is Casey Cardi having enough of it and driving over the top of mid off for four. So he's seen enough of Leach floating them in and <coughs> playing defensively. And he just stepped forward and drove that one deliberately in the air over the top of Ben Stokes for four down at the long off boundary. Ah, to be honest, he took a, a, they took quite a while before they they, they, they launched an attack against Leach because to be a, with 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 this feel and you know being so attacking, I don't see I don't see Leach is, is that effective. You know, he, he he can go for a few. 
Carty's playing defensively as Leach bowls a uh, delivery that is a little bit faster, had a little bit of fizz on it. Carty just coming forward and playing it quite into the offside field to end the over. 109 for 350. Two overs gone. Carty's on 37. Reefer is on 26. Yeah, and uh, these two batters just growing in confidence then more uh, as, as the innings progresses. Uh, Casey Carty in particular uh, just 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 uh, looking to press home uh, the advantage after soaking up quite a bit of early pressure from these batter from these uh, English bowlers. Now looking to, to to reap the benefit of that hard work and, and, and push on and really make a substantial score here. He needs to make a substantial mm. score. He's been at the crease since after tea yesterday. So he's had time out in the middle and he needs to convert the time into runs just to back up the, the, the fact that he's shown that he has what it takes to bat long. Reefer 2, given the opportunity to come in at this early stage of the batting, he too needs to get some runs under his belt to back up the selector's confidence in, in him. So both doing a decent job so far. Quite a plucky individual, you know, uh, Raymond Reef. Uh, he tends to grit out performances, uh, you know, Sylvester mentioned CPL. Uh, and, and even in the uh, Super 40 or, or Regional Super 50 as well, he just grits out performances. Maybe some may say maybe not the most talented stroke player or whatever, but uh, very effective in his own right. Fisher is in and Carty gets on top of one, squeezes it past the point fielder. He's going to get two as the ball runs pretty close to the boundary. Just picked up now and the batsmen are able to come back for two runs. So two more, two the total Raymond Reefer and that's what you, you want I, I prefer to see a batsman who would work hard um, apply himself than somebody who is talented and think that you know I get it done too easily and and don't you do the same kind of hard work yeah um, there are different aspects of talent you know not just the physical side but that mental side and it's the side that we often overlook in this region Fisher in and Carty's driving out to the middle of fielder Ben Stokes no run uh, and and I feel that in the West Indies team we need a couple of those a mm. couple of those fighters mm. those those kind of batsmen who would come in in the middle not the prettiest we you've ever seen but they would stay there stay long and and right I have been an advocate um, for a while uh, and I've said that somebody like Ataj Nawai and Shanda Paul because we already know that he has the ability to bat long. We need to find a way that probably he can score a little bit more. But somebody like him, I think, is an investment that we can make. Carty's pulling one, but straight down to the final leg region. I see Desmond Haynes putting some notes in his book there when I just said that. And that's good to see. Um, <laughs> and, the <cr> <laughs> and, the <laughs> and the cricketing fans as well, they, they have a part to play in that as well, you know. You know, at times, uh, you know, we hear a lot of complaints about the strike rates of even the captain. You know, oh, he's batting too slow. And, you see, we, we, and I think it's, it comes back to the education. Mm. We need to educate mm. the, the, the public. I think what has happened, too, because I remember one lady says to me, I don't understand cricket, but I understand T20. Mm. Well, and that she, was a strange. She, Here is one tickle down to <laughs> final leg for four by Raymond Reef. Well, if you think about that statement actually makes a lot of sense she said that she doesn't <laughs> understand cricket but she understands, but she understands t20, t20. And, and, and the, the it's whole almost, point it's is almost a completely different game it is it is and so so she is understanding the party the 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 the, the, the swash you know the, yeah. the, the, the bam bam yeah. this kind of thing four but, sixes but mm. not understanding those of us who will come because she, she couldn't understand how can you come and watch uh, for five same days. game for five days the nuances the <laughs> you know the how can you sit down out there and watch this and tell me you've had an exciting day mm. <laughs> um we first turn in another delivery this time just for a single and then oh. after uh, after those five days it, you know there's a strong possibility that none of the two teams actually win uh, will win right yeah so, <laughs> so, so <laughs> you know uh, and, but but i i i say to the purists that we uh, we need to educate 
a lot more people mm. to understand mm. about the, the differences mm. it's the same game but uh, they're different components one is a shorter entertaining version the other one is where you test skill versus skill so so you oh, you, you test the overall the overall mental uh, you know physical. mental yep, and yep, physical yep, aspect yep. Of, of of the game and and what we've seen in in a lot of the um in a lot of the other um test matches these days we, we're now having people winning them yes. you, you know you're having results there are a lot of results you know so so i actually think text test crickets i mean maybe not 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 revenue wise but the game's in a good place shot reefer has swung this one over the top of the mid on over the head of joe root and into the boundary for four so leech floating one up and given the treatment by Raymond Weaver. And that they've seen enough. And that execution of that stroke, that's what Shane Mosley should have done. Uh, if you think, looking at this replay, head down. Look look at his yep. head. Down, down over that ball. Over the ball. Uh, yep. Mosley uh, just lifted picked, his head, lifted his head yep. up, panicked when he realized he wasn't quite to the pitch of that delivery. Good shot there from uh, Raymond Weaver. Weaver in, and he's going to get a single as he's across and just pushing this one out into the offside field. So... A boundary followed by a single turning the strike over and this is good cricket uh, at this stage from the president's 11 this partnership between carty and Rifa continues to grow it's now at 75 and a good 75 partnership uh, early stages they were slow and, and and had to get in but now that they're in the partnership is blossoming mm. outside the yeah. line of the leg yeah. stump and again missing that sweep stroke that one was was there for for the taking it was floated it was already outside the, the line of the leg stump and really should have executed that sweep shot much better casey carty it's an aspect of his game he can definitely work on you know just picking up that length a little earlier and, and pulling out the sweep he's getting one that he's guiding into the offside region overton is the fielder posted there and there's no run but it's been a good portion of play then more here uh Good little period of play for the CWI President's Eleven. This uh, partnership now uh, soaking up the pressure, but now run scoring just becoming a little bit more easy uh, as the day goes along. Leach around the wicket to Carty, and Carty comes forward, uh, plays a little check drive. Ball rolls out to mid on. Ben Stokes is posted, and there's no run. So we saw a long, <laughs> almost argument like discussion between stokes and root in terms of field placement <laughs> this delivery is played away up on the inside by casey carty to end jack leach's over at the end of it 123 for three carty is on 40 refund 37 and the partnership at 75 yeah a very good partnership here um um you know the, the, the cricket at this level you know at the very top level elite level uh, there's going to be ebbs and flows in in any in in a game, uh, from innings to innings as well, and it's important to recognise uh, the match situations and just recognise when it's key to to soak up pressure, and also times when it's when it's appropriate to to just apply uh, the foot to the to, to the gas pedal. And at this uh, point in time, they've just got England flagging just a little bit. I don't know if it's the heat, uh, the conditions. Uh, but uh, England's just a little bit on the back foot here. And it's just a period that I think these two batters can just press home their little advantage, you know, and just look to pick up, you know, do more of what they've been doing, rotating that strike. And when they get that bad ball, put it away. Certainly. And um, that's a, a part of the, this game that um, people tend not to understand, mm -hmm. that understanding the, the psychology and, and all the other things that go along yep. with it. Looks as if it's going to be Fisher to continue. And uh, Rifa is getting a delivery that he's reaching for outside the line of the half stump. One for 15 and Fisher is in his third over. So he's been more expensive of the English bo bowlers. Uh, I, I was asking the question in, in saying that the, the discussion between Stokes and Root. What, what type of leeway does um, fielders have with their captain in terms of giving him advice uh, mm. uh, and, i think and stokes is quite an influential member of of this team as well uh, uh, this delivery is driven by reefer but finds 
the filler. I'm not sure. I'm not sure everyone could have uh, just anyone could have such an animated uh, uh, conversation yeah. with Joe Root. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, there've they've been questions about Joe Root's captaincy. Uh, he's been the probably the only one to keep his job, if you think about it, from that Ashes tour in terms of the the, the management staff or the leadership positions. Um, Ben Stokes doesn't seem that keen on taking the test captaincy. So. Could it be that um, England have yet to identify um, so. a, you know, a successor to mm. Joe Wood while he's holding on to, yeah. the, to, the, to, the, to the captaincy? Um, I think so. At least at this stage? Yeah, lack of options. Because they were, they were, there was a time when there was a discussion going on about Ben Stokes um, taking over. And I think Ben Stokes had made a public statement to say that he don't think that he's ready yet. Ready yet, to yeah. To, um, to assume, to assume captaincy. Uh, captaincy. But I feel Ben Stokes eventually is going to be an England captain. Uh, I, I think in some format. I'm not sure if the test team, but I think possibly uh, uh, maybe white ball cricket. Yeah, white ball cricket. Because there's a delivery outside the line of the off stump, keeping a little bit low because there were some talks that um, the reign of Owen Morgan yeah. could be um, you know, and, fast and approaching. And they almost... Uh, have that succession plan. I think it's just Butler that's primed to take over the leadership of that white ball team uh, if, if and when Owen Morgan's time comes to an end. So we're watching for the cricket here. It's a warm-up match between the West Indies President's eleven and England. And this is Fisher bowling to Rifa. Rifa, who's looking good on mm. 37 of 72 mm. and Carty on 40 of 118 and we have the pleasure of having the honorable desmond haynes with his earplugs in listening to us <laughs> and so we are going to give him as much advice as possible about <laughs> team selection and claim credit for it after as well. yeah we, when we see that <laughs> we will <laughs> make sure the public knows that um we said it on this day at this time mm. <laughs> but um uh, you know i was i was like i said i had a little concern that alec athenes um, didn't come, but I, I, I think that um, Rifa has, at least for the time being, repaid the, the, the confidence given in him. I think both things early. can be right at the same time as well, you know, then. Yeah. You know, I, I still think you're right in terms of the opportunity being afforded to the young uh, player, especially in a, in a, in a position where, where uh, we're actually struggling. To, to, to have viable options, you know, in, in, in the middle order, at the top of the order. So uh, I think the opportunity really should have been given to, to the young player. But who knows why, you know, maybe he's not quite feeling well or he missed his slot. Maybe he was in the toilet. Who knows mm. what happened? So uh, we don't have all the information. But uh, yeah, you'd have liked to see him out there already. And, and gone are the days when... Um, youngsters, I remember when I was a, a youngster coming up mm. um, with the likes of the late Hayden Walsh and, mm. and Eldin Baptiste and Trevor Simon and others in the team. Mm. Your opportunity to get a batting was um, limited. was very limited. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember I, and Ian Gore put mm. on his pads one time. And when somebody was out before the coach could say anything, he was already out in the middle. Too far gone to be called back. <laughs> And Carty swinging at one, gets it into the mid-wicket region. Not necessarily in total control, but he might get enough bat and it for it to run. It's running pretty close to the ball. He just holds up before it gets to the rope. And he's able to just walk back for three runs. So, just scoring again off Jack Leach. A little bit uh, of a cross-batted shot, though. Mm. Didn't get it as straight as he might have wanted. The ball going into the mid-wicket region, maybe more than down to a mid-on where he might have been aiming. But three runs, nonetheless, for Katie Card. He's on to 43. And as he approaches this half century, it's important that he stays, uh, uh, that concentration level stays as high as it's been. Can't afford to, to relax now and, and uh, give, give away your wicket. And here is a loud oh. appeal. Not out, says the umpire. Umpire Dugit shaking his head almost immediately. Is that one taken? Reefer on the pad. Leech was animated as we just will have a look at it once more on the replay subtle quicker ball though uh, it's been a hallmark of his bowling here actually at times he just tends to to, to rush the batter with that quicker one looks to have been going down the play. this delivery again Reefer just driving out to stokes at long on and 
coming through for an easy single. Both batters just growing in confidence here, you know. Uh, that stroke from Reefer and even that uh, shot from Casey Carty previously, even though he didn't time it as, as well as nicely, uh, the intent tells you that uh, he's just growing in confidence. <coughs> Leach, left arm around the wicket to Carty and Carty oh. again swinging at one. Uh, once um, run, he's going to get one because um, uh, ball watching on the part of um, both Carty and Reefer. I thought it was a, a run all along mm. in, the, in the first instance and then a little bit of misfield ball carrying three quarter ways to the boundary but in the end just one. Carty has to be careful because he's, he's, he's Yes, he's going in confidence, but he's not executing those mm. shots very well. Mm. And it's, uh, it's the equivalent of the nervous 90s here yep. for Casey Carty, the nervous 40s. Rifa reaching and playing one to root at that straight mid-wicket position, no run. Would they have the presence of mind now to recognize that it's 10 minutes before the luncheon interval? And so at this stage, I don't want to, 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 you know, to, to lose my wicket, so... I have to recalibrate, concentrate that little harder. Yeah, and we, we, we spoke about the voices in your head. You know, uh, he hasn't played any sweeps up until this point in time. That tells you something as well, you know. Uh, uh, he had uh, more suitable deliveries in which to play that sweep stroke, and he's just choosing the wrong ones now yep. in which to play them. And it just tells you the voices in his head. As it's going off, but uh, it's the mental side of the game that we talk about. And we see that other mental side of the mm. game where the coach just sending out just to slow um, down mm. uh, a drink, uh, a pair of gloves with a message sensing, just, to, just to say, um, you know, calm down. Mm. Uh, we, we sense that you're getting a little bit flustered. Mm. We, we want you to, you know, recalibrate, think about it a little more, um, you know, just refocus. Um, all those are things that um, go along. With the longer version of the and it's important game. to note that his coach is Stuart Williams, who's also his his, his, his coach, his coach at, his at, his, at his franchise. Recognizing delivery down the leg side, and he's missed uh, many of those. Mm. He's, he's gotten quite a few of those that um, by now he would have, if he had put them away, he would have been probably in the sixties or seventies, because he's had a number of those deliveries that have strayed down the leg side, and just he's just fail to make contact just to with get them. some sort of bat on it and it'll be run run you know yeah, run just there's their acres of space um down at the fine leg still there though still battling away fisher in to bowl to carty carty gets one that he's forcing away in the offside thought of a run sent back you could hear the shout of no coming from raymond reefer you know outside effects microphone and that little back foot punch almost, that's a punchish kind of stroke. Uh, uh, it's probably been his best stroke here today. You know, he really looks uh, to play that stroke quite a lot. It seems like one of his favorite uh, favorite shots. Carty on 44, I say good morning to the folks listening to us in St. Martin and in Anguilla. Because the Angolans would, would tell you that Carty belongs to us. Yeah. He lives in um, St. Martin. <laughs> He's driving. And again, Reefer is just going to come down and have a word. Reefer also sensing that Carty is just a little bit flustered at this stage. Antsy, getting yeah. a little antsy. Mm. So he's just trying to cool him down. Just come down and have a word. Sometimes you come down and say, look, I really have nothing to say to you. But I just want them to know, not to know that, that I, I, I don't have anything to say. Just, just, just calm down, calm down. Let's get to lunch and then we can refocus. Carty's facing as Fisher. Should see that Carty's a little flustered. Gets a short of a length delivery and covers up into the offside field. Joe Root um, feeling still trying to stay a little bit energetic even though um, the fight back has been very good and from the President's eleven. And this is what we want to see. You know, our young players... Uh Fighting away, be showing that, that appetite uh, for the fight. Casey Carty, 124 uh, balls in. He, he's learning w w what, it's, what, what, what it takes, you know, to be successful at this level. Carty gets uh, another delivery that is on the stumps. Just covers up and plays out into the offside field. There's no run. Good morning to Patsy Frederick, who listens to us in Anguilla. Everton Benjamin, who... 
is listening to us over there in the US. There are some folks in Miami as well that message me and say that they're listening. And in New York, somebody called Kenny Benjamin yesterday from New York. He mm. says they're discussing you on the commentary. <laughs> 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 uh, you watch as uh, he's in. Uh, Carty is covering up to uh, another good delivery from Fisher. Can't score 128 for 357 overs gone and you would you would um know that last night um on the sports program progressive sports which mm. i host mm. with mandy weatherhead and kenny benjamin mm. we had kimisha anthony on Go and for. she spoke about um a certain young joseph that um is a very good golfer Ciolo. yeah and um when asked about the daddy she says he drives the golf cart well <laughs> <laughs> She's doing my friend a disservice. <laughs> but um, massive disservice. Sylvester Joseph and his son <laughs> doing very doing wonders. If you if you if you want to see them go to the golf course on a Saturday, you heard that they, they they've been in winning ways. I saw photos of him and his son winning. Mm. Was it a peer competition and then a threesome? Three man, uh, mm. three man uh, or three ball? I, I have no idea what that means. Not <laughs> <the> three. <laughs> <laughs> um but um you know it, it's good when we we, we hear because she she's a fan of that youngster mm. this one is worked away by Rifa down close to the long leg boundary he's going to get two runs you're talking about new york as well uh just got some messages they're listening over there in england as well you know taking a keen interest in this warm-up match uh, just want to say good afternoon to everyone there uh pete uh get is there in cheltenham and everyone in that part of the world uh, let me just while we're in that part of the world let me say hello to my friends who are in nottingham where i went to university mm, mm. and also my aunt who lives in leicester turnbull drive in leicester here is this delivery worked away into the onside field Quite, i think it's it's what the, the, the biggest concentration of antiguans in the uk probably yes, in leicester probably yeah. in leicester yep. um, you feel at home you feel at leicester. home definitely yep. you can yep. Yep. find someone that looks like you yep. that cooks like you, you yeah <laughs> yeah you can find antiguan stuff yeah. there for sure <laughs> we watch as this delivery the batsman is reaching forward i used to leave nottingham and travel over to leicester just to go to the market right because um i found, found um caribbean, caribbean stuff. Yep, right. some stuff there so i struggled in cheltenham actually it was right. hard to find the caribbean market right, yes, yes. in that part of the world <laughs> but it was fun nonetheless it was know, it was i i had a life. good time yeah, um, yeah. living and going to school in mm. the uk mm. um and, and i tell people i would do it again 100 uh, you know so 100 percent leech is just trying to change his line of attack now he's been going over the wicket to reefer he's now going to come around the wicket just to give Rifa something else to a different look, to look at mm. leech also recognizing it's almost lunch here's this delivery yeah. this one starting on the stumps and still turning back into Rifa. Rifa uh, playing it down into the short leg region the ball left the bat slightly in the air which has caused the man at second slip to go in now into a leg slip position leech very close to the stumps and Rifa is driving out to Stokes who is at that long on position and probably from since that conversation that Stokes had with um, Root Rooty. he's found himself on the boundary mm. uh, Root probably saying uh, you know I've had enough of hearing you and you <laughs> feel You're far banished. away yeah, you, feel, you feel far away from me <laughs> 58 overs gone 131 for 3 Carty's on 44 Rifa on 41 and mentioning Joe Root, looks like uh, uh, the skipper is coming into the attack here. Number 66. Yes. Uh, probably just for an over or so before lunch. Mm. By my watch, we have about two minutes to go before the luncheon interval on this on day three of this encounter. And I'm a, a believer, Denmo, that he, he slightly underballs himself uh, in this England team. There are a lot of times where... I think Root can actually, in, in, in the right conditions, he can actually play as, uh, as, uh, as, as, one a, as yeah, a spinner and, and as we've well. We've seen him break he, partnerships. Especially in India uh, and in, <laughs> in the subcontinent and stuff. And he would afford England to balance that team better. Maybe play an extra batter, an extra uh, fast bowler if, if needs be. Well, he's around the wicket to the left-handed Reefer. And his first delivery Reefer is playing it defensively. One that was just standing up and Rifa just got on top of it, playing it into the short mid-wicket region. No run. 
Sunshine is out. Root just before lunch is in to Rifa. Rifa is thinking about driving in and just playing it into the offside field. And they come through for a quick single. Got it easily in the end. Nasty. And that's where Reef has been particularly. Uh, I think that's Fisher down there. Yeah, Fisher, that, Fisher couldn't yeah. really stop the single. He's been particularly good just finding those gaps, uh, uh, rotating that strike. Yes, he soaked up a bit of pressure, but uh, he's just also uh, uh, taking the opportunity to score when presented. Carty on 44, steps forward, plays defensively to a delivery from Root. No run. 132 for three. This is Root in. And Carty on the back foot, playing it into the short leg fielder. No run, once more. Root, back to his mark very quickly. Comes in, just trying to find a wicket just before the lunch and interval. Carty is playing this one. Mm. And he's now sending the man back on that backward square boundary. Overton going back there, backward so, square. Tend to think he might be looking to flight this one slightly. Try and tempt Carty. Uh, he, he, he actually bowls this one in almost like a fast bowler. I did think there was something <laughs> up with that, to be honest. It was a short delivery. <laughs> hammered into the pitch. Carty was looking to pull the ball, striking him on the body. They're able to come through for, uh, was it a leg by? Or yeah. was it a run? A leg by. And the, that is lunch on day three. Carty is not out on 44 from 130. Reefer not out on 86. The only wicket to fall today, that of Devon Thomas, who was LBW to Robinson for his overnight total of one. Western East President's 11, 133 for nine, 59 overs ball. And Devon would be so disappointed, you know, he'd be sitting there thinking uh, uh, what could have been. Uh, watching Raymond Reefer and, and Casey Carty and the way they've gone about it, you know, uh, just just soaking up that pressure from this uh, English bowling attack. But then uh, towards the back end of that first session, just finding run scoring, uh, uh, the run scoring opportunities uh, being presented to them and taking them. And uh, they go into the break. 133 for three, Casey Carty 44 of 130 and Raymond Reefer 42 of 86. And they'll summary, be looking to do more of the same. Summary of the innings so far. England innings um, led by Bastos 100, 106 of 158, 83 for Lawrence, Lees and Crawley also getting runs. Three wickets for Brian Charles, two for Sherman Lewis, who I think bowled very well. So. Archibald, one for 67. Carty so far, 44 not out, 42. Is Raymond Reefer Mosley getting 20 and Salzano 17. A wicket each for Robinson and Leach so far. So the West Indies President's 11 trail by 333 runs and someone on social media saying Denmore Carty isn't a good player on his legs. He's more of an offside player. So somebody just weighing in, somebody who would also know Carty very well. Yesterday and, and Sylvester said it here today as well. Uh, I don't even think he would have been here at the time. And also it just goes to show you he picked it up in terms of that line of attack. And also uh, the, the homework being done, even on these uh, President's Eleven players by the uh, English uh, backroom staff, you know, because that line of attack was instantly straight to Casey Carty when he came to the crease. So, the West Indies President's Eleven, they need 133 runs to avoid the follow-on. They were 133 for three so far. They trail by 330 Three runs. We're going to take a break, refresh ourselves, have some lunch, and then we will rejoin in about 35 minutes or so for more coverage of this Apex Test Series warm-up match between the West Indies, President's Eleven, and England. Denmark Roberts on behalf of Vernon Springer, Marley Richards, and Sylvester Joseph saying goodbye until we rejoin you in 35 minutes.
and it's the Apex Test Series warm-up match between England and the West Indies President's Eleven. And the summary on at lunch on day three, England six four hundred and sixty-six for six. They batted one hundred and forty-five overs. Besto getting one hundred and six eighty-three for Dan Lawrence. Lee sixty-five and sixty-two for Zach Qualley. So far, the CWI Presidents eleven have batted fifty-nine overs. The one hundred and thirty-three for three. Casey Carty forty-four reefer on forty-two. Mosley and Solzano making twenty, and Devon Thomas making one the three batsmen who are out so far we're about to resume after the luncheon interval we've lost the sunshine however uh, they, they, there's no immediate threat of rain the cloud the sun has just probably gone under a cloud so it's much cooler conditions especially for those english fans who have had a, a morning there's a gentleman on the western side he's been laying there in that dark colored shirt since morning <laughs> it's quite comfortable he's found his spot sylvester joseph mm. leach is going to continue after lunch the first delivery um carty who would have probably gone in had a word with his coach as a word with um you know some some folks because he looked a little bit flustered just before lunch sylvester but he would have probably we we're hoping that he would have recalibrated and he's back out ready to go again Indeed, we're hoping that um, he they must give him credit, you know, the battle of the first session. Uh, West Indies A team, West Indies President's 11 team, sorry, losing one wicket. Uh, that was a good delivery. There good delivery. Edge. That one turned a bit. Uh, Carty was pushing at it, missing it outside the off stump. Folks had the bales off in a flash, but mm. Carty was anchored to his crease. But good delivery from Leach. Carty still looking a little bit tentative, a little bit nervous coming back after lunch he would have to get back in the swing of things he's getting a delivery on that leg stump gets his first run after lunch his 45th run getting one into the mid-wicket region and so the score goes on to 134 for three i was saying that someone on our social media platform indicated that they think that carty is uh not a leg-sided player so he, they were expecting to see him struggle a little bit with those deliveries um, on the leg stump or just outside we saw him really miss quite a number of them reefer the left-handed batter who looked good just approaching the luncheon luncheon interval yeah and a good healthy partnership developing you know over the first runs here for reefer just pushing that Leg had hit the ball coming off the outer edge, running down to a third man position. Carty thought of coming for a second run. Reefer held, held up his arm to stop him with just a single. Reefer has moved on to 43. Carty's on 45. The partnership is now at 87. 87. The sun trying to come back out here to warm the here in Antigua and Barbuda. Leach is in and Carty gets another delivery that's on the stumps and angled towards the offside plays it defensively end of the first over after lunch Leach now has one for 26 from 19 Carty remains on 45 refund 42 134 for three yeah and um, a good partnership developing here and that is what is required now for the president's 11 that is especially these two you know for the first session again for this session the first hour after the break that these two can continue with the momentum that they are, they have gained you know through the first session and um they're looking good uh, i like the positivity um Carty especially you know he 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 doesn't really look in any um any spot of body he, he looks fluent only only issue that we may see is the this leg side play i mean if he could have you know been even 15 50 percent better on the leg side play you know he would be maybe maybe close to uh, a century by now certainly he would have had um quite a, a number more runs than he has currently he's missed quite a number of those deliveries those balls that are close to him angled down the leg side and if he got anything at all onto those deliveries he would have had um at least eight boundaries mm. we, if, if if we were counting uh, them here we watch uh, it looks as if it's Fisher who is going to start after that's the, Mahmoud. That's Mahmoud, yeah. correct. And Mahmoud who is starting after the lunch and interval. His first delivery is played away into the 
point region. And there is no run. So Overton is standing in that backward point position. England after lunch. Yeah. Would be wanting some wickets from the West Indies President's 11. Mamou just wants the slip to go a little wider. He moves it now around the wicket, short of a late delivery, and covering up is Raymond Reefer playing it back along the pitch for the bowler to field to his own bowling. No run. So, lunch and interval, folks would have had the opportunity to refresh themselves. And yesterday, but when I was um, coming inside back after the lunch and interval, there were some English spectators coming in. And after we've cleared the security checkpoint, the gentleman says, we must have a beer. That's essential. <laughs> Salivary from Mahmood. Hits the bat hard of Reefer. Goes out into the offside field. Looks to be Besto, who's patrolling the covers. And there is no run. So, essential fluids going around. According <laughs> to the English fans, the beer is an essential fluid. And with the heat of the sunshine here in Antigua and Barbuda, that would be something that definitely they would need to have sprinkling of spectators around those who would have come in early and this one is angled into reefer he gets it down to the long leg position and gets a run so one more to the total That's one leech. Leech. leech down on <coughs> that long leg boundary just switches around now for the right and left hand combination and this is what we're talking about if the West Indies President's Eleven are able to turn the strike over more regularly they would have somebody like Leach running side to side and also just test check it to make sure that his fitness is intact and could cause him probably to bowl a little a couple more loose deliveries mm. so there's a slip in place and then there is a man at point there is cover mid off mid on and then two men catching in that short mid wicket region and Carty's turning this delivery into one of those two catchers who's posted there that looks to be the tall of the two overton who's standing right there they, they they're in that position for that uppish drive that on that leg side they've worked out that he's not very strong with deliveries at the angle into his pads and so they're hoping that he's going to be driving and mm. driving in the air, which would give one of those two fielders the opportunity to have a catch. Mahmoud from the far end, none for 12 so far. He's in his fifth over. Carty is pulling this one. Uh, tumbling away with the number 40 on his back. Who is that? there yeah, just checking to see the end of over has come up 45 is carty reefer is 44 rest in his president's 11 136 for three yeah and good going here by these two batters and uh, i'm trying to figure out why is it you know for the whole morning that they have the two men catching at the the midwicket and whitish midwicket area for carty and um he, he, he doesn't he's not really hitting any balls in the air he's, he doesn't feel um look troubled when the ball you know in going in that direction he plays uh simply not being over aggressive or anything in with in, in that area so you know having two feelers there like they saw a sort of weakness the only problem is that he's not really scoring as fluently as we say when the balls uh, are there for him to score in his legs but I don't, uh, in terms of trouble uh, looking to get out in that region he he, he doesn't um doesn't look as if no. he's, he's likely to because he has he has resisted yeah. that shot all day and the slavery they're gonna get a run as ball going into the mid wicket region and good running in the end the ball going to the left of joe root 
he would have had to have run around it to pick it up and have that right hand throw and Rifa was able to come through very quickly from that call and the batsman they're able to get another run so one more to the total one more to President's 11, 137 for three. And Carty is looking to force one through the offside. Maybe just Let's put in it. some pressure on himself. Yeah, he played play, play it a little bit too late. I believe that's the pressure. He, so he got it to point. If he got it a, a tad earlier, he would get placed it between. Just clearing that field. <laughs> yeah. He would have just cleared that field. Mm. Again. Ball turning, playing it a little late, getting it to overturn at that backward point position. No run. He's wanting to score and he's putting himself under pressure by doing so, looking disappointed. Here is he playing this one and gets the run in the end as again it goes into the cover region. So one more to Carty. He's inching ever so closely to that half century he's on 46 100 of 138 deliveries 138 for <coughs> three and he would have gotten some valuable time in the middle came in yesterday afternoon just after tea when the england team declared and he's still there here is he batting would have coming probably at the fall of Solzano's wicket and Carty is still there the end of another over 138 for 362 overs have been bowled Carty is on 46 reefer on 45 well Carty's inning so far is similar to Lee's innings of the English team um, you know he batted really really long and held the innings together while the other batters came in and you know batted around him so it's similar to what Carty is doing, and Carty, you know, he looks fluent. He's scoring a lot, a lot freer now. He, he looks comfortable, and I think with um, Reefer, you know, being out there with him, with the experience of Reefer, um, even make him feel a lot more comfortable. Early on, we saw he play a, a few, um, a few naughty shots, so to speak, and you know, Reefer spotted them and got down and, and spoke to him earlier. So he. He found a, a competent partner, someone that he I think he, he trusts and he you know that gives him a lot of confidence. Certainly. <coughs> and he should. Use the fact that he has a, a, a partner with him who is there to assist him mm. and just continue to bat, continue to accumulate the runs, continue to not put himself under any <coughs> undue pressure. If he's not able to pierce the field, just be patient and Wait, the runs will come. The bowlers tire over a period of time and more loose deliveries will come at, at, at some stage. So he will get opportunities to score. Doesn't have to rush it. He has the rest of the day and tomorrow to bat. So it's not a rush. It's more of a marathon than a sprint. Here is Carty hitting one in the air over the mid on region. The ball is going to fall safely, but again just a shot in probably a shot of anger a little bit of aggression not hitting it very well almost um giving his hand away there casey carty he survives as the ball falls safely it was outside that line of the off stump and he was looking to play that pull shot got it high up into the air off bow of the edge of the bat than anything but was able to clear the field and he gets a run 139 for three yeah, that, that ball, I think, was short and wide. He should maybe cut it over, you know, third man or point. And probably get an easier boundary instead of getting it, trying to get across, you know. And they already had the man out deep, backward square. So, ball like that, uh, you have to keep a composure and hit it in the direction that he's going. Rifa gets a delivery from Mahmoud that is cutting back. Cutting back at him and he plays it defensively into the other side and there is no run so play after the luncheon interval on day three england searching for wickets they got one wicket this morning devon thomas lbw to robinson got caught on the crease and was given out leg before 
So, Devon Thomas failing, just making one. This is Mahmoud. Mm. And, ooh, an inside edge by Rifa. Gets one down to Leach, who's on the boundary. And so he moves on to 46, and the total on to 140. I didn't realize. I, I didn't realize Leach chose with his right hand. Huh? Well, I just we just we just saw that. Yeah. Did, I, did I see right? Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I, 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 I Interesting. Never that. Yeah, mm -hmm. see, he bowls with his left arm. Bowls left arm, and he throws it with his right. Yeah, well, he just threw that one in very strongly. Let me, let me, let, let me check. Let me with his let, right let's, hand. Let's let's see if 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 um he's what do you call him. Um, be um, yeah, um, yeah. Let's see if he is. <laughs> Mahmoud over the wicket to Carty. And Carty gets mm. another delivery down the leg side again. Not missing out again. Missing eh? out again. Because <laughs> that one was offline and, and had good pace. You get anything on that one, you get mm. four. Yeah, and uh, again, not touching it. Coming inside, moving inside, playing the shot at it, but playing late. And the ball going into the gloves of folks behind the stumps and again Carty can't score 140 for three we're in the 63rd over of the reply of the West Indies President's 11 this is Mahmoud in and Carty is covering up uh, almost uh, not taking that stride forward both feet almost trapped on the crease but he's able to get back on it and survives the end of the over has come up 63 overs gone 140 for three it's thomas own this morning uh, only thing that you know because carty is there for so long now he uh, he got you know some back on it but he need to to probably come a bit more on his his front foot but his balance was a bit off a while ago but um fortunately for him you know he got back on it and he's still there um fighting so leech is going to continue Leach is pulling from the southern end, the airport end here at the College Cricket Ground, which is the home of West Indies Cricket. It's a touch on the setup and uh, the setup up here. Now that the office and everything is in the same location. Uh, what your thoughts here? Yeah. I I I um I, I like the fact that, that everything is in the same place, mm. but I, um, I, I, I think the allocations could have been a little different. Um, I'm understanding that the offices are in the athletic club area, and um, I thought that that, that might have been uh, repurposed to, you know, to make facilities for, for maybe when they have camps and so on to, to save some money and use the sticky wicket side of the ground for for offices um i think over there has a more corporate look um but um you know I, i'm happy that at least everything is consolidating into the into the, the the same place i'm hoping that the facilities up here will be enhanced um back to probably the way that it was before in terms of the landscaping and the the grass and the greenery and so on because it's a, it's a beautiful place it is a beautiful place Leech is bowling to Carty. Carty is on 47 and Reefer is on 47 as well. This is Leach left arm around the wicket to Carty and Carty again comes forward to a delivery that he is playing defensively. No run. 141 for three. Leach is in and Carty is looking to force this one away. Again, looks frustrated at not pacing the field. Hangs his head, but he's still there, so he has to continue to stay positive. Maybe just change that body language a little bit from looking a little bit um, negative to a positive body language and continue to bat. 141 for three. Well, um, he's disappointed that he sees the gap. He knows what he want to do, but it's, it's obvious that the, the skill uh, of getting it in that direction, you know, is frustrating him. 
um, hopefully you know through through as in his progress is that he can get uh, the necessary skill to 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 put place that ball in the gap because uh, there have been a few you know s- even s- since after lunch maybe three four that he he should have you know paced that 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 open area between cover and um point Mahmoud is in <coughs> refer again in a defensive frame of mind just blocks one down into the onside and there is no run so the fans for the first apex test match between west indies and england should be coming in over the next few days we expect to have a flood of english spectators descending here on antigua and Barbuda in preparation for that test match which starts on the 8th of march and wow, remember yeah. tickets are available go to windyscricket.com forward slash tickets and you can get your tickets their tickets start at 20 us dollars this delivery from mahmoud has reefer just reaching forward and driving but straight to root at that mid-off position and no run so tickets start at 20 us dollars and remember there is a special for caribbean nationals it says that they are 50 percent off the ticket price mm. if you're a caribbean national you can get 50 percent off the cost of going to see the test match between england and the west indies they then move over to bridgetown in barbados and they will end in grenada for the third and final test of the richards botham trophy delivery outside the line of the off stump we for reaching for it playing it into the offside again no run so quiet period this after the luncheon interval the west indies president's 11 batters in casey carty and raymond reefer both on 47 reefer with a slightly better strike rate he's only faced 104 deliveries carty 145 both would be hoping to get half centuries and probably go on to get a century i think both will be we, we're looking for two centuries <laughs> you know um, certainly would want yeah would be hoping that both can go on and get a century mm-hmm. mahmoud would have other ideas here is he and Rifa wants the single and gets it as the ball rolls slowly out into the onside field so just one more to the total Brings up the end of another over. 65 overs gone. The total is on 142. 142 for three. Yeah. And is uh, it the end? No. It looked as if they were changing over. My bad. I uh, was wondering what was taking so long. We saw a movement, but uh, I'm sorry about my apologies. <coughs> Mahmoud is still in the attack. Kati is the on track. And here is Carty getting a short delivery that he's pulling down to that backward square position. Feeler on the boundary. Is that Leach? Yes. And he did throw it with his right hand. So we can. On that occasion. (laughs) We've confirmed (laughs) (laughs) that he is ambidextrous. He bowls left and throws right. Wow. Tiggy bats left as well. Oh. interesting mm. Ricky Christopher would tell you that he's similar Ricky Christopher cannot touch a fork with his right hand <laughs> if you put the fork in his right hand he never eats mm. but he, he bowls right right arm fast bowler we forget a short delivery just ducking under it allowing it to come into the gloves of folks and the end of the over 143 for three this time 65 overs gone yeah and good going uh real positive um partnership here going going for the the the, the president's 11 at 95 i think that um the, the the management staff the coaching staff and even the whole caribbean that are you know locked in and listening uh, this game will will be happy with with what they've seen so far i mean the bowlers they came out and you know give a, a valiant effort of themselves in the field the guys were 
we're, we're looking the part, you know, and now that it comes to the batting, it's good to see uh, that the, this, these young, these young aspiring um, cricketers to for the highest, I mean, going to the highest level now, you know, um, applying themselves in, 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 in a positive way. So we're going to have a change in bowling. I'll do one more, Sylvester, with you, and then we're going to hear Vernon Springer comes in, and no doubt we're going to see Overton, mm. who's going to come from this the commentary box and the southern and the airport end here at the Coolidge Cricket Grounds, the home of West Indies Cricket. Do you think that um, they should rename the facility, um, Sylvester Joseph, maybe have a Caribbean competition or something as to how we can rename the facility? Or are you, are you like it, the, the name, Coolidge Cricket Grounds? Overton is in, his first delivery. Carty is covering up, playing it into the offside, no run. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I like it. It, it, it sounds a, a bell to the ear when you hear cool is cricket going and then you then the, I added to it now we are the home, home of West Indies West cricket. West cricket. Yeah, it, it, it rings a bell. It's it's yeah. Sylvester Joseph likes the name mm. Coolidge Cricket Ground and it's a cool place to be, so maybe it's here to stay. Overton in his tenth over, here is he in and getting on top of this one on the back for this card he trying to force this one through the offside again finds base to i thought for a moment you know in the past that uh maybe the, the grass bank would be uh sylvester joseph bank oh the grass bank on the western side this is you the, were you were the captain when 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 um the the the, the famous um million dollar match were no you? no no i was oh, a you were a captain. player chris gill chris, chris gill was the captain yeah. you were just I was a, a captain i was a captain of the this this time for the um, professional anti uh by the professional team well, maybe you should start the campaign for no. the sylvester joseph bank um, the bank, bank. Stand. yep <laughs> no <laughs> man I'm, maybe I'm maybe the, the berm the sylvester joseph berm uh, what will we call it the bouncelino uh, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> the bleachers huh there's the bleachers down there's there. the bleachers down there yeah. but it's a comfortable place i i i've watched some matches from over on mm. uh, on that side and it's a it's a good place for conversation good place for cricket watching and when you're watching with friends the drinks flow differently yeah, when definitely. you're in that in your in that location yeah yeah those that that the, that's the um the if you want to call it the party bank yeah that's the party <laughs> bank that is definitely the party bank and uh, when folks come out to watch cricket especially if you're watching it in the evening, in the evening when you yeah. have the night matches here it's a beautiful place to be overton none for 17 and he's in his 10th over he's in to carty and carty is driving again just finding the field he would be a little bit frustrated because he's not finding the gaps he's played quite a number of shots in, since the lunge and interval but he's been hitting the ball straight to the feelers and have struggled somewhat so Yesterday when I saw um, Casey Card, he came out in, in, his, in his clothing, pretty white, you know, and well fresh, a fresh pair of whites. I, I, I assume that he wanted to bat and bat and bat and bat and he's doing just but that. He is there and he's been <laughs> there for a while and I'm happy for that. He is playing defensively as Overton is bang on target and there's no one. 143 for 6 Carty and the for both on 48. I'm going to leave you with the capable hands of Sylvester Joseph and then to join him will be Vernon Springer. And you know, coincidentally, I, I believe it's, it's Vernon Springer who who was the, the, the main architect behind of those uniforms coming in for the Leroy Hurricane when he was here. When he was when he was, when he was the man that he, uh, in charge. So I, I guess I can hear it from the horse's mouth if, if that's the case or not. Good afternoon, Sylvester. How was lunch? <laughs> It's wonderful as usual. I have to go and, and find out who, who's, a, who's a, the, the, the chef for lunch. You do? Yeah. I think uh, it is. I, I think those might be Nigel. I'm, I'm not sure, but don't quote me. But I have not chance mm. to get lunch yet because I just got back. So mm. You're I'll, missing out. You're I'll, missing I'll, out. I'll, I'll, I'll have lunch for tea. 143 for three. Both batsmen are 48. Reef for 48 from 106. He's facing and Joe Root ringing the changes. So. We have Mahmoud, who looks like he is 
coming from the CIO end. They look like they'll be bowling to a 6 3 field. So we got one slip, mm. um, more or less two backward points, and uh, two more gullies, more or less, because they're maybe trying to close reef or half a backward pointer, short extra cover, mid off, mid off, and a short mid wicket, and a field it down on the fine leg area. Mamu turns and comes in now, goes past Bradford, in now to bow to Reefer, short delivery, back and punching, that's four runs, 50 to Reefer. That's a lovely shot, it was short and he leaned back, and it didn't matter if they had a wall, they had the England wall, he was going to find the gap. <laughs> 50 to the young man, what a knock by Raymond Reefer, making a statement and reminding the selectors of the West Indies team that, listen, I'm still around, and I played one test match for the West Indies, I need one against England. <laughs> just one? Well, just, just the, series, the series is, is three. So yeah, he's so making he, sure that he just wants to get one. When he gets one, he'll be okay. He'll he get more. He'll get more. <laughs> <laughs> 52 you, to Reefer. You, you know, you never, you always, you never, never, you never bowl a beige and shot in, in terms of the oh, cut shot. That was an exquisite cut shot. Beautiful. Here comes Mahmoud in out the ball to Reefer. And Reefer is on driving beautifully. And just for a moment, ball watching. And the communication just needs to be fluent enough. I know he was waiting for it to go past mm. um, the feeler. But the, the, in this sort of situation and game awareness, you have to trust your partner. In the end, they got a single. Reefer goes up to 53. And Carty, who is approaching a half century, is on 48. And the CWI President's 11, 148 for three. Mm. So good afternoon to the folks all around the Caribbean. Wherever you're listening to us. And, you know, it's, we're just pleased that we can bring cricket commentary to you. The folks in England, Canada, wherever you are, Australia, Mahmoud in out the boat to Kati. Kati's turning this one around down to fine leg. And getting an easy single. The man himself, Jack Leash, who's had a lot of work to do today. He's taking a run out in the deep. He's going to have longer days like these. 149 for three. Kati 49. Reefer 53 comes back into strike. Hopefully you start from next week. Well, we're days. hoping. And if the, if the West Indies' real true team turns up, and I think they're going to have to turn up because some people were very comfortable, Sylvester, playing for the West Indies team, all of the teams. And they seemed not, I would say, droppable. But I think the, the, the cart will have to change. The mindset will have to change. We have some young people out here. And Reefer wants to send a statement. So mm. too is Carty. Mm. That they want a piece of the action. Mahmoud around the wicket is in now to bow to Reefer. And Reefer's driving beautifully. Skies just look so good, Sylvester. And you know, one of the products, I would say, of the franchise system would have been a Raymond Reefer. Um, who ended up playing for the Guyana Jaguars in his first you say five years of, of his career. Um, another one which you would have to take into consideration would have been Nkuma Bonner coming to the Jamaica uh, from Jamaica to the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. He also captained the team. And then you had Devon Thomas who went on to the Jamaica Scorpions. So there's been good, some, some, some good um, you know, success of players moving around. Not as consistent as we have, but this is West Indies cricket. Mamoud comes in to bow to Reefer. And Reefer is mm. driving to cover for four. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful shot by Reefer. Pitched up half volleys must be put away. And Reefer dispatched that with disdain. He goes up to 57. The partnership 105 from 218 deliveries. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Beautiful. 150 up, Sylvester, Definitely. for the CWI President's 11 mm -hmm. also. This is what that you, you, you will pay money to come and see, Springs. Shots like those. Some people will go back and come back and pay again. <laughs> 153 for 3, Mahmoud. It's in for a rude awakening here. Because Reefer has just upped the gear. Here comes Mahmoud from England. In out the ball to the man himself, Raymond Reefer. Back and across stylishly. It's almost as broad as Bridgetown, mm. the capital of Barbados. Overcompleted Reefer 57 from 111 deliveries. And Casey Carty 49 from 153. More comments from you, Sylvester. Yeah, um, Mahmoud, the last two overs, you can see that he tried to ramp. He tried to ramp up some pace, but this pitch is not really offering any, as any assistance in that aspect. He just coming on a lot better for Reefer, who's from Barbados. And had, you know, Barbados has some, 
some good nice bouncy chucks are good for batting so you know we will be really relish this this um pace that he's trying to to um crank up and you can see we, we as we see uh, two lovely shots in that in that last over groundsman moving in position i don't know if they see something that i i have not seen Carty is back and oh, punching that to cover for four what a lovely shot off the back foot hits the ropes now 52 casey Carty. his partner comes across and congratulates him what a knock by casey Carty making a statement and the folks in anguilla st martin and the rest of the leaders Kadim philip and the groundsman they're applauding what a lovely shot from Carty. Mm. on his toes got up he likes that shot and he punched that that's a lovely shot by the young man he goes up to 53 and he now needs to carry on and go from strength to strength 157 for three and all of a sudden the pressure seems to have eased up scoring becomes easy here for the west indian batsman but a lot of work still to be done overturn in now the boat to kati that kept low it's a good thing he was more or less wide of the off stump and in the end folks has been having a tory time that's why i asked the sylvester if you ever had any plans of keeping no <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I never thought about keeping in my life never you never like that Not even for fun <laughs> <laughs> raymond reefer one test match age 30 casey carty 24 years of age bright future ahead of him if he wants it he can get it back and across and playing nice and straight just got to put his hand down and sometimes you have to get a wake-up call people have you know i know people like alex adams and terry adams have been trying to speak to casey carty and say come on you got to keep working your work ethic has to be different the head coach of the league and hurricane franchise but more can be done sometimes it all boils down to personal development of our cricketers and I find too many times, Sylvester, they blame a lot of people. Mm. The selectors, the public, the board, rather than themselves. Overturning now to Boto Kati, who is just turning this, but right there to what we call a, a short, short, short mid on. <laughs> Can't score. At this stage, England were 186 for one, 157 for three not over by a long shot yet and so it is important that these two bat up until t and t is a, a long way from now but we want to see the the attitude of them and the mindset how bad they want it overturn into carty into both of carty carty is back and across and just defending now what i want to see him do sylvester is look to just rotate take the strike and those balls are going exactly coming off of his bat nice to cover just some soft hands and mm. just pick up a single you know keep the england feelers guessing you know give them something to think about you realize that reefer and, and him have decided they can they can go over the top you have to ruffle england you mm. know, make them make them think about something here goes overturn to ball to carty and carty's flashing at a wide delivery the first bad shot that he's played all day yes indeed and you can see that he's disappointed that one was way outside of the house so no need no need to play a shot like that after you're batting so well you have already um, um have a good foundation and it's important you know after batting so long springs that you you try to finish the job in terms of getting the to the cheaper century you have to to the double cent the, uh, the century sorry you know, to it's the possible. Don't yeah. worry. No, <laughs> you know, that. Uh, all these things are possible, Silvis. Well, so maybe, 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 maybe a day tomorrow. Maybe I'm prophesying. We have yeah. a day tomorrow. Yeah. It's cricket. Know. Anything can happen. You yeah. have not said anything wrong. But he has to. He has to apply. You know, just concentrate. That's all going to be very. That, that, that is going to be important now. His concentration. Well, both of them. Um, Rifa looks really, really good. Started. You know, starts to come into his own. You know, in terms of his fluency. Um, picking off the the bad balls and putting it in the gaps and getting getting some 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 well um deserved ones so we have a little change here um leech is now moved from the media center and he's going to bowl now from the cion with zach crawley at at, at slip and um, so we got a slip um and on the offside we have a backward point to cover mid off a man who's gone back and long on and um, short mid on and just more or less a short mid wicket and a deep backward square and somebody on the 45 
So what's the ploy here? Let's find out what Jack Leach is thinking about. Raymond Weaver would have other ideas. He's looking at the side screen. Well, and he's sure. driving to cover four more. No need to run. Reefer with an exhibition of shots here. An array of shots. That's a beautiful shot. I think that's the best shot of the day so far of his innings. He waited on it and just cl glided it to that cover. He goes up to 61. So you reckon that was better than the cut shot and the cover? Oh, because before? he looked at it right onto his back there. Mm. Well, the cut is, you know, is his favorite shot. <laughs> So, <laughs> you can't miss out on that. Uh, but I love this. I, lo I love that one there. The last the I mean, the last three shots that he, he has played. Has been gems. Mm. He comes quietly forward. You could see that he's focused. He I wants a big one. I would like to see the old Kensington stand. Oh, they'll be oh, rocking. Oh, my God. With those shots. You remember those days? You can't have got those days, Springs. Oh, God. Kensington. But a faster. And he mm. just turned the ball oh, around. Oh, my goodness. Carty could be in trouble. Oh, they miss. Had he hit, he would have been run out. Who's that? Overton? That's what we're talking about, the communication line. Now, Reefer, what I liked about him is straight away, just cool down things, mm. call his partner, and you're making the point, Sylvester. We don't see this in, in regional cricket enough. No, we don't see it. Uh, it's been a while. And even when Carty got his, his, his half century, you can see the excitement. and say well done and keep going and that is that is what we want to see this is what we want to see from our our players we want to be each other to be happy for each other you know and we don't celebrate our people enough Sylvester. Yeah. not only our cricketers but we don't celebrate our caribbean people what we do is look for dirt mm. on people that's the sort of society that we live in reefer 61 161 for three he's on driving but can't beat reach england the Reefer and Carty, they decided that they're going to really bat England out of this game. And so far, they've done an excellent job to date. Here comes Leach, in out of both to Reefer. Reefer comes quietly forward. Look at him. He knows that he wants a big one. And he's not in any hurry to get that one. Indeed, indeed. And I'm, 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 I'm happy in which uh, how Reefer, you know, is getting his runs and being positive because, you know, he proved to himself, uh, he knows to himself that he can... You know, he can bat in the top order, he can be a, a proper batsman and he's exhibiting the, the, the quality and now that he's getting the performances. Um, he, 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 I guess his family and those that, his close friends, those that know him and the lover of cricket in the Caribbean uh, will definitely be happy for him. And I, I would go as far as to say, I think he's the, the, since the professional setup, you know, leaving Barbies and going to Guyana and so forth and the different uh, players, the different players that goes to different um teams in the, to play for the professional setup i think he's the most he's the most professional he's uh, the the most successful as the overseas player um that 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 in the professional setup and he's gone back home now and 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 and, and doing a great job for for barbados and over time he's back again after that last delivery, similar line and similar length, but uh, Carty was equal to the task this time. This is what he should have done the first time. You know, he's wide outside the Aston. And just, just, just let it go by and allow Overton to come and, and bowl where he wants it to be. So good effort, good effort here by these two, two batters. Thank you very much, Sylvester. Mm. So Overton is going to move in now to bowl to Carty, and to bowl to Carty, oh. that Keplo. And... All of a sudden, every now and again, when it hits a little area, it tends to keep low. Folks couldn't stop that one, and in the end, they afforded a buy. Had that been maybe on, on between wicket and wicket, might have been curtains for Casey Carty. Yeah, well, I mean, we have seen throughout the game that, you know, one and two kept low, but um, quite regularly now, on a regular basis, Springs, uh, we, we, we've seen it. Um, is, is happening on a, on a regular basis now, a more, you know, more regular basis. Like a change here mm. from England captain Joe Root. Uh, just come out of the slip. He's overturned around the wicket now to bow to Reefer. Reefer is tight. Solid as a rock. His board is bridged down, eh? mm. you'd say, 162 for three. We 
Aretha, 61 from 117 deliveries. And Carty, 53 from 161. Overton is into his 12th over. So far, not for 21. He weighs the number 32. As he bounds away from the meter center in here at Coolidge. Pitched up and coming quietly forward. This did the balance of, mm. of Raymond Aretha. He's very circumspect. And when he gets forward, you could see him coming on his heel and getting out out very early a real positive stride you yes. know you you very committed that. very committed to his his um, repetitions over and over all the time to me, making sure that he's in a comfortable position his preparation for this game is in terms of batting you would have maybe looked into his mirror so many times last evening over to an interval to Reefer and Reefer leaving knows that he doesn't have to play at that England chirping away. You can imagine all the comments that you're hearing out there. Don't worry. One after one comes two comes three and all of them will be tumbling down. <laughs> mm. So good afternoon to the folks in Bridgetown Barbados. They're glued into their television because their man, Raymond Reefer, is on 61. Overturn to Reefer. And Reefer is stylishly good in defense end of another over and as we speak the west indies president's 11 they trail by some 304 runs overton has completed his 12 not for 21 reefer 61 from 121 deliveries and carter 53 from 161 the partnership is 114 from 237 balls yeah he's good he's good he's good as a west indian to see you know two young batters um really applying themselves and executing and exhibiting some some good batsmanship and you know respect for each other and understanding for each other in the middle and it is really good that you know they can if they can carry on and even go bigger and bigger and bigger and keep this english team you know on the field for as long as possible kind of wear them down Action continues with the women's cricket. Got to support the West Indies women's team. But we're here with the red ball. Mali Richards is just sneaked in on the back of me. Maroon, Maroon, Maroon Warriors. Maroon you, have, you, have Warriors. To, you have to get accustomed, you have to, get accustomed to, the, to the name. <laughs> <laughs> get with the time springs. Don't, don't Maroon let me start Warriors. Up, uh, don't, don't wind me up about the women's <laughs> cricket, please, Arresta. Please don't. <laughs> Because I will have a couple of things to say when the time is right. Oh, Here is Carty going shot. big over middle and down to the boundary for four. That's a lovely shot by Carty. He was right in the arc, kept his composure, kept his shape, and just hit that over mid on and down to the boundary for four. Mm. He goes up to 57, and the partnership now 118 from 238 deliveries. Slip. Um, fine leg, long time I haven't seen that for a leg spinner. Backward point, cover, extra cover, nice. mid off, mid off, short, mid wicket. And I feel her out in the. Yeah, here's oh Cathy going, and he played a naughty shot, not certainly on at all. Where was he thinking about hitting that? He never got anywhere close to the pitch of the ball and lost his shape, lost everything, lost his stumps. And he would be very disappointed after putting in all that hard work. 163 deliveries, you can't get out that way. Not after you feel it for a day and a half. Yeah. Carty yeah. goes, ball by leash, who's had the final laugh. Mm. 118 partnership from 239 balls. What a knock from Casey Carty. You can't make that kind of mistake. You can see the ball before when he, 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 he went a little straighter. And that one, you know, he played right across the line and missed ball. And everything and ricochet in his stumps unfortunately you can see that probably down to a, a lapse of concentration sylvester you have to bat all day just well, bat just bat if you bat you can well, you can well, walk you can walk a hundred well he's he, he was batting from since yesterday so he's tired i, I guess it's a lapse of concentration 166 <laughs> for four wicket that day <laughs> the cwi president's 11 didn't need to lose you cut you know you that's the issue I have, Sylvester. Mm. Sometimes, the West Indies, sometimes we have teams, but we don't 
reinforce that we're on top. Yeah, press on that. Yes, man. you're on top. You've got to make sure that you bat to tea. And you come back after tea and you keep batting again. Because you, 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 you're in no, you're no hurry. Mm. Can't get out that way. You know, you really, Alex Atenezi, he, he now comes out. And there's got to be a, a, a different shape, a different form of the game right now. Young 23-year-old, 15 matches, 740 runs, high score of 68, five half centuries. Made his debut in, in 2018, 20, 22, 33 and 5 so far. Um, 2022, 33 and 5 versus Trinidad, 68 and 58 versus Guy. And I say good afternoon to Mali Richards. You can't do all that work and get out that way. Oh, man. And I was just going to say, you know, uh, uh, it's important for Casey Carty to, to, to almost uh, start over after getting to that half century. Uh, recognize that the, the job isn't even a quarter of the way done. And um, you could just tell, you know, uh, that concentration, like Sylvester saying, just go in. And it, when we talk about fitness as well, it's not just physical and that aerobic. It's mental. Uh, fitness. Yeah, it's that mental fitness being able to bat for long periods <laughs> i know i i couldn't help but listen then more talk about tejan and shana but i'll get back to that that name in a little while in the meantime this is i like the, the look of this young man here alex atanez i think he's one for the future he's played his first delivery right up in front of him he's get his second delivery and he's back and across england seizing some Potential here to maybe bowl out the Cricket West Indies President's eleven. They've now added two slips, a gully, a cover, mid-off, mid-off, short mid-wicket, a short leg, and a player on the 45. More or less, we would say inside the 30-yard circle if it was a one-day game. Atenez is just turning this one around, and he gets an easy single because backing up is Raymond Weaver. Um, gets a run, so he's off the mark. Got a little tickle onto that. So he's and, one. And it would be important to note, when was the last time Casey Carty would have probably batted for the equivalent of, of, of roughly a day or so, you know, in time, and, and score a half century? And that's why we were talking about preparation. <laughs> How you prepare mm. In, mm. In, in, in your franchises. You so know, still you pretty know, valuable lessons being learned. You yeah. Know? You know, How you prepare. When was the last time maybe mm. Casey Carty would have batted three hours in St. Kitts? Um, consistently mm. for a day. I'm not just talking intervals, just mm. back for three hours. Mm. You know, these are questions that we certainly have to ask here as we for um, turning the ball around because there are some players, Mali, and I know you were one of those players. You had to be hitting balls. You yeah. got into that groove. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you couldn't just come and tell Mali, hey, we're batting for 10 minutes. You're thinking as soon as we finish, you know, you after play, we play, you want to hit some more balls. Chef and the ball was like that. So when the regular practice finish. Shiv would go back out and put in another hour, hour and a half, you know, just hitting balls. And, and even, you know, we tend to watch just the highlights as well. And when we watch highlights, we just see balls going to the boundary, balls sailing uh, over the boundary. But uh, we don't tend to see all the hard work and, the, 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 you know, the, the, the gritty stuff being done in between that as well. But we've also got to recognize, and that's why I brought that point up, you know, uh, Casey Carty wouldn't have had to work that hard uh, for his runs in a long time, I would say. And maybe in regional cricket, some of the gaps today that were blocked, um, he would yeah, have gone through. Yeah, it would have already gone through, you know, and uh, if you can tell the line of attack that these English uh, bowlers uh, employed to him early, just just doing a bit of homework on, on Casey Carty, but he, he kind of came through that test. Overton to bowl to Alex Atenez. You want to see him go on, Vern. Don't get me twisted. You do want to see him go oh, on and score a big uh, one. You got your to Big well, one. Number uh, three batter. You know, uh, generally more often than not, the number three players is looked at as probably the best player in the team. And uh, he, he did put in a pretty good performance here today. But you want to see him go on. You want to see our young players really, really um, adjusting and, and coming to grips with the, with the step up in class. Anybody can make a half century, but not many people can make a hundred. And that's what the attitude we have to put into our young batters. Alex Atenez has a glorious opportunity to make that happen here. He's going after a wide one, missed it completely. And folks um, just picked it up quite easily. And it's mm. important, sorry, uh, Vern, that young Atenez gives himself a chance here. Uh, yeah, he can't be shot making. So yeah, he's got he's to give himself uh, some time. Earn that right to, to, to score big runs, you know, get acclimatized to the pitch uh, in terms of the pace and the bounce and what the bowlers are actually trying to do 
and how the ball's reacting off this wicket. It does take a bit of time. Especially with the ball keeping low. Mm. He's back and he's still in bounce, this. Yeah. England have employed two short mid-ons now. Uh, more or less, we could say two short mid-wickets because they maybe know something that we don't know. Uh, Mali Richards, well, and as you've said, the, the line that they're bowling... It's going to be straight. It's going to be straight. So they're giving that protection uh, on the boundary in that deep square leg. Uh, and they've also got, what, two short mid-wickets? Catching. Catching. So just, just in case Alec Athenes doesn't time this ball... As it well as you like, them. and he goes there in the air. The two fielders there waiting to, to, to bounce. And Overton is around the wicket. This time he gets inside the line and turns it down to the final leg area. Good cricket shot. And there's just something about little elegance about him. I had a chance of viewing some of the, the, the games. And he's got a little stature. He's got a little something about him. Aesthetically quite pleasing. He shapes up quite well. Yes. I know what you mean. Uh, uh, you know, he I'm sort of reminds me of an Adrian Barrett. But the, the, the left-handed left Adrian Barrett, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Adrian, if you're listening to us, good afternoon. And to the folks in Trinidad and Tobago. Lovely time here for cricket. Anthony Gray, how are you? Overturn into bow to Reefer. He's seen this ball as big as Bridgetown. He just easily clips this one out. But Reefer has got his eyes set on a big one. And, I like, and I'm glad you said eyes because his head position. He's really good there. Uh, uh, if, you, if you can tell, uh, he's not quite falling. He's not falling over. And when the ball is outside the off stump as well, he's still able to access it uh, with that little extra stride as well. He's got pretty good footwork. And he, he's just looked to improve no, uh, no ends, uh, especially in his batting. You know, his batting has come on leaps and bounds from, uh, from a couple of years ago. Back on the cross, stylishly playing well. Good cricket here. Another over completed. 72 overs bowled. And the CWI President's 11, 169 for four. Reefer, 62 not out, 123 balls. Athens was just come to the crease, two from eight. West Indies 11 trailed by some 297 runs. Overton has bowled 13 overs, not for 23. The uh, little small turnaround. England more or less just feeling and pacing themselves here. And, th and that's the thing with Leach as well. Now you see his figures. Uh, he's got two wickets in that wicket column. Uh, 23 overs, 9 maidens, 39 runs. And that's where that tight bowling uh, at, at, at this beginning of his spell uh, is coming uh, pretty beneficial because he's, he's reaped that benefit later well, he's on been in terms of the two wickets. wickets. Yeah. Mali, but, uh, be he hasn't, meters there? yeah, no, you, you're right. But he hasn't necessarily served up uh, uh, any tripe here today either or even yesterday you know he's just been pretty pretty accurate another without accurate being overly threatening you so know another accurate delivery again to him but reefer has certainly been in a zone i love the zone that raymond reefer is in he's making a statement leech mid off mid off up and once it's in that area there i know that raymond reefer is gonna look to go inside out over there He's going to get as close as possible to the ball because there's really no revs um, from Jack Leach uh, bowling here. He goes past Gregory Batwet, the umpire, and now to bowl to Reefer. Reefer is just playing with nice soft hands, playing with the ball right under his eyes. I've always, he's a little dangerous player. And I used to get a little concerned, um, Mali, especially when he was playing, him and Kyle Mills. In fact, Kyle Mills playing for the Windward Island Volcanoes. He was playing for the guy in the Jaguars, they always came in at a critical time and never gave their hit away. And they will frustrate you. You, know, you have to be working hard to try and get them. That's what I was talking about. You know, they bring that little bit extra in terms of fight, that heart, that grit, you know, that intangible. We sometimes just talk about cricket. Oh, beautiful shot there, Raymond. Lovely stroke. That's time to perfection, wasn't it? Beautiful hands. And you, you talk, you see the patience? Yeah. He just waited on it because he knew Leach was just going to be, just over tossed that one and stayed low to the ball. Got a good stride out and, and just kept it. pushing it all the time. Just look at it. That's really, really, really class. And Beautiful he shot. wants to make England pay here. He's 66. 173 for four. He's looked good. Can he get three figures? And to be honest, just looking at the composition of the, 
the men's senior team for the um, test series. I think Raymond Reef, if, if he's breathing down anyone's neck, he was. He would be the player you just mentioned in Kyle, Kyle Mears. Kyle Mears. Yeah. He's but I have a little problem in terms of how they were using Kyle Mears before. Mm. He's picked as a batsman. Mm. In the Sri Lanka series, he ended up doing more bowling than batting. That, that, that was my issue. And I thought it threw the balance of the team off. If he's, if, you know, allow him to play his style. In fact, let me say this, Mali, because I don't think we were on commentary. He is a positive player. And sometimes you need that sort of Ben Stokes like, and I don't think the West Indies at number have, five though. Yes, a lot at number five allowed him to be himself to be able to come and push back. Because mm. if you realize in the context of that Sri Lankan series here in the, in, in Antigua and Barbuda, he put some pressure under them when he came in. He did. That Maybe he, he got seventy out as well. Yeah, or? yeah, but he he did make a statement as if like, hey. This is me. This and is also in that same series, he's just found out a little bit in terms of uh, the Samantha Chimera, or, uh, the gas man, if you can yes, remember, yes. Uh, with the short ball. Yes. You know, and he hasn't really adjusted to that uh, just yet. You know, so this series will be a big one for him. But like so. you say, you've got players like Raymond Reef are just, just waiting for their opportunity as well. So we got another change. England captain comes in, Mali reckons that he should be bowling a lot more. 100%. In fact, he's got two left-handers and he fancies himself now that maybe he can knock over these two, especially after there's two slips. Um, a player on the 45, short fine leg. Um, a short mid-wicket, mid-on, mid-off. On the offside, a backward point under cover. Root comes in and in the meantime, we got a player out in the deep backward scale like boundary. And I think if he had actually bowled a bit more and maybe, I don't know how much he actually works on his bowling, his, his uh, cups are already pretty full. But um, yeah, I, I think, think that's he, one of the reasons why he's not. Yeah, going yeah, but I think that would have helped him in his in his white ball game as well. Oh, oh, oh. here was Athens coming. He's got to be careful, just as Mali says. Got to have a look. Um, this is just only Ruth's second delivery to him, so no need to get reckless. Um, there's a little cutting most, most game, game going, going on. on. The middle of the slips. middle of right up. Yes, got to just just have a look. Just take your time. We for just coming down and just in the meantime just talking saying hey take it easy and don't try anything umpire gregory batwick just had to fix the stumps very quickly as folks took off the bales in a quick flash here That's is Athens is driving but can't beat joe root i'm not saying that if the ball is there to hit that you don't hit it but you you can't recklessly give your wicket away 173 for four. We already see two gifted wickets to England. Um, one in Mosley and one in Carty. Um, and well, I, I would have to say three uh, because the run out, um, certainly, uh, that's a cardinal sin. Can't do that. You almost feel better seeing Katie Carty. He hadn't played those sweeps or even a slug sweep or anything really throughout his innings. Show you the, the loss of concentration. Really. Bang on target again is Joe Root. Um, Athens comes quietly forward. On the outside, we see the traffic policeman seem to uh, stop someone. As I'm looking through a little hole there. Maybe somebody was speeding away. They've been very strict on the road. So, um, early o'clock, we have a maiden over. We also have our first water break, Mali. We'll take an altitude break. In fact, a pillar's natural break as the water cart goes out. 173 for four. We're seeing this trail by 293 runs, as we can see there. So you're the officer, to, you're gonna have to cut me in on that pillars deal. You know what I mean? He's he's brought out, he's now brought out his book. <laughs> I told you. Uh, what are they doing? Spying on the officer? <laughs> uh, the officer doesn't even know he's on camera. Oh, he right doesn't now. even know. <laughs> you better not do anything naughty. And he's given the mm, driver he's, a he's, stern he's, lecture. Is he practicing? <laughs> Who is he speaking to? He's, he's got a driver there, man. Oh, really? Yes, that's what I'm I was telling seeing. you. There's a bush in the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 173 for four. As the latest score here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in the Apex warm up game. And just to give you an analysis in terms of what has happened so far, we've lost the wicket of Devon Thomas. It seemed like a long time ago. Mm. Um, I think it, it would have been in the second morning. over of, of, of the morning. Um. Just going to get that scorecard pulled up for you. Devon Thomas was LBW for one. Um, Seema, in fact, we start from the top. Jeremy Salanza was run up by Overton for 17. Shane Mosley, bowl leash for 20. 
Casey Carty, Bo Leach for 57, Devon Thomas, LBW to Robinson for 1, Ray Marie for not out 66 of 129, and Alex Athenis was just come in. He's on 2 not out, West Indies have faced some 74 overs, extras 10, 173 for 4. At the end of the water break, they've lost wickets at 34, 44, 48, and 166. And Mali, mm -hmm. Leach has been allowed to bowl 119 dot balls. Mm -hmm. Overton 67, Walk 70, Robinson 50, Mahmoud 30, Fisher 21, and Joe Wood has just come on to bowl I mean, his solitary I mean, over. At the very least, his, his run rate's actually, his uh, economy rate has actually... His economy rate, rate, if you look at it, it's <laughs> increased. Because at one point, it was well below one. You remember us noting it being... Uh, uh, point 0.5 maybe after 10 overs or so in 10 overs into his spell uh, so um, it just tells you that maybe scoring has just gotten a little easier but once again unforced errors uh, and you can say that uh, the CWI President's 11 batters contributed to, to, to at least three of those of, of the four dismissals uh, here uh, in this innings you think of the Salazano run out that miscommunication between uh, Mosley and Salazano. Uh, then you think of uh, that stroke by Case by uh, Shane Mosley and now Casey Carty here today. I know he'd be very disappointed uh, with that stroke. I mean, really, just looking at the game, the way the game was set up, the conditions, a hundred, uh, possibly a big hundred, uh, was on the cards for this young, talented uh, Leeward Islands player. But at least a good performance and uh, uh, Raymond Reefer though has has probably been the standout batter for this president's 11 uh team the way he's gone about his innings uh he showed a good compact solid defense and uh and now he's just opening up slightly and just finding the gaps and timing the ball actually quite sweetly think of that last shot that drive that extra cover uh drive of uh jack leach uh from over the wicket as well you know uh, it tells you that there isn't much turn or or fizz out there and reefer just reached out and got his hands out to it as well you know along with that big stride and just found that gap beautiful beautiful timing and uh we, he'll be looking for more of the same ollie robinson was off the field 9.3 overs four maidens 19 runs one wicket chris walks 14 overs four maidens 38 runs no wicket craig overton 13 overs four maidens 23 runs no wicket and the wicket taker jack leach who started in 24 overs nine maidens 43 runs two wickets with 119 dot balls, he starts now from the CIUN here. Gregory Bartwitt, a little fancy right hand, just saying we're ready to go. Two slips go down and they're waiting. And Leach is in now to Bolter Reefer. He's driving inside out. That's gone all the way six. for six. Solid sound as well. Made a beautiful shot. It was right in the slot. And easily. Reefer just looking at the white side screen. And you've, you've been taught that so many times. Right, look up the V and a and good positive exhibition execution of the shot there by Raymond Reefer. He goes to 72. That's what just let Casey Carty down, you know, just not playing as straight, you know, as, as he probably should have. Here was Reefer just turning this, but he can't be the feeler over turn at number 45. A lot of these England feelers have had to end up finding themselves in some very unfamiliar positions <laughs> on the field. I find it quite strange here. It tells you there's no real turn out there. Uh, Jack Lee's bowling with two slips. Here to the <laughs> left-handed reefer. <laughs> here <laughs> left arm <Reefer>. orthodox. <laughs> Over the wicket. Over the wicket. <laughs> <laughs> here is reefer just turning this one into the leg side area. Picking up an easy single. It tells you probably that uh, the ball is just going straight on. <laughs> if anything, just holding its line. No it's real, no real uh, hint of turn. It's maybe just like a road. Mm. 180 for four, Reefer is 73. Leach is going to come in now to bowl to Alex Athenes. He's got to rebuild, refocus, especially after an, uh, an, in a water break. It's got to start all over. Think about batting up until T. And then you come back after T and you bat until close the play. Batting going out of the game. He's back well, and across. Well, he's got to stay in the moment, bro. Uh, you're looking to. to, to to, uh, from the back here, Mario, not back. cutting you off. You know, it looks like young Tombo. Who's that? Alex Atten is. Left handed. I can't <laughs> see it. Tombo's a right hand. <laughs> I'm talking about this, the, the standing up. Uh, uh, look, look. I mean, without the hat, I can <laughs> see it. But with the helmet <laughs> on and everything. Standing left handed. 
Nah. I'm talking about the mannerism. I'm okay. not talking about the life mm -hmm. I made. Remember yesterday we were talking about him. Yeah, when he I goes. mean, I could see it walking, but <laughs> back on this turning that gets a little tickle onto that. Sure, he will get a got an under edge. Overton had to come around, and the, in fact, it's a no ball, and it's a bye. Is Jack Leach bowling a no ball? Possibly. Of which he did. I was, I was overstepping. I, I was a little straight. You know, that caught me there. He's now saying to umpire, um, Gregory Bratton, how did you pick that up? Hmm. <laughs> Leach comes in now. The ball to Reefa. Reefa's driving straight again. Down to the boundary. One bounce for four. So anytime he comes in that area, Reefa's going to have a go. Yeah. And I mean, left arm. Um, over the wicket to the left hander that's why Shane Mosley's stroke was so disappointing to be honest because uh, it's almost a, a, a simple shot for the left hander especially with no real turn and bounce and what we've seen though is that Raymond Reef has given himself a chance he's gotten his eye in and now he's got the proper measure of these bowlers and he's just looking to apply some pressure especially to Jack Leach because like you said uh, I think more confident batters would have been looking to apply pressure a bit earlier on so the action continues Jorut will know that he has to bowl get some stuff done stands up straight and punches that can't beat cover 186 186 for four break for a little while here as we get this one going Comes quietly forward. So good afternoon to Terry Andrew at ABS. Moving around to get the news. Joe Wood in the number 66. It's going to come in now to bowl to Alex Athenes. Who's on two? And to bowl to Athenes. Athenes using his feet when he gets there. Wasn't quite sure. Just had a plate on the onside. No real danger. Nothing much happened after that. Now they're taking out one of, in fact, no, he's now gone on to the other side. So he's moved from silly point to short leg. Still continue with the slip. Play on the 45, backward point. Um, short mid-wicket, mid-off, mid-off, and a short extra cover catching. Root is in now to bowl to Atenez. Atenez is turning this past the short leg out to the deep backward skill leg feeder. Gets a quiet single. And the rotation of the strike is also very good in terms of what's happening. Yeah, that's exactly what you need as well. 187 for four. Reefer is 77. Athenes is three. Reefer approaching a big one. He wants to make a statement. Jurut around the wicket. He's going to come in out to bowl to Raymond Reefer. Comes in out to bowl to Reefer. Flatter faster. And Reefer almost giving a little chance here to short leg. He knows that. That went quickly. That would have had to. Stick. Root around the wicket. It's going to come in now to bowl to Rima Reefer. That is quicker, faster. Peel for a leg before. And umpire Nigel Dugid, early clock said not out. And England will have to muster on. So 187 for four. Um, West Indies 11 trail by 279 runs. 76 overs bowled here so far. Action continues here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground. Chicky Hi-Fi is music blaring out. So good afternoon to Basil Morgan, Basil Chambers, all of the Basils in Montserrat, Calypso King the Bear. So good afternoon to Benny and his family, also in Montserrat. Folks in Mevis in St. Kitts, Captain Skeet, if you're listening to us, <clears throat> Carlos Strauss online in Canada following the cricket very 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 closely 187 for 4 Reefer 77 Athens is 3 we now face Jack Leach who starts from the CIU end and be looking to go one more here comes Jack Leach over the wicket the ball to Athens Athens just 
looked a little bit nonchalant as if he didn't really want to play that it's got to be a little tighter can't afford to allow England to get a wicket before T he just needs to give major support um, to Raymond Reefer here it's going to be very important for him it's going to be a learning process for him comes quietly forward with this major opportunity for this young man 187 mm. for 4 mm. this and is sorry and the thing about it as well he's just gone going through the ga gears uh, in his innings you know started pretty slowly but as he's gotten more comfortable just just the shots are actually coming out the array of strokes here is Athens coming quietly forward playing with nice soft hands got to still look to the spinner you always heard that from Victor Eddy some of the good players even Jim Allen mm. um, national hero in, in Montserrat so good afternoon to Sir Jim excellent players Leewards produced a number of players over the years here's Athenes when he gets there hits the ball up in the air and that's a shot that's certainly not on I don't think he needed to go that because he never got anywhere close to the pitch of the ball and he would be advised rather than going to the mid wicket area to go straight because you're going like across the line of the ball I think possibly he was trying to go straight and just got the inside half of the bat uh, looking to, to be aggressive uh, uh, to jump on, on Jack Leach here but he, he's got to give himself a chance just give support to Raymond Reefer. That's mm, all you got to do. At this stage. Supporting staff. Just give support. He's driving Shot. to cover. Don't know if he'll have the legs to run into the boundary for four. The outfield here is a little slow today. And they comfortably get two runs quite easily. Like Mali said, I know he wants to up the tempo. But at the same time, you can't allow England with, with the batting lineup here of the Cricket West Indies President's eleven to even get any we're close in. This team's objective is to bat all day here. And demonstrate to the selectors why they are here. Mm -hmm. 191 for four. I have to agree with that then. Athens is seven. Reefa is 77. It's, it's, it's a partnership that has to work. He's back and punching that onto the offside. And they're going to get comfortably another two runs. He's quite a stylish little player, isn't he? He is. That's what I was telling you about, you know, like the Adrian Barrett. Um, stylish little player player. like Athenes. So Seems one to have time. But that's only one aspect of batting. Uh, it's probably the aspect that we do tend to focus on. But uh, what's his mental game like? Uh, what's his bat batsmanship like in, in terms of constructing and building an innings? Uh, does he recognize uh, uh, match situations? You know, these are all the things that are still yet, yet to, be, to be seen from a lot of our young players but uh, just based on the, the talent alone in terms of how he shapes up how he hits the ball he looks a pretty good prospect that's for sure you know so, something which I keep talking about Mali and even in your guys era personal development of players I don't think a lot of the, the modern day players take that, that time out to help to develop their own game and in fact they've got more material available to them as compared to when you came through mm -hmm. um, you know but it's, it's it's a sort of kind of hunger. Do, do they really want it? I think a lot of them do as well, you know. You just, you just, you've always had players that are really keep the personal development and players that aren't. It seems like there's a lot available to them now because there is, you know. Uh, numerous uh, polling machines, uh, facilities, uh, uh, just information as well. Access to... Um, Access to so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, it's just whether some players actually utilize them to the fullest and, and, and others do. You break for a little while as Joe Root is going to move away now. He comes in now to bowl to Rifa. Rifa is oh. turning this. He sort of looked like he hesitated for a while, like he wasn't sure. He wasn't sure it had gone past <laughs> <laughs> the short leg there for a second. <laughs> But just shows he's keeping his eyes on that ball, you know, especially when going back on this wicket. Got to be able to, to really uh, watch that ball closely because uh, we've had some variable bounds. Good in now the ball to Athens. He comes quietly forward. Needs to just stop that ball right in front of him. Victory always used to tell you that. When you're playing spin, you have to kill it. Has to stay right there. Doesn't need to go anywhere else. Play with that nice soft hands. 
we've, we've also seen some differences in terms of over the last 20, 30 years in terms of the techniques against spin, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. In terms of the, the, the front foot prod, yeah. uh, it's almost gone out of, of playing uh, against spin, you know, back in the day before DRS players used to just get that front foot down and the umpire would say, well, it's a big stride, I'm not too sure. Not anymore. Not anymore. Got to use that back. Root, just for a moment, thought that he had a chance there. Athenis sneaks a single onto the onside. Goes up to 10. Leaf is 78. Another over completed here by England. 78 overs bowl. And the CWI President's 11 there, 195 for four. And what England have done, done though, is just hung in. You know, they've done the basics. They haven't been uh, overly attacking and leaking runs left, right and centre. The batters have had to really work for their runs. And uh, as we see, who is it going to be? Dan Lawrence, it looks like, coming into the attack. Yeah, it looks that way. Mm. And we know he can bowl a bit of off spin as well. Uh, Dan Lawrence. So you see the importance of Casey Carty staying there and getting mm. a big run going? Mm. Because, you know, England. the bowlers, are, uh, <laughs> they're going to have to ring the changes. Certainly going to have to. The longer you bat, the easier it gets. And we were actually seeing signs of that. And I think that's something he will learn, you know. We keep talking about these voices in your head. Uh, just listening, maybe just succumbing to that voice, telling him uh, really pressing, he needs to press on. But the shot, the, the selection of stroke is what I have the, the big problem with. Uh, he just played... Quite a, a lovely shot, straight, you know, down over long on, and on this occasion went right across the line of that delivery from, from Jack Leach. Dan Lawrence, a little tricky bowler. Awkward action as well, yeah. very strange. Strange. <laughs> he almost for a moment, I was trying to describe what I think he bowls like. Mm. Let me have a look at him again. I'll flick out somebody, pretty close, he got close to Gregory Bratchett there. Mm. Let's see what's going to be happening. By the time you... Oh, he's, he's out. Him off. He's out. He's given out, caught behind. And a wicket that the President's Eleven didn't need to lose. Out caught by folks, just as Mali was saying. Got to be so careful. I think this one probably just turned a little bit. And he, and he played on the wrong line Yeah, also. Uh, started uh, uh, played around, down the wrong line of that delivery there, Alec Atenez. But pretty, pretty good ball in there from, from Dan Lawrence, actually. The pace on that delivery gave Alec Atenez no chance to really readjust. And just uh, almost a classical off-spinner's dismissal to the left-handed batter. Uh, forward defensive, uh, just taking that edge through to the wicketkeeper. Uh, You've got to say, uh, pretty good bowling, but maybe just uh, a little sluggish in terms of the footwork by Alec Atenez there. But Raymond Reef is still, still there, and as he's joined by his captain, Shane Dorich. Uh, good to see him here. He's coming in at, what, number seven here in this uh, President's Eleven uh, Batting lineup, uh, quality, quality player. Uh, you can tell by his test record that he's a very good player. He's been missing from the scene for a, for, for a couple of years. Uh, had some personal issues, but now it's good to see him back. And uh, uh, he's, he's, he's back with Barbados as well uh, in the regional four-day competition. And uh, given an opportunity here to, to just remind uh, the selectors of his, uh, of his credentials. So, the cricket West Indies President's 11 have lost uh, another wicket under the 95 for 5, the wicket of Atenez. Out comes the captain, um, Shane Dorish. And Dorish walks out. Shane Omari Dorish, 35 test matches, um, 1,570 runs with three test hundreds and three fifties, average of 29.07. First class record, 4,880 4, runs. With 7250, it's on the easy skill. Dorish has been a, a, around for a, a little while and has demonstrated, had a 14 month break and has come back into the fold now. In the meantime, England captain Joe Root is attacking. He's got a short leg, leg slip, first slip, a sh short mid wicket, real short, um, more or less a short mid on, 
mid off mid off mid on sweep out on the offside and also mid wicket in the field on the deep backward square like boundary dan lawrence into ball to dodge dodge is driving mm. through cover for four yeah just over pitch there uh, by dan lawrence and uh, uh gimme by uh uh, uh shane dodge and he took it uh full and wide and Doris just lent on that one. It's a massive gap there, a massive gap in the covers on the offside there uh, to the right-handed batter, and he found it pretty easily. Yeah. Four runs, good start. Remember the last time that England were in the Caribbean, in 2019, Doris would have got some runs along with um, the then-captain, Jason Holder. He comes hmm. All of a sudden, a moment, yeah. things are happening, and you can tell Dan Lawrence is actually quite a quirky cricketer, isn't he? got these little these uh little unorthodox he's got an unorthodox nature uh not only uh batting but bowling as well you can tell by his action but the ball comes out he seems to be looking to give it quite a massive rip here and he's just causing a bit of uncertainty early in his spell here comes dan lawrence from the cion comes in now he's already picked up a wicket oh, which is up to oh. um the big man himself shane doris who's driving it square and there's a plan, there's a method to the madness of Joe Root's field place in here. And he knows that Dodge is going to look to play some shots. And, and so he's in, enticing him with that gap right there. Yeah, and he knows that uh, if Dan Lawrence can just get one to turn from a good area and open up Shane Dodge to hit through the offside, he can probably do him through, through the gate as well. So it's good captaincy. And England just looking to seize this little opportunity here. Uh, President's eleven just giving them a little sneak, a little look back in those wickets of, of Carty and Atenas, and they're looking to, 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 to press home their little advantage. Two slips, a short leg, short extra cover. This one is going to folks. I think it will be signal a buy, the delivery to Raymond Reefer. Yes, it is. And Nigel Dugit keeps walking in because it's the end of the over. 79 overs bowl. Dorish is 5, Reefer 78 from 141 deliveries. And Dan Lawrence is first over. He's picked up a wicket. Yeah, and he's uh, it's almost one of these uh, new age cricketers, you know. Young, confident, uh, not too overly, overly stressed about uh, technique in terms of uh, having the classical technique, whether it's batting or bowling, but uh, all about results. And uh, he's, 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 uh, he's reaped the benefit. Of, of the captain bringing him into the uh, <laughs> into the attack, picking up that wicket. Jet Blue has just flown out from the VC Bird International Airport, and Joe Root would want to send Raymond Reefer back into the hut. He's 78. This is a tricky period of play here for uh, this CWI President's 11 team. I think these will be the two last established players, two test players, in fact. Raymond Reefer would have played a test match against New Zealand. Seems like a long time ago. Mm. Shane Dorish, after an absence of almost 14 months, is back in contention. Around the wicket comes... Over the wicket, sorry. Comes Joe Root. He's hustling through these deliveries, man. That's, he's actually renowned for getting through his overs pretty quickly. He's, he's just turning and going, coming. You, you know, the grave when Reefer needs to slow him down, mm. make him wait. I can punch in that. Can't beat the field at short mid wicket. It's a short leg, a slip. Man under 45, mid on, mid off. Cover. Field on the backward point boundary, and we have a deep backward square leg feeler. Reefer comes quietly forward again. With getting in some ample overs. Good practice um, for him, because I think in this test series, he's going to have to bowl a couple of overs. I think he is. Uh, no real uh, top line spinner in this. Well, we yet to see what Matt Parkinson can do, actually. A bit surprised not to he, see him in this game. He's not in the conversation, I feel, though, but we'll wait mm. and see. Made over by Joe Root. But why would you say, why Why would you think he isn't in the conversation? Well, I think, I think based he's on the... He's probably leading the line to play, if you think about it. You think so? Yeah, if you look at the composition of this team, and then you think of the bowlers that haven't bowled. Think of the ones that haven't bowled, or the, the ones only that have one, been kept the, out. The only one who's going to, out of that lot, who's going to play is Mark Wood. Right. 
Ben Stokes. You haven't seen Ben Stokes. Yeah, yeah but Ben Stokes is is yeah, is, but is, yeah. he's not going to bowl. Like. Yes, but is it going to affect the combination of the team? Because if he doesn't bowl, that means they're going to have to play an extra bowler. No, if you see I, what I'm saying. But I think that without Ben Stokes, they're going to play four. They're going to play four fast bowlers, Mali. Right. And 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 the silver. But what crap. I'm trying to tell you is they're actually uh, uh, wrapping a few in cotton wool. Mark Woods, one of them, I think. Ben Stokes. Is, is is another in terms of his bowling because we we come here in the morning and at lunch as well in the intervals you see him bowling you know so he's pretty fit to bowl i think they just don't want him to get injured before that first test here comes dan lawrence as he comes in out to bowl to dorish dorish gets a full toss and clips this one away down to the boundary for four into the midwicket area and then also considering what we saw from jack leach out in australia and find it hard to believe that matt parkinson isn't in the reckoning or at least pushing him to to be the frontline spinner in this in this team you know well the, the, if jack leach continues and he picks up more wickets or maybe a four wickets there then he's in the conversation also mm, yeah and the, but i think the, the the england team would more england coaching staff as well would be, would be more looking at the performance you know looking at the revolutions looking at, at, at what what purchase he's actually getting off off the pitch here is darwish back Giving himself room and punching it out to the sweeper on the offside, picking up an easy single. Goes up to 10. And Reef has gone a little quiet. Yeah, um, just a little. Yeah, yeah and the loss of Carty and Alex Atenez. And Alex Atenez. But uh, what that also suggests as well, Vern, is this England team is also in a bit of transition, isn't it? Guys still trying to work out their roles and, and establish themselves at this level. Reef, because he's looking for 100. It's close shop, it's close ranks. Mm close the ranks and they've decided that you know game awareness i have a perfect opportunity to remind the selectors that i should be in the conversation even if i don't play i just need to be in the conversation but also putting some pressure on the, the, the present players who are in the west indies test team He's driving inside shot. out beautiful shot for four six in fact it's gone all the way for six blocked by the, the big post in front of me Gregory Bradford gets the long hands out. He's already 6'5", six 6'6". Six, six. And he's gone up even more. Lovely shot. As we look back on the, on the replay here, Dan Lawrence. It's the head, you know. It's the stillness of that head by Ray And the Rico. base. And that base, you know. Uh, getting the length. Uh, looking for that length and getting it. And just extending the, the, the arms through that delivery. Beautiful shot. Lawrence in now the ball to Reefa and Reefa is defending nicely. He's 84, he's 16 away from what would be a lovely 100. I mean, he has timed the ball quite sweetly, hasn't he? Especially when he's made up his mind to play these attacking strokes. Uh, he's, he hasn't second-guessed himself. You know, he's been solid and compact in defence, like I said, but uh, he's also um, showed a good array of, of, of strokes, both on the on and off sides. You know, when you hear me talk, Mali, about preparation, you know, you know, you know, people think like preparation is just only on the field. It's off the field also. How you rest your body. When I mean, you put down these cellular phones at night and go to sleep, <laughs> decide that you're going to shut that down. Rest and your eyes. Rest your eyes. Mm. You know, you, you can't tell people that you're resting and you're on your, <laughs> your, your WhatsApp and your I mean, the eyes are a muscle Facebook. too, I guess. Yes, you of know course. What I mean? It puts a strain. Mm. We had an exercise with Byron Andrew, who you know. Um, who owns iMobile here in Antique and Barbuda with our under, under 15s? And you'll be amazed, Mali, how some of the under 15 little boys were struggling at the time with their eyes. And when he had a conversation with them, as far as they're concerned, staying up two and three o'clock in the morning, they feel like they were resting. <laughs> we were in the bed. You know, we, was, we, we were lying now. But when they look at thing, they pick up their phone. You <laughs> uh, <laughs> say we're resting, but yeah. they're still up. They're still up. At two in the morning. Yeah. Scrolling to social Scroll media, media and they're like to twelve for five. I mean, it's just different. Target. It's just different. It's n it's neither. You know, you can't say one's better than the other. It's just a different time, mindset. Isn't it? Yeah, it's just different. And it depends on the people we have around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, you had a hidden watch, late hidden watch, and, mm. and, and company. Here is oh, oh, oh. That would have been a magnificent catch by Wokes. Only Wokes could have pulled that. In Stokesy. fact, Ben Stokes. Mm. I'm surprised he didn't catch it, to be I, honest. I am also surprised, too. And here was Darwish not even getting to the pitch of the ball, just going again. And I just find that all of the West Indians are getting extravagant and 
Going for these big shots, uh, no need for it. Mm, just bat. Stokesy almost pulling that one. Just bat, just bat. Back on the cross is, is Raymond Reefer. That everybody wants to get expansive, uh, you know. You, you just got to enjoy batting. That's what I keep telling you all the time, Mali. I'm concerned about the preparation. If you go to the nets and you want to blast away all of the balls, it's the same thing you feel like you're going to be happening in the it's game. Run away for a few. Here's a tickle around a the corner here. Just. And... Raymond Reefer gets uh, another two. Goes up to eight, 86. Yeah, and Darwin's not quite getting the elevation that he would have wanted, you know. Uh, he's come out looking quite aggressive here, hasn't he? Um, for him, but being, uh, what do you call that, a half chance? I think so. For Ben Stokes, I think he'd be pretty disappointed to get such a big hand on that one and for it and not and to and stick. And, and, and not be, mm. He almost looked like he wrong-footed himself mm. in, in trying to rebound to, mm. to get back. So at the time, he, he like you know he ended up in a locked position and he really didn't get the, the execution there. He quickly up, um, apologize. Um, but 2.15 for 5. Reefer is 86. Doris is 11. And the West Indies can't afford to get bowled out, Mali. No, I don't. Uh, uh, you're right. They can't afford to, whether they will or... Or not, that remains to be seen. But uh, Raymond Reef has gone along uh, pretty steadily here. You know, um, 86 of 100. And, he's on 86 here of 154. Uh, showing uh, a, a good uh, appetite for, for, for the fight. And looking to, to, to really put in a, a big performance here and bring up his three figures. I think I remember in the Super 50 Mali in 2021... Um, right here at Coolidge Ground. In fact, he was left not out of 90 yard. Do you remember that innings? We were, we were doing commentary. Again, too. I probably missed that game, actually. You might have missed that game mm. there. I think, yeah, I think he felt... No, did he get 100? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to that. Mm. We got Dan Lawrence continuing still? Yep. All right, let's see what he has up his sleeves. He comes in out to bow to Dorish. Dorish is back and across. When he gets there, he just models concentration of stopping it. And Lawrence is the kind of bowler. He's going to give you bad balls at times. Uh, but he, he also, uh, when he gets it right, he, he poses uh, problems for, for, for the batters as well. Or he can. Again, he's driving. Uh, can't score. So let's wait and see in terms of what is going to be happening. What we got up our sleeve here. Mali feels that you can't take your eyes off Dan Lawrence. No, I, I, yeah, you're right, you know, all around with bat and with ball and in the field as well. It's making Shane Dawish think. Shane Dawish has got to come quietly forward. You've got to respect good deliveries and you got to put away the bad ones. 215 for five. Dawish 11. The CWI president's 11 captain. And he's vastly experienced as well in Shane Dawish. 35 test matches uh, behind his belt. Dan Lawrence in now to bow to Dorish. And Dorish mm -hmm. is trapped mm -hmm. in front. He's out leg mm -hmm. before. Missed the length completely. Mm -hmm. That's what we were talking about, Mali. We knew it. You've got to be more circumspect. You know, you, you, you're too casual. You allow England to get right back into the game. You're a lot of movement. You get onto that front foot. And, and it there. And Lawrence, I mean, he's a bit of a maverick, you know. That's how he is. Quite confident. You could tell he's a confident guy. He believes in his ability. And you could tell, you know, at times when he gets it right, especially on this surface, uh, he, he poses a bit of a threat. And he's coming to the attack and he's managed to remove... Two uh, wickets. Two wickets, Alec Athenes. Um, two wickets. Yeah, two big wickets as well. And Shane Dorich and Alec Athenes, as we see Shamar Springer. Springer. Come, come into the wicket, the, the, the Barbadian bowling all around her. Oh, just shows you how partnerships, and you, know, you get a break, that's it. I mean, Raymond Reef is absolutely key here, isn't it? He's the difference between the CWI President's Eleven uh, being bowled out here this afternoon and not. Uh, he, he, he's going to have to bat uh, the, for the remainder of this day in order for this team, well... Who knows, they could probably attack from one end and he could be left not out on a red income. I mean, uh, but in terms of uh, how many they go on to score, he'll go a long way. Raymond Reef will go a long way in determining that. Ah, 
you know, keep talking, man, <laughs> uh, about certain things. You know, you you got to be as tight as possible. You know, you you you, you can't afford to to give away like that. And we have seen that variable bounce. You know, at times the other one just uh, shoots through quite low. And uh, that occasion, I think Devon Thomas uh, was one to succumb to that as well. And uh, uh, Shane Dorich on that occasion. So, all of a sudden, the game has changed around. Dan Lawrence has come into the attack, picked up Athens, caught folks, bowled Lawrence for 10. And now the, the CWI President's 11 captain, Shane Dorich, LBW. And you knew that once he didn't get a tickle onto that, mm. that the He's index in finger was coming up from the man himself, um, Gregory Bratwett, who has been excellent in this game here so far. Let me give some credit um, to the umpires. Because yeah, when they get it wrong, good, it's our game. responsibility to make sure that we tell them. He's had a good game, I must say. Shamar Springer comes out. And let's see what sort of approach he will take. I hope it's not an aggressive one. Because he can find himself in some trouble. Lawrence in now to bowl to Springer. Springer stands up straight. Sometimes as well, you know, Vern, you know, aggression is the best form of, of defense. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it just depends on, on that guy. I think it's on an individual basis and on guys who actually trust their games and are actually fully confident in what they're doing. It's that, it's that conviction is what's uh, key. Shaman Springer gets a delivery from Dan Lawrence. Not happy with that last one, Dan. No, he's Lawrence, not, and he's, he's maybe saying that you know Springer full. should have maybe put that one away. Yeah, it's a bit of a half volley there uh, from Dan Lawrence, uh, but Shamar Springer just easing into his innings. There's no rush here, really. So we've got a day and a bit left in this uh, in this warm-up fixture. Two fifteen for six, eighty-three overs bowl. President's eleven trail by some two hundred and fifty-one runs. Dan Lawrence has picked up two for sixteen from three overs so far, and Joe Root will be looking to wrap up this team so that the England team can get another bat yeah, um, to pick quite up easily. Yeah, you'll be looking to get in that wicket column, uh, Joseph Root. Quietly forward again. You could hear the Barmy Army the other day. Well, a small contingent here at the CCG when Root brought up his 50 with the Root. <laughs> From a West Indian perspective, you don't want to hear too much of that next week. Oh, but uh, Sir Vivian Richards Stadium, he would tell us that Joe Root is uh, probably on his way to a big score. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Come on, Rocha, Zari, Joseph, and Holder and company would have other ideas. Yeah, for Jayden sure. Seals. Mm. It's going to be interesting to see what the final West Indies 11 team would be, whether they will play a spinner, whether for Sammy Pomoy will play, or whether they will go for an all-out pace attack. I think he's going to have to, to be honest. He's an open face at the back being stared down to third man in the pick up a couple of runs. Reefer goes to 88 to 17 for six. I think he's going to have to, to be honest, right? So if he plays, means that we're going to play three genuine seamers in Roach, Joseph, and Seals. And that's the thing, he'll be between. Yeah, we'll play three and, and, and Jason Holder. Holder. Yeah. And the spinner. Remember, there's no rust and chase there this time. Which means really. That, which does that mean that Kyle Mears will have to bat at five? Uh, yeah, possibly. I think he's more suited to a number five position as well. But now. So so not only that so based chase. on based on your calculation um it would be campbell over completely there 84 overs ball 217 for six just having a discussion with mali mm. we face 88 from 160 deliveries spring and north from two so you'd have campbell brought to it mm. so who bought a tree for you um because you have brooks yeah um brooks. Well, well, well bonner brooks uh, we'll, we'll uh, about a tree bonner brooks um, and Kyle Mears. Kyle Mears, yeah. Brother Brooks, Kyle Mears, Joshua De Silva, the keeper. No, I'm batting holder ahead of Josh De Silva. No, I'm just saying Joshua De Silva, the keeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That, that's, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, but I was, the point I was making is Joshua De Silva will be the keeper. Maybe yeah. we spoke about holder already being in the bowling mm -hmm. in, in, in mm -hmm. line and mm -hmm. the bowling setup. Yeah, Josh De Silva, definitely. I mean, he's the only keeper picked in it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So, still some depth. And even in the batting, um, Azar Joseph has shown that he can bat nicely. Here's Shamar Springer. Beautiful shot to cover. And it's gone for four. Oh, is that Ali Robinson out there? Rob yeah, I wonder if he's injured himself. Yeah, he's struggling. Gone down. Seems oh. a slightly fragile lad, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. Let's, yeah. fi let's find out. He's, he has a big frame. Oh, no, that's Overton. It's no, Overton. that's Overton. Yeah, he's a big yeah, frame, so yeah, you, big you can guy. expect he's anything been out like there that. all day, actually. He's putting the hard yards here. Uh, Craig <coughs> Overton. I think the, the, his, his knee probably possibly just got stuck in the turf over there. It's good to see he's not uh, badly injured. Those could be nasty. In fact, they only got three, so he, did he save that? Yes, it looked like he saved that. So Springer not getting a boundary got three because Overton looked like he would have saved that from a distance. He looked like he hit the rope. Yeah. Lawrence in now to bowl to Reefer. Reefer is out onto that front foot. And that's another thing, Mali, that I, I find with some of the West Indian batters. They don't like to get on the front foot, so they just walk across the crease all the time, always playing a cat and mouse game there. You've got to get that stride out. Especially on tracks like these. And if you notice, Raymond Reefa hasn't had that problem. Because of his technique, it's, 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 he leads with his head. And it's the head that's leading uh, the feet. It's very easy to, to, yes, push that front foot out. But if the head's still behind, it's almost pointless. So uh, he's, 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 his technique's pretty uncomplicated. And it's working for him. 220 for 6. He's on 88 here. I in 100. And we look around, he would know that he has at least another 15 minutes before tea. If he can, he's in no hurry. He can walk 12 singles. If That's how good to. the ball in his ear. If he wants to. But he's, he's played each ball on his merit, which is good to see. Kenny picking up the lead there, staying very low to the ball, especially to the spinner. With that stride as well, though. Yes. You yeah. know, and that Getting head, up. he's consistently had that head in, 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 in a good position. That good position being uh, just over the stumps, looking at the direction in which that bowler is, is, is coming from. Slightly open, but uh, he keeps his movements pretty short, sharp and compact. Lawrence has bowled some four overs. Yeah, no maidens, two for 19. A very important piece of the puzzle. And he's now looking to make a stick that claim for that number four England spot. And he now brings a, a, a added Probably feature. Probably penciled in, yeah, with the bowling as well. With the bowling. Yeah. Probably penciled in. He's been he's been uh, a member of quite a few touring sides, you know. Um, he's had his opportunity here and there. He's actually performed quite well at times as well. So uh, looking for more of a sustained run in this England team, I think. Good to Springer. Springer is nice straight back, punching it up to mid off. Ben Stokes at mid on. Just thinking about it. At one point in time. There's major talk of him maybe becoming England captain. But ben maybe has worked out that being England captain is like the <laughs> Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. <laughs> he wants his own free reign <laughs> so he can enjoy himself. And Joe Root, like I said, has been pretty much very liked um, England captain. And as you said, normally folks don't survive the Ashes tour. So if he loses 3 0 in the caravan, they could be coming for his head. Mm, I think they wanted to come for his head already, to be honest. But uh, no real viable options. With, with Ben Stokes not really looking to take up that mantle of, of test captain. Uh, and maybe at this time, mm. the transition period maybe be important to still keep root. Mm. Here is Springer well, back and just punching that out to the sweeper on the offside. Please. But a viable candidate would be very important. In fact. Let's say, for argument's sake, that Joe Root gets an injury. Ben Stokes would have to step up as, yeah. as, as England captain. Uh, yeah, for sure. And uh, I think Root gets criticised quite a lot for his uh, conservative captaincy. Uh, quite defensive. Boy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> at times not really <laughs> but, grasping but opportunities to be attacking. <laughs> you know, um, He's a Yorkshire boy. Yeah, but the Yorkshire boys also are. <laughs> I mean, you have your Jeff Boycotts, but you also have the ones that are quite gritty. And quite aggressive and looking to get results. And I think at times Ben Stokes has just uh, been a little too defensive, uh, hasn't really taken control and shown that leadership, you know, in terms of dictating uh, to 
his bowlers and I think a lot of that is the reasons why I think those are some of the reasons why we're not seeing or we are not going to see uh, James Anderson and Stuart Rod in this series well the, 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 let's, let's look at a Vera Coley and, and, and a Joe Root the, the, the passion you know Joe Root is, the, is the, the sort of the cooler calmer captain he's like a sort of Michael Atherton approach you know he just walks gladly does his thing you then have a, the a, in your a, face yeah, brush. A Virat Kohli who, yeah. who's, who's passionate and coming at you. Right. I think that's what most of the, that's what you see in a Ben Stokes. Mm. A ben Stokes is uh, aggressive, you know, he's always coming. Owen Morgan and, and Joe Root are in the, the similar fate. Um, don't talk much. You know, uh, yeah. They just go about their own little actions. But the results vary, don't they? And they do? I think a lot of it has to do with the weapons that a lot of these captains can call on. You think of Kohli in India. He's developed that test side, whether mm. we liked it or not. Mm. Uh, and just, the fast bowlers. Yeah, and, uh, it's just unfortunate the way he was treated, you know, political reasons. But I mean, uh, I think Virat will also think that, you know, there are times when he himself could have behaved even better or shown a little bit more humility as well. So I think it goes both ways. But sometimes you need individuals like that in the game, man. Yeah, but sometimes mm. he has stepped over the mark as well. Well, say that. He's, we he's like his aggression, from, but not over from, when he crosses the line. From us looking at it, but he's, he's, he's never, no, no one has really challenged him to be able to say that you, you, you brought him back in line. Um, you know, so yeah, and that's the thing. Yes. And that's the thing. When, when that kind of power <laughs> is unchallenged, challenge, yes. you get these sort of things. Here is a, another delivery defended by Raymond Reefer. And also when one loses that power, you know, you see certain things starting to happen that you probably think wouldn't have happened if, if they still had that power. power. So it goes both ways. <coughs> so 22 for 6. Reefer on drive in. He'll get a couple of runs here quite easily. He's going to come back for the second run because Springer is fast. And they're crossing mid-pitch right now. Reefer goes to 90 from 169 deliveries. I'm a century here. And trust me, but you he could, gets that. You could tell you that. Give him a, a yeah, pillar's natural. For sure. Energy bar. For sure, man. Uh, one of the pillars. I tell you, I need a stake in that uh, or some part of that deal. <laughs> 24 for 6. 87 overs. We're putting the 87th over. And Dan Lawrence has been the, the trick boy for the England team. Comes in out the ball to um, the wild card back and shot. Ash is that trick over for 4. What a shot by the young man. He stayed late. He stayed low. Stayed down. But a solid base. That's how you play spin bowling. Because it's going to come down. And he crested it on this fast outfield here. It raced across the ground. And what a shot you know, by Raymond Reaver. You know the late great Hayden Walsh uh, senior. He would be bellowing oh, shot. Gosh, you. He must be in heaven looking down and smiling and you at know, that. Uh, 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 he was a guy that loved a cut shot as oh, well. He did. And uh, Raymond Reaver, open yeah. Open face. Open face. face and just guided right down. It, yeah. Yes. Lawrence in out the boat to Reaver. Reaver comes quietly forward. He's batted well. He's an underrated player, and I don't think he's I got think the so. credit I think that he really that deserves. Slightly. Raymond Reefer at the stage, England with 241 for four. But it's all about uh, that determination and that persistence. You know, um, maybe people may not recognize these qualities about you, but the more you hammer home, the more you hammer home these performances, you know, the people will come to the realization of the kind of player that you are. But the consistency is the key, Vern, isn't it? We Very need. consistent. Yeah. But, you know, I, uh, yesterday I explained to you, Mali, and I, was, I showed you the figures of the professional setup in terms of how many centuries we have. And, you know, we, we score a lot of half centuries. It's easy to come out and get a half century. And I keep telling you all the time, I think that part of the issue we have in is the coaching. Um, sometimes I look at some players and you could tell that there's not a lot of work going in to their own personal development of their game. Mm. Sylvester and myself was on and we were talking about how many Caribbean batsmen sweep. You know, you know, even, and that that's a major concern with all of the spin bowling that are taking place. You, you want to see, even in Casey Carty, you can think of quite a few deliveries that he missed out on uh, quite a few runs. You know, he probably could have been on 70 or 80 if he had just uh, uh, managed to, to, to play the conventional sweep and and the lap because uh, with the line of attack that England were employing to him, especially Jack Leach, the shot was on. Leach in out the ball to Springer. And Springer back and across, coming in nicely. Fancies himself as a batting all-rounder, Shamar Springer. But I think England also knew 
that he was in a massive sweep and he could tell with the way the fields were set uh, there was no real protection uh, behind square or even on the short 4-5 here is a flutter faster ball something Mali been talking about that leech no one again always produces mm. just with no real open. visible difference yes subtle subtle chain subtle chain 228 for six here goes Jack Leach goes past umpire Nigel Dugid he's in now to boat to Chama Springer Springer comes quietly forward and when he gets there smothering that his, his top hand if you're listening to live ball by ball radio coverage on Platinum FM 97.9 and the quick hit West Indies YouTube channel thank you very much for tuning in to Mali Richards Sylvester Joseph Denmore Roberts and myself we're very much pleased to bring that to you England chirping away here 228 for six the West Indies need to bat all day they oh. can't be thinking about and a bit more and a bit more mm, at least the lunch tomorrow <laughs> here is a good positive shot back and punching that out to cover getting an easy single you want to see uh, from a West Indian perspective these English bowlers coming back for fourth and fifth spells you know in this match you tell you that they've uh, they've really had to put in the hard yards don't make it quite as easy uh, for these guys you make them have to really work hard the focus is on the man the man of the moment Raymond Weaver England have got a slip a short leg a short midwicket man under 45 a midwicket long on Joe Root has come back to long on and on the offside um, a cover, backward point, mid-off. Reefa comes back at the cross and just turns this to the short mid good feeler. Over completed. 88 overs bowled. And 229 for 6. Chamar Springer is 6. Reefa is 94 from 172 deliveries. That's the latest score here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground. It's the Apex warm-up game. Practice game. England looking to bowl out the West Indies so that they can bat again. But the West Indies should have other options. They should be thinking about shutting out England. Wickets fell at 34, 2 for 44, 3 for 48, 4 for 166, 5 for 194, 6 for 214. Extras at 12, 88 overs ball here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground, the home of Cricket West Indies. And uh, the good thing about Reef is he's managed to find a good tempo uh, to his batting in this innings. He's in 100, and if he gets there, it will be a certainly deserving hundred and it will be a statement that he is sent and sent very quickly we wait for a while Jarut has switched himself around now so he's gone from the media center end to the CIU end Dan Lawrence has done his job and as Mali said maybe he's warming up and practicing knowing that he's gonna have to bowl a lot mm. in this Richards bottom test series here is Springer. Oh. To get out. He missed a straight one. He's out like before. He missed a straight delivery. He was in no position to sweep that one. And that's the issue there in terms of the length. He didn't get down long enough. Um, let's look at it, Mali. And you tell me. Springer goes. Leg before to root. He's a tall guy. He's dead. I don't know. I'm not so sure. It hit him between wicket and wicket. It probably did. Well, I need to from, see our, it again. From, from, from our advantage. We're not point. quite behind, so I can't no, tell. To tell yeah. But I'm but looking at the replay, and I just missed the ball. I don't know. You thought he would have been he looks disappointed, didn't he? But I don't think he got right out. Right, um, right. Um, to the ball. So, England at T. Mm. On top here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground. The West Indies President's soft. 11. Soft dismissal. 229 for 7. Who is staying with Raymond Weaver? You've done all the hard work. And you get out that way. You can't. Somebody can't have you in the field for a day and a half, and you get out that way. You just come to the crease as well. You know, we talk about the cross batted strokes. Well, you've even got, Shane Dawes, you've also got to pick the right ones, and that's yeah. the difference. You know, these guys. Uh, you think of Joe Root, how how quickly he picked up the line of those deliveries that he decided to to, to sweep and to lap. You know, you've just got to to make the right decisions. So at tea time here, eh? Hey. Hey. President's 11 Cricket West Indies team are in trouble. And when I tell you trouble, real trouble, um, they are facing where they maybe will have to go and bowl this afternoon unless a miracle really happens. Yeah, 229 for 7, 88.2 overs. And really not good at all 
in terms of the performance. Uh, outstanding partnership yeah, between Carti and Reefer. And when that was broken, the whole floodgates were opened. So I mean, if you think about it, Vern, uh, the Salazano dismissal could have been avoided. The Mosley dismissal definitely could have been avoided. Casey Carti's dismissal definitely could have been avoided. Ali Cartanez, good bowling. Uh, Shane Dorich, a little unlucky, good bowling. But uh, quite a few of these wickets uh, that have fallen here. We're gifted. Yeah, we're gifted to the England team. So for the folks who've just tuned in, just to let you know that England earlier on day one, day two, declared the innings for 66 for six, declared 145 overs. Johnny Bairstow, 106, 158 balls, 254 minutes, 13 boundaries, and 1-6. He showed the art of batsmanship. And that was quickly followed by Dan Lawrence, who scored 83. And then another half century from Alex Lees. Zach Crawley, 62. And the England captain, Joe Wood, 54. Even Chris Wilkes chipped in with 49, not out. And um, Ben Fox scored 25. And Ben Stokes, 11. For the West Indies, it was Brian Charles, 48 overs, 10 maidens, 143 runs with three wickets. And Sherman Lewis, who's played some two test matches for the West Indies. Already before, 22 overs, two maidens, 75 runs, two wickets. Um, those were the folks along with Colin Archibald from Nevis and the Leeward Islands. 18 overs, 2 made in 67 runs, 1 wicket. Then it was the turn of the West Indies. At T, 229 for 7. It seemed like a, a long time ago. Solanzo, run out for 17. Shane Mosley, bowl Jack Leash for 20 on day, day 2. Casey Carty, today he was bowl Jack Leach for 57. 164 balls, 223 minutes. Seven boundaries. Devon Thomas, he was caught napping on the crease. Didn't get the stride out. LBW to Ollie Robinson, who eventually went off the field for one. 26 balls, 26 minutes. Alex Atenis caught wiki keeper uh, Ben Folks off Dan Lawrence for 10. That started the slide. Shane Dorish came in. He was dropped um, by, by Ben Stokes. And in the end, he succumbed to a straight to one from Dan Lawrence, which he misjudged. He was LBW for 11. Shamar Springer. Sweeping too early. He maybe needs to get a broom and learn how to sweep length. He was LBW to Joe Root for six. But the man of the moment, the man who has changed the entire game here so far and is standing alone, Raymond Reefer. 94 not out, 167 balls, 227 minutes, 13 spanking boundaries, and two maximums have been built in. Beauty. The bowling lineup for England. Dan Lawrence, 5 overs, 1 maiden, 26 runs, 2 wickets. Then we have Jack Leach, 27 overs, 9 maidens, 62 runs, 2 wickets. The other wicket takers have been Joe Root, 8.3 overs, 2 maidens, 10 runs, um, 1 wicket. And then we're going to go down now with the other wicket taker, Ollie Robinson. Um, 9.3 overs, 4 maidens, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Chris Wilkes, wicketless, 14 overs, 4 maidens, 38 runs, no wickets. Craig Overton, 13 overs, 4 maidens, 23 runs, no wickets. And Saeed Mahmood, 7.3 overs, no maidens, 26 runs, no wicket. The West Indies have lost wickets 1 for 34, 2 for 44, 3 for 48, 4 for 166, 5 for 194, 2, 6 for 214, 7 for 228. At T, the, in the Apex Test Series warm up game, at the T break, the Cricket West Indies President is 11, 2 20. Joseph and Molly Richards. We take a break and when we come back at 3 o'clock.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the Coolidge Cricket Ground, the home of Cricket West Indies. It's the end of the tea break and it's the APEC Test Series warm-up. The CWI President's Eleven against England. The President's Eleven, 229 for 6. And I say good afternoon to Sylvester Joseph. Sylvester, the West Indies team on the brink of getting bowled out, but I hope that that won't happen before Raymond Reefer gets 100. Yeah, good afternoon again, uh, and I hope so too, Springs, especially the way that he has, you know, he came in and batted with such authority and, you know, he looks like a batsman who really, really wants to, wants to um, uh, get a big, big total and hopefully that the remaining batters can support him. Um, when I when I left, we were in a good, good, good stead and um, now that I came, I am back, the, the score is what, 229 for 7. Um, we could start here by Joe Root again now. Uh, Colin Archibald is a new batter. We know him in the Leeward Islands. He's a capable lower 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 order batter, and it's important that you know he give the support to 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 Reefer as much as possible, especially to let him get over that 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 um that chief figure mark. Yes, I think it's well deserved. Uh, Joe Root, a uh, very capable. Sp- Spinner, uh, some may think that he can uh, play in, a, in in the team as a as an off spinner. Uh, he has a knack for taking, picking up picking up vital wickets. Very consistent. He turns the ball a little bit and a very smart, smart, smart um, bowler. Because well, because he Archibald, uh, Colin Archibald, he's off the mark. Nice little uh, square drive. And pick up an, an easy single. And he, he, he nicked back the striker uh, from 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 Rifa. Now I think Rifa, you know, will assess the situation in terms of uh, the remaining batters and, and and try to get to that that chief figure as soon as possible. He won't be won't want to take any chance, you know, especially if another wicket goes down anytime soon. Thank you very much, Sylvester. Just had to take that quick call there. England taking the new ball. And Conan Archibald is a decent cricketer. Mm. Um, so he can handle himself. I think um, Raymond Reefer will trust him. So he just has to reapply himself. But I know you weren't here, Sylvester. But that I just thought that after the Casey Cardi got out, um, nobody really looked at like They decided that they were going to consolidate and get themselves out without him. Dawish. Looked like he came out and was in a hurry um, to get some quick runs rather than saying, listen, we have to bat England out of the game. I can't be thinking about going to field again this afternoon after you're battling for almost a day and a half. Yeah, and it's only um, important upon them for to 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 support uh, Raymond Weefer. He has been there, the, 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 strong, the strong hole, I must say, for, for the, the President's eleven team. He looks, he looks in real impressive touch. Oh my golly. So here is the first delivery pitched up by Chris Wilkes and Archibald driving, getting an inside edge. Lucky not to have got a French cut and it raced down to the final boundary for four. And for a moment, Sylvester thought that he'd gone through. Yeah, that his exactly. castle was rattled. <laughs> he said, Oh my golly. His, 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 his right foot. His right foot was, was nowhere, nowhere close, close to the, to the pitch. pitch of the ball. Yeah. Nowhere close to the pitch of the ball. I think Andrew Mason has to put a trademark on Oh My Golly. Yeah, you reckon? <laughs> that is um, his trademark. Um, yeah, he has to brand that. Brand that. Yeah. He has to get that yeah, branded. <laughs> so good afternoon to Andrew. Mm. And Keith hold on those guys. <clears throat> I think Archibald will have to understand, rather than pushing, you just have to wait, play the ball a little bit more from under your eyes. Mm. And he almost came back as a, as a, a ball on court. Aoife is coming down and just saying to him, take it easy, just stay with me. Can't afford to lose you. 234 for 7. And the CWI President's 11 uh, in almost a dying position to get bowled out. They might have to bowl this evening. Mm-hmm. Here comes Wilkes. As he comes in out to bowl to Colin Archibald. And Colin Archibald fishes as a wide one. Just need to leave that. Gotta pick the line up. Knows that it's going to cross you. It's not going to be able to bring it back. England taking the Second new ball, and very quickly. And he wants to have another nap this afternoon. Oh yes, <laughs> they want to battle all day tomorrow too. 
send the West Indies team mm. as the objective. Um, people like Ben Stokes get a, a, a knock and spend some time at the crease. Johnny Best most likely we won't see him in the second half. Positive drive there from Archibald, but he can't go past Wokes. 234 for 7. You reckon Johnny's going to have another knock in the second innings? Well, I think there'll be maybe more. Um, who didn't get any runs? Ben Stokes didn't get any. Um, ben Folks only got um, 25. Um, so they might look again. You know, they want to see maybe they look along once again, see how he shapes up. Mm. Yeah, because Chris walks in now to ball to Archibald, and Archibald is clipping this one beautifully over square leg. Uh, it'll have the legs to run away. Will it hit the ropes? Uh, touch and go. Beautiful save indeed. And they're uh, ball watching. They come back quite easily for three. That's a magnificent effort there um, from the feeler. We can't pick up. That look like Jack Leach. So, just like a scoop. I was just looking back at the replay there. Colin Archibald, he just scooped it up. Really could have gone with it. Mm. And the new ball, that's a magnificent save there. That's what you're talking about, effort. And the score, Archibald goes to 8 to 37 for 7. Reba Smith and Patterson Fleming. Over there, Nevis. What about Sunshine? Killer by the beach there. You go to Nevis. You ever had a killer beach in Sylvester? No. I never tried you it. Never? I, I never tried it. Oh, you, oh, well, tell me that. Yeah. Tell me you never tried it. I never tried you mean it. You I, know about, you, I know about you. You were scared? Sunshine. Sunshine you, you, was, you, my, is my, is my, was my good friend. I don't know if he remembers me. But no, of course. He, he, <laughs> Sunshine always remembers everybody. Hey, Sunshine. Um, I've been going to Sunshine since I was a, a kid. Hmm. So, you know, it's good to see that Sunshine is still uh, up and running and, you know, his, his killer bee now is a, 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 a worldwide name. A lot of tourists come from all over the world to, to check out Sunshine over there in Nevis. A beautiful little country. Uh, a four-season hotel. I heard they have a golf course over there that I want to go and check out. That nice golf course. Maybe myself and Desi can go and play some golf sometime. <laughs> so we back with the cricket action. Overturn ball in a wide delivery um, to Colin Archibald, who's wearing a big number, number one, 237 for seven. Mm. I was saying, I was saying that um, the Four Seasons Hotel over in, in Nevis. Beautiful place. Well, and, uh, beautiful. and they've upgraded now, Sylvester, from since you last were there. Mm. They've redecorated I, the room. I have never been on the golf course. I was saying myself and Desi can go have a, a round. Oh. <laughs> I'll organize a charter. I'll have the, uh, uh, I can organize that for you guys, but there's so many things happening. You know, you got to be careful. Because <laughs> there's golf on Sunday, right? Mm. Yeah, I think they have something on Sunday. Yeah, they have yeah. some cool uh, 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 president. Uh, 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 Saturday, some, what is it? Saturday Sun or so? Sunday? Sunday, cool. Okay. Something so maybe Sunday. we can fly you guys over on Saturday. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so you can get yourself organized. Mm. Jesse can, I'm busy Jesse. this weekend. You're busy this weekend, or yeah. you got cricket. <laughs> I can't leave my team to to play. Here comes Overton in out the ball to Archibald. Archibald is hit in front just for a moment. Mm. They were going up and then they changed their mind and realized that he got back on the ball. Mm. Guess Colin Archibald is going to have to get that stride out. I know he's a new ball, but you've got to stay low. The way how um, Archibald is looking, if I if I was in the, the situation with Reefa, I, I definitely would would starve him some of the strike uh, before um, I get to that, that century. After I get to that century, maybe I will... Expose him? Expose him a bit, but uh, he's not looking too confident at the moment. Well, it's a new ball. He certainly showed confidence there. Mm. And you know, sometimes, you know, as an all-rounder, you maybe might not have faced a, a, a new ball practice. You'll be the one who'll be using the new ball, so you really will not have had like a Gavin Tong and a Hamish Anthony and company running in and, and giving you some some chats and some bumpers, you know what I mean? So, this will be an eye-opener here for Colin Archibald. Well, he's getting, he's getting a taste of his own medicine. Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> Overton starts. Craig Overton goes past the big umpire. And mm. he's dropping in front there. Like a soft hand, so he really didn't carry it. Didn't have much. And this week it really has not had a lot of pace on it there. But that one was going across him. Squared him up. Yeah. And you would definitely say he played with soft hands. Reefer is trusting his partner, his bowling partner in Colin Archibald. 
CWI President's 11, 237 for 7, reefer on 94 from 173 deliveries. We know how well he's looked so far. Fine player. Overton is going to bowl to the young Colin Archibald. Emerging, he gets a short ball, but he doesn't come up. And he just stylishly stays on it. He's from Brownhill. And he poses for a little while to say, not today. Mm. 237 for 7. 91 overs bowl. The second um, over of the second new ball. And we'll wait and see what's going to be happening. Archibald is a capable, a very capable player, a batsman, and you know it's important that he he tries uh, and stays there as long as possible with with Reefer, and they can you know build a, a a sensible partnership again, and you know allow the the, the English players to be in the sun the sun some more. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be the other way around. Mm. You never know. You never know. Archibald might surprise me. Reefer waits for walks into bow to him down the onside just for a moment they thought that he got a tickle onto it but he missed everything and folks coming across nicely picked this one up it's always difficult to control your swing with the new ball um you know Ali robinson we saw he struggled he was all over the place you know he bowled around he bowled over you know he had some challenges getting himself sorted these, out these guys shouldn't have any problem these guys are bowling in this condition uh, in, in swinging conditions all it, their lives yeah but when you come to the cabin it's still a different to be able to get it control mm. you know in england you could just put it there sylvester and he just does anything um good single there yeah, good positive single archibald was caught napping but because he's an athlete he had to get onto his bike very quickly and Raymond Reefer trying to make sure that he shows a level of confidence in Archibald and he took the single. Sylvester said he don't think he would have taken that one. No, that is a, a great level of confidence after you after uh, standing on the other end and see see seeing what happened with he trusts, his, he trusts his partner, he's a uh, bowling partner. Uh, well, you know people him, hunting players, right? For him that's it that's his that's his choice. But he, if it was me, he, I, I would I would you wouldn't be taking that one. <laughs> not not uh, if it's a situation where I don't have a choice but I'm not convinced. Archibald having a go at a short delivery there. He's gonna, he's gonna hold out. Don't worry, Sylvester. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna lift it. He's gonna lift himself I you, up. I see you have a lot of, of faith in him as well. I do. <laughs> I, I certainly do. Uh, I have faith in him. I don't, don't get me wrong. No, I never. What I I'm never seeing, did say it from what you've seen, I understand. You I understand your situation. Now. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said to you, I gave you my my reason. You know, he just has to adjust. And what is what is really special here is that Raymond Reefer is backing him mm. to support him so that's good Wilkes comes in to bowl to Archibald in to bowl to Archibald as we're driving beautiful shot uh, punching that down the ground can't go past Wilkes he remains on 8 from 15 we from 95 from 175 and the count run rate is 2.60 we're not worrying about the run rate right now mm -mm. what we're worrying about is Archibald and Reefer batting until closer play that's what we want that would be beautiful for the CWI President's 11, remember to go and get your tickets for the Botum, in, the, in fact, the Richards Botum Apex Test Series. First test, start Tuesday, March 8. And Archibald was thinking about something, but he was so wide that he could have just left that. No need for him to follow that. His, 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 his right foot was outside the, the leg stump. Yes, because he's looking for <laughs> that. Like, yeah, you see, we've, we've, we've spotted something and, you know, call him down, let him know, look. We have a job here to do. We just stay focused. Yeah, got to remain. You got to get tight. Mm. I think times like these is when he has to trust his defense mm. because Wilkes is going to be, he's going to get a short ball or he's going to make sure he's going to try and rough him up. Wilkes comes into ball to Archibald with two slips behind him in out the ball to him and oh. he's driving beautifully up to cover. Can't score. The end of the over. So, um, pretty good over there in the end. Archibald survives. Mm, He's eight a, from eighteen, two thirty-eight for seven, ninety-two overs bowled. That was a that was a positive shot. A confident. He can bat. Yeah, with that shot, I mean, we got uh, a few a few iffy ones in between. I just think maybe Reefer should, you know, just 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 take a, a bit more of the strike now until you know he settles down. Yeah, I think if after he settles down, it will be a, a much better. So good afternoon to Pastor Ron Daniel. We'll be following this cricket very, very, very closely. 238 for 7. Reefer is 95. He waits for...
for Overton, who comes in out of bowl to him, and he comes quietly forward. The thing about Reefer, um, Sylvester, he's got a little flip in his legs, um, and so he stays low to the ball, and he's not straight up in that position. He keeps moving around, and he plays the ball as late as possible. And that's the hallmark of, of a good batsman. Mm. Knows where his off stump is, and he knows, knows his limitations. Yeah. Anything square? He knows his game. He's, he's going to beat yeah, you. He knows his game. And, and in front of him, he's a big, strong lad. And Overton he, comes in out to bowl to Reefer. Reefer is back and across. And he gets there. He just stops it. England starting with two slips, a gully, a cover. Made off very close. There's no one else sweeping on the offside. They're playing a little half game here also. Short mid-wicket, square leg. Just maybe just five meters away from Nigel Duguid on the right-hand side back. Feel it down on the long leg boundary. Overton. He's maybe about 6'5". Big tall guy. Ambling in to bowl to Joe, to Reefer. Reefer's mm. driving graciously for four. That's a beautiful shot, son. Mm. That was lovely. Stayed low to the ball and he just crossed it. Um, to cover. There was no sweeper. The ball ran away for four. He's 99, Raymond Reefer. This is going to be a big hundred. He'll remember this for a long time. I can't wait to see his emotions. Um, Raymond Reefer. Heiss is 108. And what is going on? 100 to Reefer. Squeezes his one. Down to the third man boundary. What a knock by Raymond Reefer. He's demonstrated. This is going to be one of the best hundreds that he would have scored. What a knock by the young man. That is a brilliant innings. 103 of 179 deliveries. And just opening the face of the bat. Really just playing nice soft hands. And staying it down to the vacant third man boundary. And what a hundred by the young man. He really deserves it, Sylvester. Yeah, he definitely deserves it. And this is the way that you, you answer the call and let the... The selectors and let the whole Caribbean know that uh, I'm on I'm, I'm on a mission. Um, we're looking for you know top order batsmen, and I'm 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 presenting myself, and this is exactly what you do. A century against the, the test attack. You He's know. just working this one onto the onside. Square leg feeder coming around and quickly communicating to Archibald to say no, mm. no need for that. A chanceless one at the time we call chanceless, mm. chanceless, and he showed the art of batsmanship both to spin and to the to, to the to the pace attack and he didn't take his eyes off of them he kept looking up the v yeah that's imp that's that i think is the most important thing you know he keep hitting the ball in front of him as much as possible it was an exquisite cover drive here i comes, think the last one was the best swings here comes over to an in out the ball to reefer he just comes quietly forward and sneaks a single into the cover area and we'll be mentioning to get the strike over completed so Good positive cricket, 247 for 7 I'm alongside Sylvester Bounce and Joseph, and he will give me his own thoughts on that 100. Yeah, just the command, yeah, from ever since he, he came in, you know, we had our doubts how, you know, how, you know, he was coming in before. Um, Athenas. Athenas. But he has shown that not only, you know, in his stroke play, but his mannerism and the way how he, you know, he marshaled the, the partnership with, with, with Casey and how he was. Um, excited when Casey got to his half century. So this is a team man, you know, by his reputation. He's by, always a team man. Yeah, he's always a team and man. He's, and he's, he's, he's a exhibit. Yeah. The, 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 that, that positivity. He's always a team man. Mm. He's driving again to cover. Who's coming across there? It's the big Ben Stokes diving away. And mid off. Firing back a return um, to Rooks. Reefer, 103 off 175 balls, 244 minutes, 15 boundaries in two sixes. He's now gone up to 105. What a lovely knock by the young man. He'll remember this 100 for a very long time. His first class score is 108. And so, looks like he's all set to get uh, more than 108 here today. Well, he, he looks like he's batting on a different, a different pitch than, than, than everyone else. I guess himself and, and, and Johnny Burstow. Casey <laughs> Kelty must be <laughs> kicking himself knowing that mm. if I just stayed there, I mean, with Reefer, I could be registering three figures. Well, that's history. 
he will know that the next opportunity that he gets gotta make it count they don't come often especially you know when you you have limited practice games coming up mm. you know you want to make sure that you make a statement just to remind the selectors short mm. ball and actually <laughs> <laughs> was thinking about it didn't really bounce as as, as as much as he would like uh, let me tell you the way how he played that the, the way we play that shot, boy, he's going to get a few more. He's going to get some more. <laughs> you think he's going to be peppered? <laughs> yeah. I know I would pepper him a bit from the way he played that one. <laughs> Works for sure is that kind of individual, so he's mm. going to be coming at him. Oh. Stands up straight and plays that nicely. There's no pace in this wicket here, Sylvester. Would you agree? Yeah, totally. Um, I think. No gas, no gas, no gas, no gas, no gas. Mm. Are you surprised I haven't seen Stokes? No, I think they 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 reserving Stokes. Um, and that's just my view. Can he has he, 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 during the Ashes he had a, a side strain. Yes, or yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> You gotta keep his eyes on the ball. Yeah, when he, when he, when he, 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 as soon as he, you know, you gotta keep watching the ball all the way. Mm. Works just having a little chat with him to say, "You're lucky this doesn't have more pace. It'll be coming at you." They, they, they're gonna get, they're gonna get um, someone in that can get it up. I think maybe Mam or even Mahmoud. Mahmoud might, might, might be coming in uh, or, or Fletcher. I believe uh, the way we were. Um, Archibald is playing those short balls. Yes, it's stand up, stand up swings. Stand up, stand up mm. on bat. Two slips now come down to one. We have catching walks into ball to we for full toss and try to bluff him. We <coughs> for read that quite quickly. End of another over. 249 for 794 was bowl with 105 archibald nine yeah and the partnership is building and you know, the partnership is uh, 20. uh it doesn't look slow but it's it's, it's creeping up to that dan danger zone and they just have to keep going i think archibald he has to keep his eyes on the ball you know keep his eyes on the price and just continue to be very supportive um and stay with reefer and he will he will get a few ones if he if he if he do that you know and he just have to stay stay positive keep his eyes on the ball most importantly 249 for seven archibald nine reefer 105 archibald is facing and as sylvester said he thinks that he's gonna get a little bit more pepper 15 overs for overton five minutes and 32 runs no wickets he's in out the boat to archibald Ooh. archibald is oh. making dropped at second slip that would have been a superman catch Jout. Going with his right hand to pull that one out of the air. That's and what they call it. It's, no. Joel, 66. 56. No, sorry, 56. Sorry. How he didn't pull that one out yeah. of the air? And I when think, he landed. Yeah, I think the ball was a bit slower than probably he anticipated. Because the ball, like, he hit the toe. Uh, toe end of the bat? The toe end of the bat. So, I think... Archibald is on 10. Sylvester feels that he's going to get a couple more short balls. Mm. He might look to maybe bring in Mahmoud. Overton comes in now to bowl to Reefer. Reefer is just turning this onto the leg side area. Square leg coming around. Can't stop the single. And Reefer goes up to 106. Archibald comes back into strike. 10 from 23. And Reefer is not going to shield him. No. For what? So he has to stand up and, and he's fight. Got, he's, he's got, this is how he learns. Yeah. Can't learn in the pavilion. You, mm. you, you learn on game day. Mm. He just had to get himself in position. Just got uh, to keep, he has to keep uh, watching the ball a lot longer. Yeah. Jack Leach is warming up, so maybe he might come in and bowl a couple with the new ball. Here's Archibald on driving beautifully. That's a lovely cricket shot there. Mm. He's quite capable. Got some faith in him. 250 up, 251 for 7. Archibald is 10. Uh, those are the ones that he likes, you know. He, he doesn't Into that like era it, there. He, yeah, he doesn't like it when it when it when it's closer to the boulder. <coughs> <laughs> he likes it when it when it's a bit fuller. The fast bowler is never like anybody to bowl them short. You know, you have some you have some fast bowler who like it. Yeah. Who likes you it? You tell me who like like who Sylvester that you know about. 
Uh, I'll give you some time to think about it. Mm. Here's Archibald driving in the air. It's gone over wide long on and it's gone all one it's gone all the way for six. Wow. That's you didn't see that coming, right? That's where he likes it. That's where he likes it. He likes it goes to He goes to sixteen and the score goes to two fifty seven for seven. Uh, let me tell you these guys are gonna these English bowlers are gonna get angry and they're not gonna give him in up up there. Over ten. His figures now showing fifteen point four versus five maids not for forty. Archibald mm -hmm. waits for Overton. He comes in out to bow to him and gets a no, shot. He smacks that for six. That was hit ferociously on the top of the Stanford roof here. What a crack. That's a big shot by Colin Archibald. That was the biggest side of the ground in the breeze as well over the sticky wicked the old sticky wicked building. That that was uh he, he caught that one. That's a proper. That, and, and, that was a proper, proper. And shot. he looked at the ball. Yeah, he watched it. That was the, the, that 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 shot was the same ball, yeah. Yes. That was a proper shot. Dismisses that with with such authority. And because of that, I think it's gone outside of the ground. It's, so yeah. maybe when I'm driving going home later, I'll have to try and see if I can find that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Two sixty-three for seven. CWI President's 11. Archibald has gone to 22 from 26. Reefer is 106. 184 delivers. The count run rate 2.77. And if King Astro is looking, he will be jumping up. He will be enjoying that shot there. King Astro is the Calypso King of St. Kitts and Nevis. In the Calypso Circles. Mm. A cultural icon. Much by King this and that. King Hollywood. Is the culture I'm a Calypso King? What about my, 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 my good friend Nazi? Who's that? Oh, Nazi's always around. He's there. Still working with the youths as usual. He, Nazi's not a, a Calypso. He, he doesn't sing Calypso? He's, he, he didn't sing the last time around. I think the last couple of years. I don't think he's made it into the, the, the real big stage since this virtual thing. You know, Nazi's a, a, a genuine a guy who no, likes... No, Nazi, yeah. Nazi need the crowd. Nazi he he, need he the needs people. a crown? Yeah, he, he needs... At it. one point in time, there was a talking point that Nazi might could, could have won the crown but boy with the amount of big guys Bingy and those guys could take my folks down the onside it's it's a it's a hard proposition in fact there was a method um Sylvester and it was only broken this year <coughs> in the Calypso competition in Nevis no one ever won back, back to back. back it was broken this year where Hollywood stole that show and I thought that this and that maybe allowed that to happen because if this and that had propped better he might have won the crown. In fact, I think Hollywood won like about three, three points. Oh, now, that's how close it was, um, really. Mm. <coughs> but this and that is one like close to I think about twelve cultural armor crowns. Um, you know, match by shot shot with fifteen here. Elemat is is also up there too, the King Elemat. So you know nevis has produced some some you know the mikos the king mikos you know this and that bingy you know, bingy has been a good one flamingo mm. um has been around there bahilo the meek um you know those guys here so too is antigua antigua's you know we lost swallow mighty swallow you know the people like latumba progress in his own right you know calypso king taylor zakari calypso art form alive and big just caught that fly here comes leech <laughs> he comes in out about to add you to Vac Reefer. <coughs> Reefer is on 106. 263 for 7. 263 for 7. Leech is back. Leech is getting a, a bit more turn. Well, he's a new one. Yeah, so yeah. he certainly will get that. Ken Crafton. See him just looking around there. Here's okay. Reefer driving. He's played that he's played that spinner. Um very, 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 very well. Which which is the, the most exquisite <coughs> shot. In, in your opinion that you can recall i think i picked this one i didn't take a you number picked the one yeah, half, half and, wheat half leech uh, yes and uh, you told me drive. that you told me that you thought oh my mm, god oh my god she's out like before that is awful. that is the only how you could have gotten him out <laughs> <laughs> that is the only how you could have got him out but he congratulations are in order joe root has just walked up to him and said to him great knock young man yeah that's and that's the level of respect um from this england team everyone Wokes applauds him. It has been a beautiful knock. That skidded on. Oh, that kept, that, and he kept that, well off. That, that you can't awesome. do anything about that. I think I need to applaud him. Yeah, that is a lovely knock. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. 
brilliant knock yeah, well from deserved. the England Barney Army fans. They stand up. They understand the importance of West Indies cricket and what it means to come to a four-day red ball cricket game and see someone score 100. You saw Johnny Bairstow, but today you saw Raymond Reefer, 106. And I think if you were to match both centuries, Raymond Reefer, Raymond Reefer, his century was way superior. It was just excellent knock there. He remember that for a very long time. Mm. Congratulations, young man. Yeah, it was. I think it was more fluent. Um, <coughs> Johnny Burr, so he at the beginning of it, he struggled a lot. Yeah. Uh, he played. But he got. He got. He got, 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 he got his mission. Yeah, yeah. But um, Reefer, Reefer innings was superb. Just the way how he he, he marshaled the, the batting and he guided. Um, he, he guided uh, Carty as well, and and he, he held the batting together. And he took a he took a, a ball like that to get him out. You definitely have to have a word with Kadim uh, about the pitch. I wanted to know he cut off the grass. I told you would have. I know. I know. I know. It's not. I, I, I know. It's not his call. He's already told me that. But mm. I. Don't, I don't know why the grass was taken off. I, I, I saw the the, 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 the grass. In the, maybe they they, they 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 cut it off and, and took it up in the nets. <laughs> the <laughs> nets. The nets has some green grass in it, man. <laughs> <laughs> to sixty-three for eight. <laughs> Leach three for sixty-two. He's into his twenty-eight over. He comes in now to bowl to mm. uh, Brian Charles, and Brian Charles will have to understand you have to protect the castle. He's pushing straight down the wicket. Mm. He's got to understand there's a left arm spinner bowling to him, so he has to cover the line of his, his, his stumps. Very important. Silly point cut. No, they've got a second slip, short leg, short extra cover, mid on, mid off, square leg, and uh, more or less uh, cover and a backward point. Like mm, is that look at that. Oh my god. See what I was talking to you about? That one he got a cover line going hard. Caught a second slip. And Brian Charles goes for not. As as a as a captain when you make a, a move like that and it works right away, you look like a genius. The second slip just they, they just you know in instill the second slip and, and straight. But I, I I was thinking, you know what I was thinking? Um during the, during the luncheon period, just before they came back out, Jack Leach was on the side, the side um, practice pitches, and you can see where he was trying to rip the ball some more. Probably, probably the bowling coach told him that you're not turning the ball. So before lunch, uh, just after lunch, I mean, he was out there warming up and turning the ball, and you can see he has a lot more purchase on the ball than um, before lunch. So who we have coming out here? No, in fact, that was Sherman Lewis. Um, was it Sherman Lewis that got out? Uh, Max Wien. Oh, Max Wien. Max Wien. Probably it's Max Wien. Because, Max Wien because now we have Brian Charles. So let me apologize. Yeah, um, Brian is now coming out. Max Wien. Well, Brian Charles is a little bit more accomplished than Max Wien. Well, you I reckon? Max, Max Wien, Max Wien, Max Wien, Wien had, had, had a uh, half century the last game? Yeah, he had uh, 91. 91. 91. <laughs> Let's see what Brian you, you, you need to apologize to Max. No, I, 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 I'm back in Brian Charles. <laughs> so Brian Charles has has how many half centuries? Let's let's see let's see what let's see what <laughs> let's, let's see what Brian has to offer here. So he relaxes himself. Leach mm. has picked up four wickets so far. He comes in out of bow to Charles, and Charles mm. is dropped at first slip. Am I right? Where's he going? You got to get back into his crease. I think he fell short. You think so? Yeah, he looks like it fell right, short. Well, I'll give you the benefit of the out. The, the, the doubt. Remember, he didn't, have on, for nine. he didn't have on your glasses. I didn't have on my blenders. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, West Indies are uh, almost in the, in the position of getting bowled out here right after tea. And they'll have to come and bowl this afternoon. Yeah. And maybe, maybe, maybe all day tomorrow as well. No, they're going to have to bowl this afternoon. And maybe all day tomorrow as well. And as, as you rightly <laughs> said, maybe all day. Are you hearing anything? Yeah. We're just wondering what's happening. 263 for nine. 263 for nine. 263 for nine. And who's coming from the, the top end now? I think they're going to try and see if they can be able to... He walks. Uh, walks is now gone. Is it Walks? No. Or no, Fisher? No, Fisher. 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 Fish After uh, I mean the two overturn overturn uh, you can say that um Archibald beat him out of, out of out of the attack. There is Archibald turning this one 
into the Lex side area. He's thinking about coming back for two. A little hesitation. Oh, Somebody's man, in trouble. He's run out. Poor communication. No, then we're not trying to win the game. You, you know, no need for that. Where's the game awareness, Sylvester? Ah, uh, Archibald seems like he wanted to 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 to. Yes, get, I to know he wanted this strike, this, but, this strike but, but he turned blindly also. Mm, so. No, what happened when he turned? Uh, he 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 was about to go, then he stopped. And then both of them hesitated, and then they decided to go. So somebody <laughs> said no. Yeah, he has yeah, to be. You know, you, you, you can't take that chance. So, let's, let's look, Sylvester. Mm. Right? He turned, and then he come in. And, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah you, 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 if you come in, you come in. Mm. Yeah, you, 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 you can't change your mind. So, the West Indies, CWI President's Eleven, they have been bowled out um, right <clears throat> after tea. Just going to be able to just... Put, they've been bowled over 264. 264. <coughs> and they've been bowled out. Just going to look very quickly through this, the scorecard. And see in terms of what's happening. <coughs> I think the coaching staff will be very disappointed after the, the partnership with uh, Casey Carty and uh, Raymond... Raymond Rifa, you know, um, to put them in such good position. And then you you get bowled for 264. Uh, in the end, you know, it's very disappointing in terms from a team perspective. But in the case of uh, Casey Carty, who got an, a, 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 a good half century and uh, gave it away in the end, uh, lack of concentration, I think Raymond Rifa, you know, um, that innings, that innings in itself, you know, stood out. Um, and, and, and should go a long way. Um, he's proven and showed that he, he he wants to bat in the in, in the in the top order. He come once again and and justify, you know, being given the opportunity and continue to score runs and, and big big runs. So we'll just give you a, a scorecard of the CWI President's Eleven innings. Jeremy Salanza run out by Craig Overton for seventeen. Shane Mosley bowl Jack Leash for twenty. Casey Carty, ball Jack Leach for 57, faced 164 balls, batted for 223 minutes, and hit seven spanking bunges. Devon Thomas, LBW to Ollie Robinson for one. Raymond Reefer, the man of the moment, LBW to Jack Leach for 106, 182 balls, 255 minutes, 15 fours and two sixes. Alex Atenez, caught wicketkeeper Ben Folks, ball Dan Rollins for 10. Shane Dorish, LBW to Dan Rollins for 11. Shamar Springer, LBW to Joe Root for 6. Colin Archibald, run out, Dan Lawrence for 23. Preston McSween caught Ollie Pope, ball Jack Leach without scoring. And Brian Charles left not out and not. 264 all out, 13 extras, the bowling for England. Ollie Robinson, 9.3 overs, 4 maidens, 19 runs, 1 wicket. Chris Walk, 17 overs, 4 maidens, 48 runs, no wickets. Craig Overton, 16 overs, 5 maidens, 46 runs, no wickets. Sadiq Mahmood, 7.3 overs, no maiden, 26 runs, no wickets. Macho Fisher, 4.1 overs, 2 maiden, 16 runs, no wickets. Joe Root, 9 overs, 2 maidens, 11 runs, 1 wicket. Dan Lawrence, 5 overs, 1 maiden, 26 runs, 2 wickets. And the man at the moment, Jack Leach, 28 overs, 10 maidens, 136 dot balls, 62 runs, 4 wickets. So Chris Wilkes in his spell had 83 dot balls. Ollie Robinson, 50. Mahmood, 30, Fisher 16, Joe Root 45, Dan Rowans 21. The West Indies, they lost 1 for 34, Salanzo, Shane Mosley 2 for 44, Devon Thomas 3 for 48, and then a partnership of 118 between Casey Carty <coughs> and Raymond Reefer, 4 for 166, Alex Atenez 5 for 195, Shane Dawes 6 for, 6 for 215, 7 for 229, Shamar Springer, 8 for 263, Raymond Reefer. Preston McSween, 9 for 263. And in the end, all out for 264. This is in reply to England's first innings. Of 466 for 6 declared of 145 overs, in which Johnny Bairstow scored 101. <coughs> then we had Dan Lawrence with 83. Alex Lees with 65. Zach Qualley, 65. Joe Wood, 54. And Chris Wilkes, 49. Brian Charles, 48 overs, 10 maidens, 143 runs, 3 wickets. Vernon Springer and Sylvester Joseph, 
We'll take an attitude water break and we'll come back right after the break and close out this third day's play in the Apex Test Warm Up Series. There is Gatti getting on top of the delivery and steering it past backward point. Did he get a boundary? He does now. Hits the rope now. Lovely shot by Gatti. Stayed on top of it. There's a tickle here by Raymond Reefer. Goes down to the boundary for four. Works with well, we, we, you know, if they're selected or not, we'll see really where, where England are going, the direction. Here is Carty driving square for four. Lovely shot. And another boundary to Carty's second for the morning. And make the adjustments necessary. Here comes Mahmoud. Comes in out to Bolto Reefer, into Bolto Reefer. Reefer. Oh, Slashing that. Wide delivery down to the boundary for four. That came off the bat sweet you'd enjoy. And at the end of the day, uh, almost uh, uh, have his arms uh, in, in, in a nice bath on its own. Bleach starts with a wide delivery, goes past folks. Joe Wood is after it, but only to retrieve. Now the signal four buys by Empire Nigel. Stay at the top and, and, and make all the runs. Bifa is driving. The ball is getting his hand onto it. He's going to get a couple of runs. I don't think it will have what it takes to run into the boundary. Good work on the part of the England. This is Wokes changing his line of attack. He's around the wicket to Reefa. Reefa is driving. Beautiful shot through extra cover. He's going to get some runs here. He's running pretty close to the boundary. As a matter of fact, it has enough. It goes into the boundary now. Well played by Going forward maybe for the second test, third test. And someone here scores a century. It may affect him. Reefa is going to get runs here. This one is running down to third man into the boundary. And it goes now for four runs. It was an inadvertent stroke. Looks. Mm. We need to educate mm. the, the, the public. I think what has happened too, because I remember one lady says to me, I don't understand cricket, but I understand T20. Mm. Well, that was a strange. Here is one tickle down to <laughs> final leg for four. Yes. You, you know, you're having results. There are a lot of results. You know, so, so I actually think test, test cricket, I mean, maybe not, not, not revenue wise, but the game's in good place. Shot. Reefer has swung this one over the top of. The cover mid off, mid off, and a short mid wicket in the field down on the final area. Mamu turns and comes in now. Goes past Bradford in now to bow to Reefer. Short deliveries back and punching that four and 50 to Reefer. That's a lovely shot. It was short and he leaned back. Consistent as we have, but this is West Indies cricket. Mamu comes in to bow to Reefer and Reefer is driving to cover for four. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful shot by Reefer. Pitched up half while he's groundsman moving in position i don't know if they see something that i, I have not seen Carty is back and oh, punching oh, that should cover for four what a lovely shot off the back foot hits the ropes now 52 casey Carty. 
Raymond Reefer would have other ideas. He's looking at the side screen. Oh, and he's shot. driving to cover four more. No need to run. Reefer with an exhibition of shots here. An array of shots. That's a B. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Good afternoon again. Welcome back uh, at the CCG, where we have uh, the English team. We had a ball of the CWI President's 11 for 264. And we are back here now for the start of the second innings. Uh, welcome, my good friend Sprints. We have Lee's number 90, 90, 93 and his partner Coley. We're waiting on the umpires to give us the first delivery here by Max Wien. Skipper Shane Dodge, he's. So, thank you very much, Sylvester. Lee's, Alex Lee's will face up. He's a left hander and the England going for the uh, two. Most established openers here in Zach Crawley and Alex Lees. And for some strange reason, Shane Dow is just starting with one slip for Preston Maxween. Here comes Maxween, goes past Nigel Dugid. There's a change in umpires. Batwit has now come to the media center end, and Preston Maxween is now gone to the CIU end. So, exciting times. In the meantime, a couple of the England players and their backroom staff and the reserves going over to the nets. The grass that Sylvester said that he didn't <laughs> find here on the on the track is moved over into the nets area. Max in the left arm fastball. He comes in now to bowl to Lees. I just find that Shane Daw, which is just a little bit too far back, Sylvester. And maybe just needs to step up a little bit because those bo balls have been dying even in the well, in terms of what's happening, I met I met my uh, Marcus just coffee. I didn't know he had, he was here with the, the national. The, oh, oh, he is. Team. Okay, had a good chat with him. Yeah, I catch up from old times. Ask him about my uh, Freddie, Freddie, and I see Harmison doing some some TV work. You know, uh, bang on target, comes mm -hmm. quietly forward. So twenty two overs, Sylvester remain in the in the in the in the day's play. So. Then Moore's just got back. I will do maybe about 10 of those and then let Den Moore wrap up. You think we may make it in 22? Light looks good? Oh, I have an hour and 15 minutes or so. <laughs> it's look, it, 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 the, the light is a bit dodgy. Uh, a bit dodgy. Well, I think they will get it in. we wait and see what happens. <laughs> Lees waits for Preston Maxween, who comes in now to bow to him. Short delivery, but that goes across him. Both umpires, Nigel Dugid and Gregory Bratwit wave to each other and say as well, hey, uh, we rebound in. <laughs> in terms of the umpires, Sylvester, I thought that we could have broken out and given a couple of other umpires an, an opportunity, even a Carl Tuckett, even a, a Butler. You know, yeah, some reckoning, especially a game of this nature. Practice is important. Mm. The Barney Army is singing. What are they singing, Sylvester? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> yesterday morning, we had a, we had one, one, one guy there stood up and he, he oh, sung. Yeah, 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 he sang. I was wondering if it's the English the anthem. English anthem. Or, yeah, the, uh, it was the English anthem. Oh, oh, and they, everyone, everyone stood up and certain times you see they, they chanted something and they do their hands, uh, you know. It, it, well, so did them. Before I was looking for them this morning. I, I was also looking for them, but maybe he didn't wake up. Maybe, <laughs> he, maybe he had too much of a dadly. 
<laughs> Lee's waits for Preston McSween. Left arm seamer from the CIA and in doubt the ball to him. Mm. Squares him up. But when he gets there, just plays it out to Carty in the cover area. First over bowl, 22 overs. And to go in the day's play. And one ball already. And we'll see how the whole upper cart will take place here today. Mm. So you reckon the, the Wadadli Bay is much stronger than because when I when I watch these guys on, on, on the telly, these guys will, will, will drink all day and have a pile of glass, you know. It's lighter. Up in I, one. I, I was just teasing you. Yeah, it's it's way lighter than when you go to England. Oh, I, I wonder if he's so strong the Wadadli is. No, that's why they drink so much <laughs> when they come here. They drink the Banks, they drink the Heineken, yeah. they drink you, you, you name it. That's that that's why. That's one of the reasons. Mm. Sherman Lewis, age 26, young fast bowler, made his debut for the West Indies in versus India in 2018. He's got two test matches um, behind his, his belt. He's also got 95 first-class wickets. And Sylvester is very much impressed with him in terms of pace because he keeps running in. It'll be interesting to see him on a, on a good track. You know, Sylvester, a lot of us have been talking and saying, well, you know, no fast bowlers coming through. If 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 we continue at the youth level to be trying to conserve and say we don't have any monies, and we're taking our under nineteen tournaments to places where you know our under nineteen cricketers can excel, and we're gonna be in serious problem. We have to put them in on good pitches so that they can run in and bowl quick. Mm. There is Zach Qualley, who looked very impressive in the first innings, just leaving alone. Um, delivery the West Indians would have learnt their lesson and know that you can't bowl quality anywhere between middle and leg so they maybe come out with a different ploy and if you look at the field placing it's more or less a 6 3 field that they bowl into one slip and um, a gully a sweeper on the offside um, you more or less have a cover extra cover mid on mid off and you have a feeler down on the Fine Nagera, Lewis in now to bowl to Zakwali. And am I right in my prediction that they're going to try and bowl him a little wider? Yeah, definitely. The field is set for such. And um, the first, you can see the first two delays from Lewis. Uh, he's not getting any close. He has to score his runs on the offside today. I just feel that with Lewis's pace and that yorker that he has, I would have thought that he would be attacking the stumps. In fact, if I was the coach, I would tell him, listen, just bowl between wicket and wicket. And especially getting that in-swinging Yorker that you have. Oh, you see what we're talking about there, sir? Yeah, I think that the, because of the way that the pitch is playing as well, um, you see the line of attack. The, I think you need to, to, to play, to bowl uh, um, a lot more straighter. You yeah, see the English team, you know, the, the line was, uh, of attack was a, a lot straighter. And um, they, they got their good success as well. Uh, but, you know, for, for what we have seen here from, from Lewis, you can see that his line of, of attack is definitely outside of the after. And the ball kept low, so the umpires are checking it to see if... probably it's damage? Probably, or, or maybe he doesn't have enough... enough um, Seam? Not seam, the in... What, what's in it? What the hard stuff in it? <laughs> I want to find out if, it, if, if there's no It's well compact, uh, cock. Because I mean, that one kept low. It's a new, new ball. So the umpire is checking it to make sure, to make sure he, 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 the ball is, is, is intact. Uh, is intact? <laughs> so let's that? see what happens when he bowls this one. Uh. If we get the same result. Mm. Pitched up. Driven. On the offside to Devon Thomas. Mm. Is that mid-off? Not without loss. Lees and Quali opening. Good evening, John Maynard. How are you doing? Chris Collins also in England. Sherman Lewis. We're in the number 83. Looking to stir up some pace here. It's going to move into both of Zach Quali. He's in out to go to Quali. Down the onside. And he missed out. Quali knows that. And he's disgusted with himself but keeps his composure just mm. walks away and says anytime he comes there the next time i'll hit him over square leg for six you there's a big gap there you saw the intent from from Crawley in terms of the ball coming to his leg because as we were saying earlier and when the, you set the field for uh, in a particular way and if you if you uh 
the opposite way. You know, you have to go um, full. You got to pay. Yeah, I got to pay. Yeah, what? You know, he's, he was that time he up. didn't pay. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was fortunate. Lois into bow to Quali. Mm. Quali is yeah, peace for leg before, but that hit him high up. Um, in fact, that was didn't even appeal. Um, you never caught it. Oh, he's LBA up. You see, when you bowl, when you bowl a more attacking length and and, and straighter, he, he, he does the the ball. You never know. You never know. One will keep low. One will will hit and take off. And I think it's the best time, you know, to attack is with the new ball. You know, when he gets older and and you're not getting a wicket, then you can revert to a more defensive tactics. But I don't know. Two without loss. You played Test cricket, Sylvester. I didn't play. Mm. Two without loss. And you know, just looking at it here. Common sense is common sense. Where they where they play Test cricket. Sometimes not so common, Sylvester. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it might be common, it's 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 a big word for a lot of folks. Mm. So you gotta be careful. Let's see what Preston McSween will want to offer. But I would want the West Indians to be attacking the stumps because anything is possible. Here is Lee's back and punching that, getting the first run out to cover. Coming around is Casey Carty. Can't stop the single. And so Lee's is off the mark. It now brings Zach Quali into strike. One without loss. Yes, so Max really is hitting the back of the length area. Uh, getting a, a, a fair bit of bounce. It's a new ball. Mm. Uh, let's see if we can find him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has, he has worked tirelessly in the first, the first innings and a, and a flat pitch as well. So These guys are up for the challenge. So, uh, for the, on, on, on this track? <laughs> Bang on target again, and again he can't score. In terms of what has been happening, one without loss. Lees is one, Quali is not. Quite period of play here. England would have like 22 overs to go here in terms of batting. They're already. Um, Two of us have been bowled out to the 22. Expected 22. Max Wien in now to bow to to Quali. Quali steering this past the backward point feeler and thinking about the second run. But Archibald decides that that is not on. He loves that return into Shane Dorish, the captain and wiki keeper. So England are two without loss. Both batters are on one as we speak. Preston McSween into his second over. Mm, and the lead, the lead is how much now? A lot to a little bit. <laughs> as they would say. <laughs> Don't think we're worrying about the lead. I think mm. we're worrying how long the West Indies will be out in the, in the field. There's a P for leg before. Well, I think he might have just got a little inside edge onto that one. Two without loss. approach here would be for the England team to maybe give somebody maybe like a Ben Stokes a, a knockout into the middle get themselves going mm. give him some exposure looking over into the dressing room to find out who's padded up next There's well they have a long day tomorrow yeah they do mm. that one squared up please squeezed mm. away down to the third man boundary, the first boundary for England second innings. Look a bit unlucky, but at least when you bowl as straight as possible, yeah. anything can happen. Yeah, anything is possible on this pitch, and I like the, the length and, and line that uh, Max Reed is really attacking. You know, he's running in and putting in a good effort, and um, you know, creating uh, a few a few um, chances, a uh, half chances. Six without loss. Lees is five. Quali is one. Maxween has had to abort his run. He's got a slip, a gully, um, a backward point, a cover, and a short extra cover catching. Mid on, mid off. Square leg. And feeler down on the 
find an area. Max Weenie now to bow to mm. Lees. Lees with a nice straight bat, playing it right up in front of to Springer, who's in a catching position. He would have been maybe disappointed with his performances, both with ball and bat in this game. Six without loss, three overs bow so far. I asked, I asked since yesterday about Springer if he's uh, relative to you or you're relative to As him. dual citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like a lawyer, see? I think in your next lifetime, you should study law. <laughs> Six without loss. So good afternoon to some folks in Barbados. Mm. Matthew Grant. So many guys, Adrian Donovan and company. Milton Small. How are you, my brother? Mm. Silver stays here giving me a hard time. <laughs> Remember the days there of the 13 and under cricket competition? Six without loss. Zach Quali has looked so good. Waits for Lewis. Lewis comes into bow to Quali. Mm. Quali is turning this but can't beat. <laughs> the feeler Mosley at the short middle good era. I want to ask you something, Sylvester, because you're really right. Things have changed. You're feeling a short middle get. Why you want to take the ball and fire it <laughs> vigorously at the keeper? <laughs> Tell me. That's the way it is now, Springs. If you don't, I, I just don't understand it. If you don't do that, the, the keeper... You, you don't the, feel good? No, the keeper's oh not... Oh, my gosh. Keep your, keep, your, keep your shoulders nice and loose. Ah, look at that. Get look on target. That. Not out? Wow. What? He got an inside edge. Wow. He got an inside edge. He did. He got an inside edge. He did that knowledge. Look at it, Sylvester. Mm. You see it on the replay. That's the only thing saved him. Probably it's all the, if you notice he's batting an off stump. Mmm. Mmm, Springs. I'm going upstairs. You're going upstairs? Yeah. Let's look at the height. Hit outside the line? Probably hit outside. Because he's batting an off stump. He's right? batting an off stump. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> By Sylvester Joseph. Gregory Bratwood has been excellent in this game so far. Lewis comes into bow to Quali. Quali's driving but can't beat um, the cover feeler. The score remains in six without loss. Quali's one, Lees is five. Yeah, but you see they're creating half chances when you when you bowl a more attacking line. You have to bowl straight. Yeah. You have you have to bowl straight. Already, I mean you're you're way behind the eight ball. Yeah. So you know the, you know you have to try and get some early wickets with the new ball. British areas flying out there. Mm. There are going to be many more. Dual ship and citizenship? Yeah, over the next couple of days. Mm. Before I go to England, I'll be going to Grenada. Yeah. Ali's challenged me to go for the third test match. Yeah, so you're going? I'm thinking about it. But there's so much things happening, Sylvester. So boy. you're going to England? Okay. I just might go to England. I just never know. <laughs> Got a tour planned? <laughs> Lots of things happening in the meantime. Where are you going to England to do? Some commentary? No, 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 no. Business, oh. business wise, mm. six without loss. Sherman Lewis working up some steam here. You could see the perspiration. He's done wet. He's really enjoying himself here. And although so, this, the, although this track has not produced major pace um, for the for the bowlers, he's worked hard. Ah, pitched up. This edge. time again. That's life, Sh Sherman Lewis. There are days like that. Another day, you would get that. I think that one is that that one has to be an inside edge. Yes, yes, yes. Because he about he, he changed his yeah, mind. He yeah. was going up and then he recognized. That one has to be an inside edge. And Sylvester, there has to be a ploy where he's batting him off them, um, and that is to come into his his his, his strength area because mm. he knows that he's going to try and see if he can be able to angle in that ball. Um. Hmm. Pretty difficult, you know, yeah. to kind of pick that up. Now there's some discussion. What what is happening here? We have a lot of captains here yeah, now. Like Devon, like Devon Thomas is offering a suggestion. I just think Lewis just needs to bowl straight. That's mm -hmm. all he has to do. But yeah, he's bowling. Lewis yeah. is is bowling the right line and line. Just no. bowl, just bowl <coughs> to the stumps. Mm -hmm. Lewis goes past umpire Gregory Batret is in now to bow to Quali, short delivery, mm. and because of the field change, he ended up 
you know, he should have been coming back with it, firing with another York again. Um, that is thumbs right there. There are days like that, Jermaine Lewis. Four of us bowl. England are six without loss in the second innings. Who's that? Hmm. What happened? <laughs> What's he been saying, Sylvester? <laughs> I have not said anything. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> I've not, not said anything. <laughs> hey, I've not said anything, my buddy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, mm. the President's eleven—they've only got themselves to blame for being back out in the sun. If you ask you, me, you feel, so, you, you feel sorry for them? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Ah, you got to learn these lessons. <laughs> you learn them at times the hard way. You're seeing regional cricket, right? This is what happens, you know. Short delivery, pulled away. For four. Max Wien has no pace. You can't bowl that length on this track. Oh, yeah. Dispatch early o'clock by Lees. Who goes up to nine in the score, goes up to ten without loss. Preston Max is looking pretty tired here, isn't he? I told uh, you that he would need about a week. Did yeah. he? <laughs> and he has to be back out there bowling again. <laughs> Looks pretty tired. He was quite impressive as well. You know, uh, but Sherman Lewis still running in uh, here in this second inning. Every time he's been called upon, he's been uh, he's looked fully enthused and, 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 and really energetic and quite penetrative at times as well. He's fit. Yes, he's fit a, boy. Very a, fit boy. He's a fit young man. Here is Lees. Lees looks a little bit more assertive in this innings here so far, Mali. And, you know, you would expect that. You know, we're talking about him playing his first innings, actually, in a full senior England shirt and... Uh, uh, I, I'm sure he'll, he'll, as he gets more comfortable in this English setup, you know, uh, he'll be more positive as well in terms of his uh, stroke play. A slip, a gully, a backward point, a cover. We're now having a mid, short mid wicket, mid on, mid off. I am trying to work out a few places here. They're both doing the same work. Springer and the middle one. Mm. Here comes Preston Maxwell. You know, the bow to leaves and he just leaves this alone. It's a good lead, though. Uh, it certainly is. Very good lead. Uh, no real You strength. check his positioning of his mm. foot. Um, in terms of get, picking up the line of the ball. His, his, his head not too far over. Covering that off stump off as well. A good solid lead, you know, from Lees. You'd expect that from from a, a batter from the north of England. Ten without loss. Lees is nine. Crawley is one. Espresso between bongs away. Gonna come in now to bowl to Lees. And again, Lees just knowing very well where he's gonna be. I think what needs to happen is Preston McSween needs to just bowl anywhere between the the four meter and the and the six meter length really. It, 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 he's bowling more or less a little bit more fuller. Try to exploit the variable bounce, bounce that we've seen throughout this match, actually. Uh, you can think of the wicket of Shane Dorridge and uh, even Raymond Reefer. Ball's actually uh, not bouncing quite as high as the batters expect. Here comes Max Wien in out the ball to leave these. It's just more or less head in the bottom of the bat. Didn't really get the stride out there mm. for, for, for that delivery. The transfer of weight, it, the transference yeah. of weight wasn't really there. It wasn't a positive uh, move into that ball. It really didn't have any momentum in the end. It just ended up throwing the hands at it. And, uh, not, ma not managing to time that one. Ten without loss. Michael Dugid. It's been around for some time. Fire. Break for a while. Clipped away. Beautiful by Lees. Coming around. Looks like Colin Archibald. Left armor. Flicks up the delivery to the keeper. Over number five is completed and the score goes up to 11 without loss. More comments from Mali Richards. Yeah, 11 without loss. Uh, pretty sedate stuff from uh, the English. I think they'll be pretty happy to be off the field. Uh, uh, in, in these favorable batting conditions, we see Crawley 
come back out for yet another hit. Uh, you probably would have thought maybe they could have moved things around, maybe sent uh, Ben Stokes up to open, uh, considering he didn't really spend that much time at the wicket in the first innings. But what we're seeing here is that maybe the intention from this England team is to bat well into tomorrow as well. Who knows? I don't think they're going to be coming out the ball again. Oh, for you, sure. To tell you that much. So it's either that this game will be called off. Yeah, at least, at least uh, up until lunch, oh. just after lunch tomorrow, uh, they'll be hoping to, 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 to still be there. Are they? Certainly. You know, in terms of what's happening, we we'll break for a little while. As Sherman Lewis comes in out the boat, to play. Gone. he's caught up to a slip. That's a beautiful delivery. Sherman Lewis, man, tell you, very impressive. He's been impressive in this match, Burn. He has there. Uh, he's picked up the. Important wicket of Alex Lees. Good delivery going across him, groping into that area. A good length area. Let's look at it in on the replay. Touching down in that four meter area. Uh, that's that's the line that you want. Just going across you there. Making use of this new ball as well in these conditions, uh, Sherman Lewis. And I'd, 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 I'd go as far to say he's probably been the pick of the seamers on both out of both teams. Uh, from what we've seen, he's probably been the. The bowler that uh, has been the most penetrative, fast bowler, that is. He's caused quite a few problems. Uh, every time he's come on to bowl, uh, he's, 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 been, he's uh, been highly uh, energetic. And, and, and his pace has, has stayed steady throughout this match as well. And to see him come and take the new ball, I think he bowled maybe four or five spells uh, in that first innings. And to see him come out here this afternoon, take that new ball and run in again with that same energy. And to get that reward, uh, uh, kudos to him. He's been very impressive. 11 without loss. 11, sorry, 11 for one. Um, so It's Stokes, you know, though, isn't it? Yes, Stokes yes, has come yes, out. Yes, Just yes. as we had predicted that, mm. you know, he would bat pretty early. Into the sixth over here. Yeah. Chiki's Hi-Fi bellowing out the King Onion tune. Yummy barn. Yeah. One of the one of the classics. One of the classics. When I was actually Bebida. in the ground when when he was performing that one at the uh, what was it the Soka Monarch and Calypso. I think he did the double that year. Didn't he win the Soka Monarch as well? I think he possibly did. You know. Hmm. Hmm. So when he ventured into the Calypso arena, he was always in that Soka Monarch arena, but this. Just about the time when he ventured into the Calypso Arena. King Onion. King Onion. Nigel Tugid. Gregory Bratet. Tugid is from Ghana. And Gregory Bratet representing the Republic of Barbados. Sherman Lewis. Shane Darwis just making some adjustments. In fact, I would have maybe put in another slip for Sherman Lewis. To put He's some pressure on Ben Stokes, who's not. And, you know, he's getting good carry. Yes. Uh, Sherman Lewis, it suggests uh, he's still hitting the deck pretty hard here. But you, you're, if you're attacking, you're attacking because you want to get wickets. You know, that's something that you'd want to work on. But I'm not the captain, <laughs> so I just need to keep quiet. So as opposed to having two slips, uh, they've got the slip and the gully, is that? Or yeah. you want to call that a fourth slip? Maybe more or less... Yeah, almost like a, a, a fourth slip. A second slip and a fourth slip. Uh, you got the fielder at point. Uh, shot, extra cover, extra cover, and mid off on the offside. Oh, good areas from Sherman Lewis there. When they're tailoring in there. Big Rubatwit from St. Phillips in Barbados. <laughs> they also tailed into the middle. But Ben Stokes back just didn't really find the gap. Oh, picked out Devon Thomas there, the short mid wicket. He's been on the scene here for a little while. Did his first one international match on the 7th of August 2011. And we see American Airlines flying out here from the Visi Bird International Airport. Hmm. Pretty busy period of time here. It's coming up to that time of the of the weekend. Here is Ben Stoke just moving in line and dancing more or less as he comes forward here to Sherman Lewis. 
Delivery walking into him just left him slightly off the pitch you could but the back face was straight yeah you could and see the head positioning yeah he's good very solid uh, you could see him just essay uh, to himself uh, just saying yeah just going away from me slightly there but uh, well played he managed to adjust uh, we know the class of the player Ben Stokes certainly the pedigree can't, you can't buy class anyhow you know? mm -hmm. Here comes Lewis in out the boat to Stokes. Stokes driving through cover for four. That's that class we talk about. That's a lovely shot by the young man. Found a gap. And that's something that you got to look at. He's just demonstrated. He saw Raymond Reef a bat and stayed low to the crease. And he just demonstrated that. Stayed very, very, very low. And just eased that through cover. Lovely shot. And Sherman Lewis, no, you can't bowl at half valley. The ball of half volley is going to be put away. Yeah, it's the footwork, it's the head position, and uh, and uh, it's just the quality, quality cricket stroke. That base that we like to talk about, that foundation, that solid base. You can tell he's well balanced as well. A good transference of weight. 15 for one. Stokes is four. Lewis into both to Stokes, and Stokes is pulling this one away around. He's going to cut. No, he decided no because he bumped into. Sherman Lewis, mm. and so early o'clock he said, no, 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 he won't be able to make it back. In of over number six, England are 16 for one. Um, Stokes is five, Qualley is a one, and Sherman Lewis has been the lone wicket taker so far from his three overs. He's picked up one for five. Yeah, one for five, uh, making use of this new ball. You know how things uh, tend to get pretty flat pretty quickly in these conditions, so you've got to make use when that ball is new and hard, um, but also at the same time, uh, the margin for error is so small, you know, in these batting conditions. You slightly over pitch, especially to the batter, uh, to batters of the caliber of uh, Ben Stokes and and uh, Zach Crawley. You're Second gonna have to, you're gonna go to the bounce. Sorry, more music bellowing out from Chicky High Fire. We're hearing now Young Destroyer. As we say, good afternoon to Joel Wilson. Might be maybe taking a break and getting ready for this test series here. In the car, Ben. What do you know about Young Destroy? Excuse me. I'm a Calypso man. Oh. <laughs> I have a brother that sings Calypso. you know about Destroyer. But what do you know about Young Destroyer? You know what I mean? Max Ween <laughs> going across <laughs> Ben Stokes. My former classmate, actually, Lester. He, he is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to that what a talent. Yeah. To go into sure. Trinidad and, and, you know, just win the competition. It's just unfortunate that he never won in Antigua and Barbuda. But that's hard. that's life. Uh, those things happen. Some people make runs he's and made his mark and though, and at the end of the day. He's yeah, got songs he's, he, he will go down. He's today. got songs yeah, in his time repertoire. Is, time is songs, you know. It's just amazing of you know of the talent around the Caribbean. Here is Stokes driving. He can't score. Brian Charles comes around. He will have a long ball tomorrow. Mm. He'll have to bowl another forty at overs. <laughs> 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 So he's have, not we, looking forward to that. We, we, have, we have 22 today, and they'll have to bowl 90 tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and they're the only ones to blame for that, you know. Uh, contributed quite a few dismisses to the England team. Gifted. Gifted them. So we would say 16 for one, Stokes is five. Waits for McSween, who comes in out the boat to him. He comes across and leaves alone. Knows where he's off stump is, so there's no need for him to... Got it. And he comes in and he picks up length. Knows exactly what is going on. I must say though, since that tired delivery to Alex Lees, where Max kind of pulled down and got pulled well in front of Square. Since he's, then, he's, he's found a, yeah, he's just found a little bit extra. Uh, he's found Better the right way. areas and uh, his pace is just slightly up as well. Sixteen for one. Stokes is five. Quali is one. Max into his fourth over. Driven, but can't score. Almost looking like a Rolls Royce. That's pretty sweet, isn't in, it? In, in his approach. Didn't find a gap, but uh, well timed. Stroke by uh, straight drive there up the mid off by Ben Stokes. You see, I was talking to you, Mali, as we look on the pitch there. You see the tinge of, of green right there. Mm -hmm. Just going right down the, 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 the middle area. And I saw the England analysts having a look at that area as well during the uh, luncheon break, uh, taking note of that area. 
Here is another short delivery by Preston McSween. He doesn't have any pace. So if you're going to bowl that line, beautiful save. save there. Is that Shane Mosley? I think it's Devin Thomas. Oh, Devin Thomas pulling that one away. That's a magnificent save. In fact, they practice um, those these days. And he would have saved at least two runs there. Sure, not quite. Not quite. Uh, I think they ended up getting three in the end. Three in, yeah. Yes, he saved it, one run. But um, not quite time by uh, Ben Stokes. I don't know, not really uh, managed to get a hold of that one. I'm not sure if he's rushed but the old or, or he was through the shot too quickly. The, the old field and the old side has not been too fast. Normally, no. you know, once you, you hit um, anything here, it, it races. Yeah, we made note of that. Uh, we did say that earlier yeah. in the, in the, maybe on that first day. It hasn't been as quick Good. Yeah. as we've grown accustomed to see it. Qualies one, Stokes is eight. England looking to get in valuable match practice here. Here is Quali whipping this one away. And getting an easy single in the end. So end of over number seven. England at 20 for one. 20 for one. They've lost Alex um, Lees. He was caught by Athenes. Good sharp catch. And then Lewis picking up the wicket. I fancy him picking up another one here as well. You know, he's looking... Uh, quite buoyed by, le by, by that wicket of Alex Lees. Uh, I think he actually quite likes bowling to right-handers as well. And on this pitch, if he can bowl, pitch that ball in the right area, as you say, uh, and, and really uh, and get that variable bounce, uh, he, could, he could get a couple here as well going into, going into uh, a closer play. You know, we talk about batsmen have to be patient. Bowlers also have to be patient, Mali. For sure. Because you consistently have to put the ball into the right areas. And sometimes what I find happening in the West Indies is that we, go we try too many things. Yeah, we go searching a little bit. Too yeah, yeah, we try too, too many things, you know. Over attacking. And yeah, just 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 stick to the, 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 the basics. What, 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 what you're working on. Look at the stumps, attack the stumps. That's what you want to do. Especially ah. on a track where it's keeping low. You don't need to be bowling wide. What you need to do is keep going at the batsman all the time. You know, you saw what happened to Raymond Reefer. Um, it took one that kept real low, bam, hit the pad, and he's out. And, and that one didn't quite get up either. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you know, so sometimes the conservative the fields that yeah. I see sometimes kind of amazes you um, in terms of what they're looking for. Yeah, that's why I'm saying you know, you've got young, it's a quick, balance. It's you've got a balance. young, you've quick got bowlers, you know, and telling me about, about line and length. Let the youngsters run in and bowl fast. Tell them, hey, Mali Richards, um, go for him. Let's see how good you are. Yeah, you gotta you gotta practice the ball fast, so you don't just turn up in matches and go quick. It has to be done on a day to day basis, especially in training. Whoa. Stokes driving beautifully down the ground, cut off nicely. Just a little for a moment. It's Devin right. Thomas just Got misfield, good hand to it. backed up by Colin Archibald in the end. Stokes is is hitting the ball quite <laughs> cleanly here, isn't he? But he would have in the middle. He would have looked at Raymond Reefer and. Mm. Saw that Raymond Reefer looked up the V for a very mm. long period of time. Mm. Uh, solid base, stayed over the ball. Um, no need for him to rush anything. And he's exhibiting that right here as we speak. He's only on nine. Well, he's on nine of 11, but middle already middle quite a few deliveries early in his innings. Yeah. 22 for one. Lois goes past Gregory Battered in now to bowl to Oh, that's, 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 that's what we're talking about. Squeeze away, running away down to the third man boundary. They won't get. Um, a boundary is just held up there and that's what I was anticipating you know uh, Sherman who is skiddy quite skiddy as well <laughs> and uh, bar, this bar is still quite hard and, and new uh, 7.3 overs old actually and and uh, but Zach Crowley keeping his eye on the delivery did go through quite low but uh, just taking the toe of the bat he survives actually picked up two runs Here comes Sherman Lewis. As he bongs away now to move in now to bowl to Zach Crawley. He's in now to bowl to Crawley. Crawley's driving. Can't score. The score remains on 24 without lot. 24 for one. Crawley's five. Stokes is nine. And that delivery right there was, was actually a tired one. Uh, you could tell slightly labored. Uh, action there, uh, maybe just going for that wide 
full half volley that, that sucker uh, that sucker delivery outside that off stump but uh, uh, just starting to maybe just tire a little bit oh. in ducker there in swinger playing a little bit too early getting going down to the fine leg feeder looks like it's Preston Maxwee they get an easy single mm. and Kuali gets a chance to go on the non-strikers in but he's and asked questions sorry He's asked questions, but more often than not, Sherman Lewis. Uh, I think... Uh, it's a work in progress. Yeah. I think uh, the staff would be pretty happy with that. Uh, Coach Stuart Williams, and I'm sure, uh, I think it's Shirley Clark at the win with Adams. He'd be pretty happy with the way his young charges has come up here and, and represented the win with Adams and actually performed uh, so far. Here comes Sherman Lewis. We're in the number 83, comes into ball to Ben Stokes, into Stokes, and that kept low, but Ben Stokes, with a solid base and a nice straight bat, was able to keep that out, end of over number 8. I and think that may be it for him. One. Mm. Could be the end of his spell, Sherman Lewis. Uh, four overs, but uh, he's running pretty much every time he's been asked, and just starting to flag probably just a little bit just starting to look a little tired twenty five for one uh how many overs remaining fourteen overs remaining in the day should get them in as we see Ben Stokes just asking for a change of bat here. So, Max Wien will continue. Both bowlers in their spell so far bowled eight overs. Mali said he thinks Max Wien maybe might be pulled out of the attack. Now, Max Wien, uh, uh, Max Wien Sherman. Sherman. He might maybe feel that he wants one more. He's been the wicket taker. If he, if he does come back for one more, I tell you what, I'll he, be he telling be, me something. He'll be flagging. Oh, yeah. No, he just tell me he's got a big heart. There is... Zach Quali just clipping this one away to the mid-wicket feeler. Can't get any run. Looks like it is Casey Carty cutting that one off. 25 for one. Stokes nine, Quali six and strike. Left and right combination. It's always very tricky as a bowler to be able to maneuver somehow Springer. Almost right on the track, almost right in front of <laughs> Ben Stokes. But so Ben Stokes has got to go a little wider. Mm. Was strange. Let me see that one. Maxwini now the ball to Quali, going down the onside, and Quali is saying, "I missed that again." Because as much as we've seen the variable bounce in this match, um, we've also seen. Uh, Zach Crawley in the past and he's been susceptible to these deliveries just outside the off stump and I, I think uh, this CWI President 11 may be just missing a trick slightly he's still got to attack him in his weak areas he's still quite strong and the ball is pitched on the stumps got to attack him in, in his weak areas and it's in that area just outside that off stump a fourth fifth stump line uh, force him to, to be disciplined and choose which ones to leave and which ones to play Swing ball in a Yorker link delivery. I just find too many changes. It's almost like a change in every delivery. Um, you, 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 you gotta be a plan. You, know, you, you can't move now, move again, move again. Mm. You know, you, you, you put people in right areas and you consistently attack those areas. And you gotta be patient because when the opportunity comes, you gotta be able to snap it up. You don't mind that deep square leg uh, for the shot, no, for the short a, ball. Yeah, but I don't boundary. think he's got that pace. Yeah, so, uh, uh, but as you said, it's a bluff. It's, it, exactly, it's the fine leg, and it's the the other three men on the inside. You think? Possibly, you know, you you do want to see. I mean, you get the impression they're kind of dangling the carrot. Uh, you see the open spaces in the offside, so they're almost daring him to go through. Uh, that cover that cover region uh, but the ball hasn't necessarily been put in that area to exploit uh, 
to exploit his weakness or his perceived weakness. Kowali Wayne, the number 56, he's 6. Ben Stokes is a 9. He's just relaxing on his bat and the non strikers in. Maybe just saying to Nigel, go do good. How many overs to go? Hmm. Here is Kowali driving to mid off. Can't score. Fired back Sherman Lewis. Holding the return back. 25 for 1. Going to over number 9. Some 22 overs in the day's play. It's almost like a long day. Yeah, this day feels a bit longer, hasn't it? But, uh, well, it has. We started earlier. Yes. It's so literally been long. We started longer. five minutes earlier. <laughs> yeah. But it's still, still a long day. 25 for 1. Quali goes on into his stance. Waits for Max Wien, who comes in now to bow to him. And he leaves alone this one. End of over number 9. England batting a second time around here at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in this apex warm-up match. Yeah, 25 for 1. 9 overs bowl. Stokes 9. Quali 6. And we see how the whole mission goes here. At the grounds. I mean... Uh Ben Stokes would be happy to actually have to, to, to get a second crack here in this fixture. Like you said, missing out slightly in that first innings. Everyone else in that top six uh, manage, managing to spend uh, some good time out in the middle. He'll be looking for, for, for more of the same here in the, in the second innings. You know, spend some time. Maybe not too worried about how many he'd get, but he'd be looking to, 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 to just spend some good time here out in the middle. Hit. Hit a few balls as we see uh, Brian Charles be brought into the top. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> not with all I think, those, not I with all you, those out I there. Think, I think he needs a double, uh, double the paycheck after yeah. this game, to be honest. Yeah, but you... you Considering you, the work he's been doing. Yeah, put some of uh, Springer and company to... Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah those I'm guys... I'm with you. Ball's still quite hard. Yeah, those guys... Variable running them, bounce. Those guys running on bowl. Because we saw what happened in the first innings when Brian Charles was bowling to Ben Stokes. He was a little bit tentative and he's already started um, quick and fast. He just needs to just take his time. Let's see what his approach will be. See? He's uh, give it a little rip there. But I think he, he wasn't it Brian Charles that actually removed him in the first innings? No. Uh, hold on. I, I will give you the... It was the spinner. Come back to him. Flatter faster. Uh, I think it was. Again. Yeah, I think he might have... A little naughty at, at, shot outside off stump. Caught, at, it, at, caught at, it slip. Atanas took the, the catch up yeah, the slip. Yeah, yeah. Charles comes in now to bow to Stokes, and Stokes comes correctly forward. 25 for one. He came, he came down, played that lovely shot over uh, mid-off, and uh, then after, just through the hands, no real feet going into that one. Oh, uh, Stokes driving inside out. Oh! And didn't have the legs to get there because yeah, he was sweeping so he was coming off the boundary and it would have had to take a, a miracle effort for him to be able to come up with that one seemed like he was maybe just about 10 yards off as well yeah still uh, yeah and which still tells couldn't you get, still, yeah still couldn't, still get couldn't really get there it tells you that ben stokes that hit the toe of the bat as he looks at the toe of his bat now didn't quite hit the middle but he likes that shot uh Mali. he likes he to hit the ball inside out he does yeah. 26 for 1. Quali with 6. He now comes into strike. And Stokes goes up to 10. Charles into his first over. he would be saying to himself, Am I really in this attack bowling already? They sneak a single here. Well, backed up onto the outside by Colin Archibald. So. I'm Ten overs completed. And I, I think um, the interesting thing now to see is uh, is uh, whether England actually try to force a result in this game. You know, uh, we talk about warm ups and preparation. We say winning is a habit. England haven't won too many Test matches in the last uh, year or so. Uh, do you do you do you try and force a result and and win this game and uh, go into the uh, first test with some level of confidence in terms of uh, getting 20 wickets in in foreign conditions? I feel um, that might be 
um, on their mind, mm. the England team. But it depends on what the objectives of the are. the objectives are, of yeah. This practice encounter. I was happy to see Ben Stokes come in early. It means that they're trying to get their, their, their trusted batsmen in form. Uh, Squall is driving a beautiful shot past mid off four runs. That was crisp. Stepped forward and drove it all along the ground. There was feel at mid off. He was diving for all he was worth. Couldn't get anywhere close to it. The ball raced past him and into the boundary for four. Beautiful shot. Uh, we saw quite a few of those in the first innings uh, from Zach Crawley. You know the class he possesses as well. Um, Maybe went off the boil slightly, was dropped from the team, and then came back in that Ashes series and played quite a, quite a, you know, a couple, of really good innings in that series. And uh, he's here now on this Caribbean tour, and he's looking to to, to really uh, cement himself a place in this England. I think many lineup. players in this England yeah. team are, are, are batting for or playing for places, hoping mm. that they can get a permanent spot in the England team. He's driving again. This time, though, he will find, pick out the feeler. Team in transition. Uh, I would say then more, isn't it? Certainly. Yeah, batting and bowling. Uh, in both uh, disciplines, they're uh, losing a bit of experience. All, all, the big, all big countries mm. go around, go into that phase where yep. they get to that stage where some of their better players are looking to go off the scene and they're looking to replace bring him. new players into the fray and england uh, are doing such at this time so here is this one driven through extra cover magnificently for four my mm. gosh that was beautiful shot pitched up to him stepped forward gave it the treatment for runs and it's the sound that it makes off the bat you know the crisp baff uh, off the middle uh, Zach Crawley continues to impress then more uh, uh, I know quite a, a, a few cricket aficionados around the world are, are quite impressed with the, with this uh, young player uh, it's, we've already seen him score a big uh, 100 against Pakistan I think it was uh, early in his career but uh, still still looking to, 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 to like I say like I said a bit earlier just cement his position uh, at number, well, opening now in, in this batting lineup. Faces up now. Uh, he's playing defensively after those three expansive shots. Two that went to a boundary, the other one that found the field at mid off. Playing in a defensive mode, Max Sween. And he's sixth over 23 runs already off of his bowling. So he's slightly expensive mm -hmm. in this spell. Preston Max Sween. I think that he would do well to back over the wicket just gives that quality something different to look at just whether it, it, it actually comes back or not uh yeah from over the wicket it creates that that level of doubt uh, just missing a trick there then well, i think you're right he's running in to bowl to crawley and crawley's pulling this delivery into the mid wicket region feel on the boundary looks to be casey carty Comes across quickly, throws it back into the gloves of wicketkeeper Durwich. And there is no run. If you're just joining us, we can bring you up to date. The President's Eleven today. They started off this morning with Devon Thomas and Casey Carty at the crease. Devon Thomas went for his overnight total of one. It was LBW to the bowling of Robinson. Reefer made 106, a beautiful knock by him. Athenes got 10, Dorich 11, 6 to Springer 23. Colin Archibald, <laughs> Max Sween and Charles didn't score. Ben Stokes gets a shot of a length delivery that he's playing on the onside in reply to England's 466 for 6 declared. The President's 11 team making 264 all out. In their second innings, Alex Lees is gone for 10. And Zach Crawley is not out. He's, he's there. Not out on 16. And Ben Stokes not out on 10. The players are going to refresh themselves. And it gives us an opportunity to look at the tactics, look at the thinking, look at the thoughts in England. Um, what time do you think England would be if they want to force a 
victory. Uh, what 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 time of the day do you think that they back the rest of the afternoon and on maybe until lunch tomorrow and try to force the hand and, and try to see if they could bundle out the, the President's eleven team? Yeah, they'd probably you know, to try and force a result probably need just about you know, uh, I think they think they'd need maybe two and a bit sessions at the very least. Uh, like you said, it's, it, it determines, it actually uh, determines upon uh, what the objective of this uh, England setup is, what they, whether they just want to give the guys a run out or whether they actually want to try and force a result. But in order to try and force a result, they'd have to probably pull out just before lunch, in my opinion. Uh, give themselves probably, what, 60 overs or so? 60, 70 overs maybe at, at, at best to, 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 to try and bowl out the CWI President's 11, President's 11 team. Well, they have a sizable lead already. Yes. 102 runs in front. And so um, probably they would think maybe at 150 to that 200 um, plus lead that they have. And they would be out of reach for the the president's eleven. And it, I think it's up to them if they want to force a victory, as you say, just to get into the habit, habit of winning. Yes. And yes. Um, no doubt we will see. I, I believe as we go along, we will see the objectives start to come to the fore uh, as to what the real objectives are. Based on the intent of these batters. Yeah, you're right. Uh, ben Stokes, Stokes has come out looking pretty aggressive, though. He has. He mm. has, and he he's been he's. Almost as if he's trying to practice his, mm. his, his strokes, trying to get back into the swing of things, into the habit of playing uh, in a certain manner. Mm. So we, we've seen him here, um, you know, playing his shots, not 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 too afraid to to, to play the shots, but and playing straight though at the same time. Yeah, he's not he's not uh, playing cross batted mm. or anything of the sort. Mm. But but we've seen him try to use that uh, inside out over extra cover. Um, so far, he's not been able to execute it well. He hit one that uh, went up in the air, but the fielder was pretty much where, where you see you place him in, in no man's land. land he's, he neither, was. Well, he's neither in nor out, oh, yeah. and um, ball falling just short, short, of just him. short of him. So we will see how, how the approach continues this afternoon as we're into the final 11 overs of the, the day. It's going to be important uh, to see if Charles also remembers what he did against Ben Stokes in the first innings. We've already seen him not willing to flight anything to Ben Stokes. Um, since he's been back, he's been pretty flat, pretty fast. Um, but I would, I would think that with nothing left, with nothing um, to lose, right. that he, he, he would um, you know, try to, 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 to you know, give the ball a little bit of air and see if he can tempt Ben stroke into a false stroke. stroke. I mean, Where, that's uh, it was a slightly flighty delivery that 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 caused the false stroke in that first innings. So uh, yeah, it'd be Charles is bowling after the drinks break. Two deliveries so far. So score remains on thirty six for one. Charles again. Crawley's covering up, playing with the full face of the bat back. To Charles, who's feeling to his own bowling. Once again, Charles to Crawley. Crawley defensive. I, th I, I thought, though, from the good partnership that the President's Eleven had between Carty and Reefer, that mm. they fell away big time uh, very quickly. The others. You know, since especially uh, since the departure of Casey Carty, uh, it kind of just opened up, uh, opened the door, and England uh, forced it open in the end. Flight that delivers driven out to the mid on region. Good stop by Sherman. Lewis. Sherman Lewis tumbling across to his left, and the end of the over has come up 37. For one, 37 for one at the end of 12 overs. Crawley on 17, Stokes, he's on 10. It looks like he's going to be calling Archibald. Calling to the attack here for the President's 11. And he's going to be coming from that northern end of the ground. The 
Coolidge end, they call it. That's mm. the end that goes away from where we're looking. That is away from where we're looking. So he's be running towards us as we look at it from the pavilion end. 38, the scoreboard says, and 37 and 1. So 37. <laughs> which, one, which one are you going with? We'll go with normally you go with the, the manual scoreboard mm. because they will tell you they see everything and mm. the, the electronic scoreboard missed something Some, mm, mm. but normally the the manual ones are the ones that has to correct <laughs> because they are officially not the official scoreboard who is it swango swango yep swango swango if you listen and his team will <laughs> tell us that they are uh, watching and the the electronic scoreboard is always behind we've heard that argument many times Colin Archibald is going to start his spell from the northern end, straight around the wicket with his left arm. The right-handed Crawley, who's punching this one, back past him for four. Deja. That's a beautiful shot, right up to Crawley. Doesn't have to move for that kind of stroke, driving it back past the bowler for runs. And you get the sense of uh, deja vu, actually. Then more uh, exactly what happened in the first innings. Every time Colin Archibald... Uh, just uh, over pitch slightly to, to Zach Crawley. He was made to pay, and, and especially with the straight drive, you know. Uh, and on that occasion, again, well balanced. Uh, uh, the power as well, you know, of Zach Crawley. When he hits it, it stays hit. It's almost he doesn't even run either, you know. He knows that when the ball hits the middle of his bat and it finds a gap, it's going to be four runs. And certainly that one was four runs. Colin Archibald is in once more. And short of a length delivery on the hips of Crawley's standing tall and working this one into the mid wicket region can't score. So the score is now 41 41 for one. 21 is Crawley, 10 is Ben Stokes. And the thing for Colin Archibald, he'll be forced now to find something. Then more, he either finds something or or he's going to go for runs, you know, he's going to have to pull that length back and he's going to hit the deck, have to hit the deck slightly, just a little bit harder. This time, Crawley's going to get runs, he's working it in the direction of the umpire. They sprinted through for the first run, thought of a second, but Casey Carty was equal to the task, rushing <coughs> off that deep backward square boundary and was able to limit them, the batsmen, to just one run. England 42 for one, Crawley and 22, Stokes on 10. It's going to be interesting to see how Stokes approach mm. Colin Archibald. Just to see if he looks to be aggressive against him. Stokes would be conscious though that he didn't get any per se person. in the first innings. He's getting one that he's punching off the back foot into the offside field and there's no run and that's the nature of ben stokes is batting you know he's always looking to play, to play strokes isn't he uh even when he doesn't find the gaps uh and the bowler always feels under pressure because uh if they slightly uh miss their target uh, ben stokes makes them pay more often than not cover field they set back mm. on the boundary as you can tell he's just feeling just that pressure you know feeling that pressure mm. Colin Archibald is in and Stokes is driving straight up on the underside but finds Devon Thomas at mid on and there is no run. And, and it's been a hallmark of his play in this little short innings actually. It's just how straight he's trying to hit the ball. He's hitting the ball up in the V uh, with good power as well. Hasn't necessarily found the gaps but the form's good. Uh, he's holding his shape. He's got that solid base. That stride's good. Good head positioning. Uh, his batting seems to be in uh, pretty good order, um, uh, Denmark. Pretty good order. Mm. Colin Archibald is in to bowl to him. And Stokes getting one that kept us. Oh, it's trouble. There's a chance to run out. And, uh, there was a little bit of hesitation, <laughs> and Crawley had to put on the afterburners there. The stops <laughs> were not hit by. Who was that in. Looking okay. like Salazano. That Salzano. Mm. Salzano had the stops yeah. to aim up. There was a little bit of hesitation. And had he hit the stumps, it might have been pretty close. But Zach Crawley really had to put on the afterburners to make his grounds on that occasion. 
made it in the end 43 for one Crawley is on 22 Stokes who should be now on 12 runs he responded a little late but at least he responded you know uh, I think uh, something that maybe Shane Mosley could have done in that first innings when batting with the Jeremy Solizano uh, just responding to his partner uh, and, and coming through for a single but on that occasion if Solizano would have hit I think Zach Crawley would have been in trouble certainly mm. Brian Charles is going to continue to the left-handed Stokes Stokes gets a flat fast delivery that he just steps forward plays it quietly into the offside field and there is no run this is another defensive shot by Ben Stokes as the ball is played into the pitch and rolls back to Charles. Charles quickly back to his mark. And Stokes is forcing this one off the back foot for a single out to deep cover. Colin Archibald is in action. And one more to the total. And 44 for one. And I think this uh, President's eleven would be pretty disappointed in these conditions to not, to not uh, score 350 plus. You know, to get bowled out for under 300 in these conditions, I uh, would be very disappointing to them. Playing defensively is the right-handed Crawley. Can't score. Shema Springer is the fielder who is in that straight mid-wicket position. Oh. And Crawley's on the back foot there. Both feet caught on the crease. Watchful though. Watched it right onto Watched the bat. Watched it right onto mm. his bat. Made sure that it had bat on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's watching and again uh, just oh. driving that one again there's a bit of encouragement for Charles as that one left the bat slightly in the air mm. fell before it got to Charles he, you could see the expression on his face that he, he's thinking that you know um, that one could have with just a little bit more luck that one could have come right back to me but at the end of the over it has remained 44 for one Crawley's on 22 Stokes is on 12. And that's, and that's what happens at times, you know, when, uh, when you see uh, uh, a batter just choke that bat a little bit, uh, that bottom hand, almost going back to Brian Charles um, there by Zach, by Zach Crawley, but uh, not quite carrying, just bouncing just in front. But, I mean, Brian Charles would be pretty encouraged with, with his start, to be honest, three overs and only going for the four runs. He would be mm. encouraged by that. Colin Archibald is going to try once more to Ben Stokes. Stokes just coming down and hitting this one, cutting it out to deep point. Good tumbling save by a fielder out there. It looks to be is that Lewis. It looks like it's it, like yes. Sherman Lewis mm. who was running across and tumbling as he made the stop. And Stokes was able to come back for two runs. Uh, still got the energy to get down there and, and cover some ground, uh, Sherman Lewis, after bowling. Uh, quite a few overs in this game uh, thus far. Uh, showing good fitness, uh, the young man. Certainly showing good fitness. Mm. Colin Archibald is in. And Stokes is clipping this one down to fine leg for four. Just coming inside and using the angle of the delivery and working it down to a vacant fine leg position, picking, picking up four runs. And it's where uh, Colin Archibald has just slightly struggled in this match. You know, it is, it's with his accuracy. He's been uh, both sides of the wicket. Uh, at times, Shane Dorich has, has struggled to really set uh, the correct fields. Uh, he's just been a little inconsistent. He bowled a pretty good uh, delivery to the set batter in Dan Lawrence in that first innings, which tells you the potential that this young uh, bowler has, but uh, just uh, just a little inconsistent in terms of his lines and lengths. He's going to have to improve. Mm. 12 runs from his eight deliveries so far. Just making an adjustment to the field. He wants the man at fine leg to come a lot finer. Wasn't very pleased that there was a man down there and the man didn't even get anywhere close to <laughs> that one. What was interesting. Bowler Nowy as well. 
that is that he is asking for the 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 feeler to be moved. The feeler took two steps to his left, and he was satisfied. <laughs> with that not much of a change, was it? No, mm. it's almost as if you move it three steps um, to the left and mm. two back to the right. You're pretty much back at it's the same same, same, yep. same place. Yep. Yep. But um, I thought that he you know he would have moved the feeler a lot more. The feeler just pretty much took two steps. To his left. And I think that's the wrong line anyway. He is. If I, you're I overly think so. concerned with your fine leg, that tells me that you're, you're actually bowling the wrong line. Here is he around the wicket to Crawley, who's driving. Shamar Springer is at cover. There is no run. So Crawley's still looking to be aggressive. Just trying to build mm. on the first innings that he had today um, or yesterday I think that he would have wanted to score more runs than he did is that crawl he got to 62 pretty easily as well so he lost his stumps to Brian Charles here is he driving back past up oh, not bad good bounce. feeling on the part of Max Sween, who is out there uh, that's mid on position but the batsman only able to get a single. The end of another over has come up 52 for one. We've had 15 overs ball. Qualies on 22 and Stokes on 12. I think just a little bit of a bad bounce there for Raymond. Oh, just bounced on him. He's actually lucky that that one didn't hit him in the mouth. Uh, the way it just bounced on him as he went down. But uh, uh, like you say, only only managing to get the, the, the one run, one extra run there. So he's actually a 19. Nah, it's going over the top. What? I know. Giving out leg before. What? So it was striking him on the pad. Uh, Mali was thinking that that one might have been a little bit high. Stokes not pleased at all. I think Stokes thinks he hits it. He hit it as well, possibly. The umpire has sent him on his way. Ben Stokes, he has to go. We'll just have a look at the replay. And look to us if it was pretty much adjacent the umpire was pretty pleased with it Mali haven't had a second look I couldn't tell the height yep. uh, to be honest but it looked pretty adjacent like it was uh, in front but Ben Stokes seemed to be pretty disappointed with that one uh, at the end of the day no doubt we can have a look at it in slow motion I don't think he hit it doesn't look as if he hit it. I think he was possibly just a little high though. Looks high. Yeah. When you look at it from the trajectory we're looking at it, mm. looks as if it would have probably carried over the stumps. Our naked eye DRS. Um, and, and you could understand why Ben Stokes would have been surprised because he would have thought that he was hit a little bit high up on the pads. Looked disappointed, looked surprised, but he has to go. Dan Lawrence has come out to join Zach Crawley, 53 for two uh, is the total. We're in the booth, you know. I think the umpires, they have the best vantage point. They level uh, uh, with with the bowlers and everything. Yeah, and uh, uh, as Andy, the great Andy Roberts just signaled to me to find out whether it was going over the top or going down. Uh, I think possibly just going over the top. Sir, Sir Andy, next door, having a chat with Chief Selector Desmond Haynes. I wonder if um, Chief Selector has the, his radio still on. <laughs> making sure that he hears. You're making all, sure all. he's taking your notes. Taking then my more. notes. Yes, uh, I'm. I'm dictating some notes to him. I hope Just he uh, he references sure. Denmore Roberts in those notes as well, for sure. Certainly, he should, he should <laughs> do. Here is Lawrence getting one, just getting on top of it and. Getting off the mark um, right away, just working it out into the offside field and walking through for a run. So a successful over mm. for Archibald. His figures now read one for eight for 16 of two overs and he would be pretty happy um, having got that wicket of Ben Stokes. Almost just following the same pattern from the first innings actually then more... Uh uh, at times, just looking like no, he's not uh, uh, really at the races, but then just managing to produce a delivery, a wicked taking delivery almost out of nowhere. You think of that one to Dan Lawrence. Dan Lawrence looked like he was cruising away to 100. Colin Archibald 
uh, here from this uh, airport and just finding a bit of pace and bounce, taking that edge. And on this occasion, just finding a little extra pace to, to, to get through the defenses of uh, Ben Stokes, possibly just maybe going down and a little high, but little uh, high. at least just finding a little bit extra. And that's good to see. Yep. Being able to beat the defense mm. of Ben Stokes. As Charles is continuing his first delivery of a new over, worked away out to the square leg region for a single. So Lawrence back gets again. His second run. Mm. And himself and Zach Crawley at the crease. This is Brian Charles in and this delivery is played away quietly out into the onside field and there is no run you've got to uh, uh, give kudos to, to, to brian charles as well then this is a delivery that is driven through Hot. the offside beautiful shot that's for timing. all timing didn't look as if he hit it that hard <laughs> but he was just backing away giving himself room crawley and he placed it between that extra cover fielder and the mid-off. It was the placement too that was exquisite. And he picked up himself four runs. This Zach Crowley is a class player, isn't he? Uh, potentially. Uh, he's got all the hallmarks to be to go on and be a, a, a real star at this at, at, at test level. Whether he will, that's another thing. But uh, the way he goes about it, you can't help as a lover of batting. Uh, I actually really enjoy watching Zach Crowley bat. He's facing up now as Brian Charles is bowling flatter, faster delivery. And Charles tend to, <laughs> when he struck away, tend to go that to trajectory gets down. lower. Yeah, he gets lower <laughs> and lower. Oh, he tossed that one flight, up a little bit. <laughs> flighted mm. and Crawley saw it, probably wanted to time it better or play it better. Only gets a single as it comes out to. Feel at the mid on position and ends the over. 59 for two, 15 overs gone. Crawley, Crawley has gone on to 27. Lawrence is on two. Charles, none for 10 so far from his four overs. I think uh, at some point we may see Devin Thomas as well oh, bowling in this lineup. Uh, seems like the options uh we haven't seen shamar springer though it's quite surprising you know i think he's more of a bowling around if you think he came out and batted at number eight which suggests that he's playing as a bowling all around isn't he uh, well, surprised so they they held him back quite for for quite a long time, time yeah in the first innings yeah uh, we've not seen him at all in the second, in innings, second yeah. innings especially when the ball is still pretty hard you know, give him, a, give him an opportunity to try, to try and exploit that variable bounce. Uh, find out what the middle of that wicket's like, you know, a bit more often. Try and make these English batters a little uncomfortable. Jeremiah Louis is on the field. Watch as Colin Archibald starts a new over. His first delivery is played away, square of the wicket, out to... Salzano, who is on that cover point boundary, and so the batsman almost just walked through for a run. So who's who went off? Do you know who went off the field then? I'm trying to pick up the player who has gone off. Haven't picked it up yet. Mm. We're just trying to look around to see who we're missing from the the field. This is Archibald. He's in. Uh, Covering up is Lawrence and playing it into the offside field, and there is no run. Do you see Casey Carty? Is he still out there? Uh, Carty looks to be. Is that Carty on the mid wicket um, boundary? He looks, looks like Casey be. Carty on the mid wicket boundary, so yes. We're just still trying to identify who might have gone off, but we definitely know that Jeremiah Louis is now out on the field. We're looking. I think I'm not seeing Sherman Lewis. I'm not seeing McSween. Oh, McSween. Mm. Oh. Again, just trying to pull the bat away, Dan Lawrence, <laughs> inadvertently. Playing this one down to a wide backward point position. Gets a single, though. And there we see that quirky nature that we talk about, you know, that unorthodoxy at times from... from, from <laughs> 
from Dan Lawrence. Does things his own way, pretty much, you know. And uh, uh, it's good to see, you know, uh, a little bit of an outlier. Let's see what his results going forward are like. Certainly, he would want to have good results, though, and especially on this tour of the West Indies. Archibald around the wicket to Crawley. Crawley gets a slow delivery, almost as if he was almost going to go into an expansive stroke, but then just plays it quietly into Jeremiah Lowe in that straight mid wicket position. And there is no run. himself mm. getting a century in the president's 11 innings Carty too getting to a half century well played as well he batted for quite a, a while Carty outside the line of the off stump from Archibald and there is no run left you wanting more Casey Carty you got that feeling you know when the innings ended it was almost like a like you, you've been to the, the movie theatre and you leave halfway through and it's actually quite a good movie. You know, you just wanted to see him go on and uh, finish and, the and job. Finish the job, mm, yep. Get to those three figures and, uh, and really, uh, really uh, let the selectors know just how serious you are about uh, uh, staking a claim in this uh, senior team. Archibald is in. And again, right up to Crawley. And Crawley's driving and gets a run into that cover region. The end of another over from Colin Archibald. One for 19 from three. England going at a healthy run rate, 3.71. Maybe the quickest that they've gone in the match uh, so far in that first inning is roughly about twos and then it steadily increases. Johnny Bairstow got more comfortable and uh, got to his hundred and we saw it get above three. but. Uh, here, just finding run scoring a little uh, more easy in this uh, second innings. Uh, the CWI President 11 just serving up quite a few uh, boundary balls here early. Uh, Sherman Lewis is really good. Preston McSween, I'd say maybe just struggled a little bit. Maybe more physically than anything. And uh, some fans on the ground just mm. making a, a statement. Um, there with some flags. And, and we see the Antigua flag Antigua right there flag as well. Ukraine. The flag with the Ukraine flag in the, the middle. middle. Yes. Just, uh, saying we stand saying in solidarity. Stand in solidarity mm. with the folks in Ukraine. And uh, I'm hoping that sometime soon diplomacy will prevail and that that situation can be brought under control with not too many more deaths hmm. and destruction. So I think us in this region, I mean, we, we were going to be. Uh, uh, maybe front and center in terms of certain aspects of this in terms of where the uh, a few of these guys are going to be uh, hanging out in the next yes, few months uh, yes, uh, <laughs> the, oligarchs, the oligarchs as they call, as them. They call them. <laughs> uh, understand that some of the Russian yachts are mm. already spotted in our waters, waters. yes so it's going to be interesting to see how it goes mm. but I'm hoping that peace will reign and that cooler heads will prevail and that at some point something will shock someone into the reality that this is not making it's any never sense. the answer really and so that we can get back to peace worldwide shaman lewis coming down towards the end of the day's play just five overs remaining four after this according to the scoreboard as he's just trying to get through the overs very quickly Pretty quiet over as he's bowled into Crawley. Crawley playing defensively. So it remains on 30. Lawrence on 3. And Charles so far 5 overs for 10 runs. Well, it's been good to see as well as we look over uh, there at the uh, athletic club uh, side of the ground. Uh, near that uh, electronic scoreboard. As, as the days have gone by, we've seen... More and more, more and more it English looks, fans. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're, they're getting, getting ready are, and they're coming ready into and they're the... They're coming in yep, very slowly. Yep, yep, the Barmy Army steadily growing. I'm sure by the uh, time uh, play starts on day one, they'll be there in number. They'll be all. They mm, should be all their here. numbers. By, mm. by then, yep. and, uh, we're expecting quite a number over the weekend. Yep. 
and predictions have it that there could be several thousand of the English fans who, anticipate are, that. Mm. who are here. Colin Archibald starts a new over. His first delivery is worked away into the onside field. Pulls Carty off that deep mid-wicket boundary. And the batsmen are able to cross for a single. Lawrence on four or five deliveries. Crawley has faced considerably more deliveries. He's faced 60 deliveries for his 30 runs. He's played some gorgeous shots, gorgeous shots mm. in that 30. He's driven very well down the ground. Here is Archibald and he's driving. and He's going to get a bye here as the ball beats Dorich. It's kept very low. Very low. But was quite full at the same it time. As if he probably got an inside edge as well, because there's no signal from the umpire. So he might have taken the edge of Crawley's bat. But it crawled pretty much on the ground to Dorich behind the stumps. And the batsman got his 31st run. Colin Archibald, who's having a new experience in this game, this delivery on the line of the stumps. And one of the things that ha um, has, 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 we've seen from Colin Archibald is that he's not been having that steady line, that steady line and even that steady line. Then. He's been outside the half stump, down the leg side, some, he's been all over the place. And that if, if there is any lessons to be taken from this encounter is that he needs to find that 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 good length and, and line and look to bowl it that discipline you know that accuracy uh, especially when you're not uh, express uh, pace uh, you've got to be uh, pretty much in in the good areas more often than not delivery is on the line of the stop looking to turn it was crawling into the onside did so found jeremiah louis and there is no run is it that um, the players are actually trying to strive too much for wickets rather than, you know, looking to, to, to bowl a, a good length? I, I trying, keep just referencing trying too much. Mm. Um, Kenny Benjamin. I, sp I speak to him often and mm. I remember him saying that it, at this stage you have to bowl a couple of overs to the keeper. Mm. Find that length, find that line and bowl a couple of overs to the keeper. Crawley's driving out to... Deep cover pulls the feeler from point. And as much as you may think that's boring and that you're not doing anything, it's it also it's plays on the batter's doing mind. Something because the the, the, bat, the batter is isn't feeling ball and bat. You're getting through your action without it really hurting the team in terms of score, uh, whatever. You're feeling more comfortable as your approach decreases as well. It's the same for a bowler. You know, you ease into your spell in terms of your lengths and. And just getting too early, especially when you've got a bit of nerves and the like, you know. Archibald is continuing. He's in. And this believe is driven. Four. That's a magnificent shot. That's four. Yeah. Beautiful. No need to run for that one. Driven past the extra cover fielder. Solzano just turns to chase in order to retrieve four runs, four good-looking runs to Zach Crawley. Uh, actually... That was Dan Lawrence, so that just... Oh, correction, Lawrence, yeah, yes it was. Beautiful that, shot as well. That, that exquisite shot, just mm. pushing it through that extra cover region. Showing uh, us that he's also got that orthodoxy along with his, uh, his almost his maverick style of going about the game, you know. Uh, uh, high elbow, uh, good top hand, uh, uh, finding that gap. Crisp timing as well. Uh, another good shot from Dan Lawrence and he's in good form. Form, if you can remember him scoring 80 odd in that first 83. inning. 83. Mm. I think he got in the first innings. And looks set for looks 100. set for 100. Here is he. Playing one up to mid one. That's where you can find the Gemma Springer. Charles, Brian Charles is in. Uh, slightly flighted delivery. Again, just finding Gemma Springer at that straight mid wicket position or you could say short mid on standing there Let's see if he had, has some dreadlocks on his head now Shema Springer Charles slightly flighted flighted delivery Lawrence Crawley is this that comes forward and plays defensively again Shema Springer is brought into the action 
and there is no run. So Lawrence getting 83 before he was caught by Athenes off the bowling of Archibald. Good delivery as well, that one from Colin Archibald. Certainly knocked his edge off, as we would say. And he had to go back for that 83. He's on 9 now. Quali is on 33, 72. On a flat or dog, as two. we would say, as well, you know. Three overs remaining in the day's play. So it looks as if they're going to get them all in. Mm. As the light is still pretty, pretty good. good. Oh. Brian Charles and the batsman just on the back foot. Dan Lawrence and then working it into the onside field. For a moment, that ball kept very low. He had to watch it right onto his bat. And that's what we don't see much from our our young batters or even our senior batters at times. Quick delivery. Just a little bit slingy action mm. right at the end there from Brian Charles to end another over. He's had six overs and it's 73, 73 for two. He's had 12 runs from his bowling. You can tell Dan Lawrence has something he practices. You know, just going back, uh, having those supper wrists and being able to maneuver the ball on both sides of the wicket. You know, uh, if it's in the area, uh, it's a bit too straight. You just uh, come across a bit and just work it into the inside. And if it's a little wide, uh, same thing on the offside. So um, you can tell, you know, 10 off nine deliveries. Even in this sort of setting, warm-up match, uh, uh, it's just the natural, his natural nature to, to go out and look to score runs. Certainly, it's natural nature. So. Is, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that a saying? A natural nature? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is now. <laughs> it is. It is a short delivery. Just look into, just paddle it around was Lawrence getting on top of it now no real pace in that delivery he was just looking to paddle it down to the final leg region of the ball coming off the on the portion of the bat just dropping beside the stumps they were able to rush through for a single as Dorich rushed up from behind the stumps couldn't stop the run so one more to Lawrence he's on to 11 Crawley on 33 faces 74 for two England and they're going at a very good run rate of 3.67 just as I say that with that dot ball it comes down to 3.64 <laughs> and that's the way that statistics work. work that it's absolutely important that you keep things happening mm. or averages and statistics change almost but they're very fluid, yeah. They are. The information uh, always changes depending on the data. Colin Archibald is still running in. He's in outside the line of the off stump. One that just bounces by into the gloves of Dorich. How would Dorich be feeling um, having not gotten any real runs for himself? And, um, and what have you thought of his captaincy so far? Ah, uh, he's been he's been okay, you know. Um, he'd be disappointed not to score runs, but uh, I think he's done a pretty decent job in terms of uh, marshalling these troops. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be easy in terms of. Would you would you agree with those folks that were saying that he was rushed back? Um, not not particularly. You know, at the end of the day, if you if you you, you have a look around at the composition of this squad, he's definitely the most experienced. Uh, he would have missed uh, quite a bit of cricket, like Springer would have said over the last couple of years or so. But um, no, definitely the most experienced player here on show. And I think, uh, nah, I think this, this isn't too much for him to come back and lead this uh, President's eleven. Especially, his time isn't on his side. Uh, you know, it's not like he's, he's got to ease his way back. He's got to come back and be, and, and, be uh, and perform right away if he wants his, his spot back. Colin Archibald is in and again just worked away into the offside field easily by Dan Lawrence for another single. So they're just milking the singles, the Englishmen just winding down the third day's play, third of four days in this encounter, in this match. And 
Let me just bring you up to date. Lees made 65 in the first inning, 62 for Crawley Root, 54, Lawrence 83, Stokes 11, Base to 106, 25 for Folks, and Wokes was left not out on 49 as the English team gets another single down to deep point. And again, just one more. The end of another over, 77 for two. Crawley is on 35, Lawrence is on 12. Just to finish the first innings card um, for England, the England team, Max Sween didn't get any wicket. He had 60 runs, two wickets for Lewis, one for Archibald, three for Charles in the first innings. And then the President's 11, Solzano got 17, Mosley 20, 57 for Carty, Devon Thomas got one. Raymond Reefer, the pick of the batting, he got 106 of 182 deliveries, 15 fours and two sixes. And Athenes got 10. Dorich, he got 11. Springer, 6. 23 to Colin Archibald. And Max Sween and Charles did not score. Brian Charles, who is into another over, as gets through them very quickly robinson had one wicket for england while in the president's 11 innings charles with another delivery that is right up to the right-handed batsman he's just coming forward in zach crawley and playing quietly back along the pitch for the bowler to field his own bowling so four wickets for leach one for root and two for Lawrence. So here is one that is striking him on the pad. That one kept <laughs> low. And that is as plumb as you can get. LBW. It was an unfortunate delivery for him to get. But that one hit the pitch and kept very low. And Lawrence walks back to the pavilion. And Charles would be happy with the situation. Lawrence, uh, as a matter of fact, it's Crawley who is LBW. LBW to Charles for 35. He just asked about Shane Dorridge, but that was a pretty similar dismissal dismissal to the way uh, Shane Dorridge was dismissed in that first innings. Just pitched on the stumps uh, from the spinner, uh, Brian Charles, and just basically rolling through. And we know Zach Tall, he's quite a tall man. Uh, it's a long way to go to get down and couldn't get that back down in time. And uh, Brian Charles in the wicket column once again, it's fourth wicket in this match. And that will be a play. Stumps on day three as uh, both English batsmen have walked off mm. and 77 for three. The President's 11 players are just coming off very, very slowly. Crawley walks back into the pavilion having made 35. So it was uh, uh, an eventful day all around. In particular, uh, in getting to three figures and the composed nature of that innings you know uh his name is firmly in the selector's minds as well especially when you consider that he has that added uh string to his bow in his left arm seam as well you know uh, i think he's breathing down the neck of uh, possibly a kyle mayers certainly well. I, I, that would have been the, mm. the spot that i would mm. think that that all-rounder yep. spot that yep. kyle, kyle mayers is yep. now That's the spot. i'm holding on to yeah so mayers would be would, would have to be looking over his shoulder after that performance from Raymond Reefer. I, 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 I thought at the start that they might have sent in um, Justin Athenes, uh, uh, Alex Athenes, mm. correction, at that time. But Reefer did repay the confidence of the selectors that sending him sure. in at that stage, getting to 106 runs of 182 deliveries. And he struck some 15 fours and two sixes. Um, Alex Athenes, he got 10 Dorich, he made 11. Springer, 6. 23 to Colin Archibald. Preston McSween made not, as so did Brian Charles, who was left not out or not. The President's 11 got to 264 all out, 264 all out, and England chose to bat a second time. Um, Alex Lees, he was caught at an of off Lewis for 10, and Zach Crawley, and Zach Crawley and uh, and um, is 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 also out right at the the end Just at the there end, and Ben yeah. Stokes as well um, back in the pavilion 
having made 19. Ben Stokes looked a very disappointed man when he decision. was given out with, with that decision. But at the end of the day, um, he, he too um, had, had to go for 19. So 77 for 3. Lewis, 1 for 10. And Charles, 1 for 12. Uh, the, the ball in, in the second innings for the President's 11 team. So, up to date, England 466 for 6. CWI's President's 11, 264 all out. And England 77 for 3 in their second innings. What do we expect tomorrow, Mali? Ah, uh, we expect England to, to, to really try and get some more batters, some more time out in the middle, and, and maybe. Uh uh, a, a, a couple of bowlers, another little workout, maybe uh, just before lunch or so, possibly. Uh, who knows? It just depends on, on what they want to get out this game. But like I said, you know, I'd be actually trying to force a result, considering this team hasn't won that many games. Uh, you try and get into the, 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 the habit of winning and trying to force results in foreign conditions. You know, it may just be uh, valuable going into that first test. Who would be the more, uh, would England be pleased with, with what has transpired so far in terms of the workout that they would have gotten, the, the ability to make runs in the first innings and the fact that they would have bowled out the President's 11 team? Yeah, they would have, they would be pretty happy actually. Uh, maybe not so much in terms of the, 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 the work that maybe an Ollie Robinson would have gotten through. Uh, him just pulling up there, uh, showing that slight injury, but maybe... Uh, was maybe a cause for concern, would be a cause for concern for this uh, England staff. But uh, generally, all the bowlers got some good work in, uh, in pretty tough conditions. And uh, it bodes well going into that first test for them. So, we're going to leave it there for today. England, 466 and 77 for 3. CWI, President's 11, 264, all out. We will have the final day of this four-day practice match in the Apex Test Series between England and the West Indies President's Eleven. So on behalf of all of us here, co-commentator J uh, Vernon Springer and expert comments from Sylvester Bouncing Joseph and of course Marley Richards, the son of the great Sir Vivian Richards here in Antigua and Barbuda. Denmark Roberts saying have a great evening. See you tomorrow morning when we come to you at 9.55 a.m.